Alrighty, hello. All right, so we're playing more Shrouded today. Um, Hold on a second, I'm gonna put my tea bag away. Oh God, it's hot. Holy fuck, this tea's hot. Oh my God, one second. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to make it this hot. Oh God, okay, there we go. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right, let's get live. All right, so, oh wait, oh yeah, I forgot I have to capture it. I forgot we played Mass Effect yesterday. Um, let me fix that real quick. And there we go. All right, so we're back with more Enshrouded. I have a new staff and I have a new wand. That's like it. <laughs> um, I went through this village a few times. Uh, what was it? The not village. Uh, the like encampment that we fought through last time. Thornhold. I went through there a few times. I found out that you can actually get armor sets in this game. Um. There was a chest I found that had an armor, like, armor pieces in it. And, um, they seem to have random buffs on them. They're a random armor piece with a random buff. Um, so I guess you could get, like, a, a knight set that has mana regen and stuff like that. I, I don't know how useful that would be. Uh, but if you want to be, like, a tanky wizard, there you go. Um, I found, like, a wizard boots with, like, health, two health regen or something. Um... I only went through the village like three times. That's all I did. And I also leveled up and respect all my skills. So I wasn't very happy with uh, how my skills were working out. Um, I decided not to use the Necromancer perk. It hasn't really been proccing all that much. It's only 10%. And um, they kind of die quick. I, I don't know if they scale. I, I don't know how good these actually are. They were good early game. They kind of wrecked some shit. But um, since they're only fire and they... Don't seem like they scale. I'm not going to use them. Um, I specced into Ice Magic. I now have Ice stuff. When receiving melee damage, the attack will be slowed down for three seconds. That's actually pretty good. I tested it. Um, a lot of melee guys, it lets me get away from them. And I can zap them with more ice. Um, so then they just fucking explode. Um, it's very entertaining. It's very entertaining. I kind of like it. And um, what are some other ones that we need to get? I need to work down the fire as well. I want to get Sun Aura. Sun Aura seems really good. You have one fire damage per intelligence per second. So this will be 10 when I have it fully upgraded. Right? It'll be 10 when I have it fully upgraded. Wait, what? Okay, so wait a second. Oh, no, I have something that increases my healing magic, don't I? Yeah. I have 30% boost on my healing magic, so I think that boosts my water aura. I wonder if this will boost my fire damage on my... uh. Yeah, I wonder if that'll boost fire damage if I use that. Well, let's actually get it. Let's start getting Arsonist. So I think at this point, we're going to start running into more higher spells now that we're in a new area. Our song Frontier. Oh, by the way, the staff really isn't that good. It just kind of looked cool. <laughs> it, it was like one point higher um, in strength. So I, I was like, eh, I kind of like it. Yeah, this is how hard fucking enemies hit now. Uh, this guy's level 13, actually. Uh, I haven't fought a level 13 yet, I don't think. So this guy's new. I also need to upgrade my ice uh, wand. My wand sucks. I think my fire wand is like 35 damage, 36 damage, and my other one's 25. Or 31, yeah. Still, that's a 10 damage increase. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I need to get an upgrade on that. I also need to like start buffing myself. Oh, yeah, I also got a bunch of a, uh, 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 potions. Now we have a ton of magic potions and stuff like that. So if I find, like, a boss or something, I can fight them easily and not have to hide in a corner all the time. Um, well, there's a man next to me. Um. Oh, dog. Um, no, I want to get the dog. Thank you. The dog is much more important than that guy. Dogs are fast as fuck in this game. Alright, uh... How much does this potion do? Eh, it's not too bad. They're easy to make, at least. They only require the blue mushrooms. And I'm gonna start farming those, eventually. Um, I actually have a few things planted back at the house. I have a, um... A flax seeds planted right now. I know I'm gonna need a lot of those. I'm gonna have to plant more when we go back. I think they're on, like, a timer, though.
God, this guy's fucking sturdy. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> this guy's really sturdy. Um, I need to go do that tower and unlock the area first. 29 damage, acid cleaver. What the fuck? So wait, does this actually poison? I haven't noticed if anything actually poisons in this game. Um, because we had that long sword, it didn't look like it was doing poison damage or anything. When we had used it. Um, so I have no idea. Alright. Uh, we should be good. I just want to get this saw blade. Isn't that what we're doing? We're getting like a saw blade? Wait, where is that? Yeah, we're getting the circular saw blade. I ran over here and like investigated this area. I just wanted to see what was going on. Um, there's a lot of shit over here. There's a blue crystal cave over here that has like a ton of building resources in it. So I'm gonna have to like get a bunch of those and make me maybe like a blue wizard tower or something. Made out of crazy crystals. I think that'll be fun. Um. Okay. Chess. Wait, what is that? Prayer of the Flame Scroll. What? Offers a small prayer to the flame that increases your magic damage and the maximum time of the shroud for a short duration. Whoa, that's fucking cool, actually. So it's a consumable. I wish it was uh, equipable, but um, that seems really good. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to drink my um, my elixir. My elixir makes me really strong. I forgot about that. I have so many of them. I keep getting them off dudes, so might as well start using them. Like, look at that. I'm pretty sure it inc increases magic damage, too. I'm not fully certain on that. What is that? Why is that chest on fire? All right, there we go. Get sniped, idiot. Oh, fuck. Okay, never mind. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. There we go. I want to see more types of melee dudes in this game. A lot of these bandits just kind of dual wield everything. I want to ho hopefully see like shielded bandits and like, I don't know, greatsword bandits and hammer bandits and all that kind of stuff. I just want to see more. I feel like that's what this game needs with its variety, like enemy variety. Like the one thing I kind of have a gripe about. Um, not what I wanted. That and the, <laughs> the grappling hook kind of makes me have a gripe. Uh, when they're, I'm near them, it tends to want to magnet me to them, no matter where I am. All right. Oh, a chest. Hey. What we got in here? Ocean? Oh, bombs. These games have a lot of bombs in them. I've got to notice that. Whoa! Fuck me! Okay. I didn't expect it would blow up all that. Forest longbow. I'm getting a lot of bows. I've kind of noticed that. I'm not getting many swords and stuff or like magic items. I tend to keep getting bows. Which is mildly annoying because I don't want to be a ranger. I don't I, I don't generally play rangers in games. Like maybe Dragon's Dogma. But Oh, there's the saw blade. Oh, okay. It was just sitting there. Great. Uh, what's over here? Uh, that's one of the matrons, wasn't it? Wasn't that a matron? That dog just get... <laughs> I didn't know enemies could get bear trapped. Oh, that's fucking funny, actually. Holy shit. Scavenger Grizzler mat matron. No, no, it's the Rizzler. Get away from me. Are you, do you get, like, fast at any point? Or, like, no. Um, it seems like you just kind of stand back. I'll happily kill you with my magic. I will happily kill you with magic from, like, 800 feet away. <laughs> I don't want to fight you. I feel like you're going to insta-kill me. Considering all these dudes. Uh-uh. Get that shit away from me. I don't want that. I like how slow they are, too. This is perfect for a mage. Yeah, get fucked. 
Dummy. I missed. Oh, great. Uh, what is that? She just summoned a dog. What? How do you just summon a dog out of midair? I want to be able to do that. <laughs> I want that power. Oh, yeah, I got pants. Wizard pants. Increases damage reduction limit from magical armor. What? What does that fucking mean? So wait, I have a limit on my magic? Is what they're saying? Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, ew. <laughs> oh, they kind of look gross. I'll take less mana for uh, whatever that is. Sure, they, they're they slightly more protective anyways. Wait, can I shoot that? I'm gonna shoot that. I wanna see how much this explodes. Oh shit, there's more up this way. Oh, fuck, okay, I didn't realize there was more. The tower must reach the sky. Build higher. The tower must reach the zenith and arrival the grace of the sun itself. And rival the grace of the sun itself. Matron Leandra demands so. I procured the final castle stone and plenty of it behind the tower. Only best for Matron Leandra. Okay. Oh, hey, Wisp. What's going on? We killed a matron. I think this is a fake wall. Or not. Maybe I'm wrong. So, wait. These guys are building a tower? Why? Was it for the matron that I just killed? I thought these guys were, like, crazy, and they didn't, like, talk. You've played 13 hours of Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> How was it? How do you like it so far? Are you loving it? Are you flying into free? Just like a Dangan? God, Dragon's Dogma is so good. <laughs> it's such a fucking good game. What kind of build? Oh, yeah, you went for a mage. Have you, um, <laughs> have you had the pleasure of meeting a troll yet? Th that's my, that's my question. <laughs> have you had the pleasure of meeting a troll? Not yet. Oh, good. Goody. <laughs> Goody. All right. God, I wish I could go back and, like, wipe my memories of that game. But thankfully, Dragon's Dogma 2 is coming out, so I, I'll be able to have new memories with a new game. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Why can't I cast? Alright, well, there we go. Well, I can cast now. Wait, can I get him to run into this? Hey. Get over here. Hey, can you hit that? <laughs> get pranked, idiot! Oh, fuck you. There's something I, that I don't know what it was. What did it look like? D describe this monster to me. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, that was a lot. Oh, chest. More bombs. I'm getting so many fucking bombs. You know what this game is, guys? The bomb. <laughs> Big humanoid with rocks or something that's on its head. Did it drop kick you? Was it like running around like a maniac and it was like fucking slightly taller than your characters or like twice your height? Didn't like fire? Oh, it ill liked fire? Uh, yeah, that was a troll. Did it specifically go for your like lady party members? Yeah, there you go. If it went specifically for your lady party members, then yeah, it was a troll. Yeah. <laughs> trolls are fuckers. I hate them. I, I hate uh, trolls and I hate uh, elder trolls. They all fucking suck. They're the fucking worst. It ran off the edge to its death. Oh, you got lucky. Yeah. Hell yeah. You got extra lucky with that. Fuck yeah. Yeah, there's uh, times where I've tried to bait that thing off the edge, and it does not go off the edge. It just keeps looking at me and turning around. And then I've had points where I want to fight it seriously, and it just jumps off the fucking edge and dies. Like, <laughs> I don't know. That game is so weird. There's so much weird shit in it, and I feel like my frame rates are dying. This area is kind of odd. 
there a grappling hook up there? Oh, there is. Okay. So wait, do these enemies... Oh, wait. Hey, there's a golden chest. Oh. Well, it's a big hammer, I guess. I'm not going to use it. Uh, a great mace. It's better than the okay mace. It does look cool. I like how it looks. Yeah, the great mace is better than the okay mace. Which is a slight improvement over the all right mace. Alright. I guess fall damage doesn't really matter to me, does it? I can kind of just drop off shit with my magic. City wall block. Oh. Okay, so we got a new uh, building recipe. Cool. Very cool. Hurt me with the charge. I have a female character, but it was already on the ground, so it ran past me <laughs> off the edge. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Fuck yeah. Now you got it. All right, so now we have the saw blade. So we can go back to the dude. Might as well see what he has to say. Oh, God. I got to sit up in my chair. Yeah. This game... I don't know. It's it's making me more excited for Dragon's Dogma. Just because, like, the magic and stuff. All the magic. All this magic. Wait, how do I build the... Oh, table saw. Here we go. All right. Watch out for splinters. That's a big fucking saw. Um, I don't know. Oh, there we go. That pro that's probably how it should be. Wood planks, wood logs. Okay, well, I have to get wood. Great. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I have wood. It's just... Uh, I have to put everything away, too. I think that's the one thing about this game that I don't like, is how much I still have to do this shit. Like, inventory management. Which, that's every survival game. I always hate inventory management. It's very good in this game because it's not too bad. Avenger Matron Head. I don't know what to do with that. So I guess I'll put it in here. I think I can craft a trophy with that. Um, Which is fine. Uh, Put the building stuff away. It's purple, too. Wait, why is it epic? What? <laughs> why? Why is that epic? That seems weird. Killed four cyclopses. One was armored. One troll. One manticore. Bunch of skeletons, harpies, goblins, bandits, bats, r rats, seagulls, rabbits, spiders. Someone dead. I also saw dragon savers ran up and killed me, so I went in a different direction. <laughs> yeah, that's how dragons kind of work in that game. Um, dragons are very sturdy in Dragon's Dogma. Which is a shame, because I don't really... I don't know. Dragon's Dogma is, like, really cool, but I will say it doesn't have, like... I don't know about its dragon designs. Like, they're okay. A lot of them are okay. You know? Like, eh. Uh, some of them are alright. Um, I need to scrap some of these. How much does that do? 21? I'll get rid of this 15. And that's 29. 23, that's 26, uh, 26. I guess I'll get rid of the short sword because it's the most boring one. Put that cleaver in there. Those are my old pants. I can destroy these. I don't really care about these. I'm not going to be using them soon anyways. Oh, that's 29. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, G is uh, sorting inventory on chests. Scorching wand. That's my old wand. Um... Well, that one's 30. Let's grab that. I'll put that in there. Uh, you rank, you're level 22, rank 8. I think the red things are ranks. I started today at about level 15. Started today is rank 5. That's your vocation rank, I'm pretty sure. Um, eventually you're gonna want to swap vocations to a more advanced vocation. Once you, uh, get your stuff out of your basic vocation, swap to, um, a more advanced one. You could look up a kind of guide for what you want. Um, and see, like, what the vocations even are and where to change them at. But I think you've changed them at the Grand Soren Inn. Um, I think that's where you can change them. Should you stop at, swap at rank 9? Uh, you could look to see what perks you get out of it. 
I, I don't know what you would want. Um, and see, like, what skills you want to buy and all that kind of stuff. Because if you're just a mage, you're going to want to move up to, like, a, probably, like, a wizard or whatever it's called, like a sorcerer. Because you lose your uh, healing stuff, but you um, you become more damage-focused. Which is kind of what you want out of a main character. You want, like, a, a mage healer, you know. Or a mage uh, pawn. Which you can get a lot of those online. There's a lot of online, like, mage pawns. Because they're so common. A lot of people go warrior. Stuff like that. Like, uh, melee classes and, like, range classes. So they generally have a healer pawn. Um, guess I'll take those back. Um, all right, where's my wood at, by the way? It's my ladder. I don't need that. Um, where's the wood at? Well, there are twigs. Oh, there's wood. Okay. Um, I could split that stack. There we go. I have a warrior pawn. My group is one pawn of each type than me. Yeah, I, I recommend having two pawns and um, yourself. I'm pretty sure that gives you the most benefit. If you have more pawns than, I think, uh, two, it starts, like, cutting back your experience, if I remember correctly. It makes it harder to, like, level up, I'm pretty sure. I, I, I can't remember fully, so you're going to have to Google that, but... I remember having two pawns a lot of the time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it, like, cuts back your experience if you have more. Um, and make sure to swap out your pawns eventually. You don't want them being, like, super low level while you're higher level. They don't level with you. The only pawn that levels with you is your pawn. Yeah. You swap them multiple times? There you go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, like, if you have more than two pawns... You start getting, like, a cutback on stuff that you can have. So at least with this saw, we can have a, um, a bunch of uh, bigger chests in this game. I'm so excited about that. Uh, medium magic chest, yeah. I need a medium chest, and I need, uh, all that stuff. I made goo, and I made bugs, like, grindings over at the wizard off-stream. Um, okay, so I need 12 wood for one. That's a lot of wood for one. Ooh, get him. It only makes two per. Whoa, okay. Huh, all right. I'm probably gonna have to make more table saws. I don't know if I can, though. Can I? I need another circular saw blade. What the fuck? I don't think I can get another one of those. Anything Never mind. Never mind. You played for about five hours today. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're having fun with Dragon's Dogma. It's always a relief to see people, like, play it and love it. Um, it's always a good hey. thing. Wait, it. what? Tall Tales. You know, I grew up in the capital. They used to tell stories. Stories I heard with my daughter as well. Sometimes at night, there's faint lights glowing beneath the waves. A sign of Queen Pikemead's gracious rule. Uh, my daughter said she saw them once. Children's Tales, I thought. But who knows? Stranger things have happened in Embervale. Tails over yonder. What? What is he talking about? I, I don't know where there's water in this game. <laughs> is that, where's water in this game? Uh. What is he talking about? Was that a quest? I'll swap Anders chest, okay. Um I have no idea what they're talking about. Alright, cool. Currently using better fireball spell, better lightning whip, darkness tentacles, darkness enchantment, better holy enchantment, basic heal. Well there you go. I don't I don't know all the mage stuff. I I don't remember it that much. I played a mage like once or twice in Dragon's Dogma. Um I can't tell you what the class I had the most fun with. I feel like I like the Greatsword class, but it's so fucking not good. <laughs> like, comparatively to a lot of classes, the Greatsword is just not that good. It's so... slow. And a lot of monsters will just knock you out of your fucking swing. 
And your primary damage is the giant swing, so it's kind of fucked up. Yeah, I came over here and I saw this and had a unique name around it. It's called the Ring of Rot. Yeah. And I went, uh, I'm not going to cut this mushroom yet. I said, fuck that. I'm not going to cut this mushroom yet. Would you recommend your pawn fighter become? I don't know, actually. Maybe like, uh, because your pawns can only be basic vocations. Um, advanced vocations are only for you. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it's like the dual vocation. So like a mage uh, melee class can only be you. Um, I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't remember fully. I can't remember fully. You're gonna have to look up a, a, like a list of stuff. I'm sorry about not having the best memory with stuff like that. Last time I played Dragon's Dogma was years ago. Uh, when I first started the stream. I first, I, that was the last time I played Dragon's Dogma. And, um, yeah, that's almost three years ago now. And even then, I don't really remember what I was going for. I think I went with a great sword. Um, and I realized that game was just kind of too slow for stream. <laughs> I don't think Dragon's Dogma is going to be, uh, two is going to be too slow because they have like fast travel and stuff. Like ox carts and like random events that attack you. But Dragon's Dogma 1, if you kind of know everything, it's like, you know what you're doing, you know? Um, who's that big fucker over there? With that fucking weapon. Oh, it's one of those Thunderbolt guys. Isn't it? Yeah, this is one of those big dudes, the boss. Um, okay. Uh, there's a lot of men here. <laughs> there's quite a lot of men here. I don't really want to fight any of them. Uh, what's the button to swap there? There we go. I was just, will say one thing about this game. I don't like swapping um, targets in it. I'm very iffy on swapping targets in this game. I might swap the buttons. I might put them on something different. Oh, I feel like this game could also use like ultimates somehow in a weird way. Wait, oh. It's a legendary wand, but it sucks. I wish I would have found that earlier in the game. But yeah, this game needs something like, um, like an ultimate. I feel like the necromancy perk should be like an ultimate instead of like a on kill skill. Like summoning a dude to help me should be, I don't know, something better than whatever that is. They're just so weak. They don't do a lot of damage. I'm just going to scrap this. I have better wands in there. There we go. Man, what is with these dudes? They're so freaking scary. Quit floating away. I'm trying to shoot you. There we go. God damn. So I guess this is like a little challenge area that I never found early on. Um. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why I would do this early on. <laughs> It seemed like it was kind of, kind of a lot of dudes. Maybe if I had people with me, I would have done this, but yeah, no way. Not at level five. Um, I got the, the thing there that I wanted, the ring. Uh, I guess we need to do the, the chest and stuff like that. Wait, the hunter's spindle. Wait, what? There's an elixir well here. Well, shit, I might do this. Yeah, let's go do this. Yeah, let's go over there. Pawns cannot become hybrid ones, but can become non-hybrid ones. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, hybrid um, ones are restricted to your character only. My, I think my favorite playthrough might have been the Magic uh, Paladin. <laughs> Whatever it was called. The Magic Knight. That's what they're called. Oh, actually, if you wanted, you could become a Magic Knight. Um, as a mage, because you're upgrading your mage stats. 
Because what happens is when you level up, um, you're gaining uh, a perk layout. So let's say if you're going like Assassin, you're going to get maxed out attack perk layout. And you're not going to have a lot of health. You're not going to have a lot of magic. And you're not going to have a lot of like uh, defense. But if you go Warrior, you're going to have a lot of health and you're going to have a lot of attack. But you're not going to have a lot of like other things. Um, if you go Magic Knight and like Wizard, you're going to get a lot of um, a lot of magic damage. Just so you know. Just so you know. Um. So wait, what? Where does it want me to go? That seems like a barrier. <laughs> I don't want to go that way. Um. Is there like a weird bridge there? I don't even know. I'm, I might as well just go to the tower and like fly over. Yeah, this seems like just a little fucked up corner of nightmare. All right, where are we? I want to go here. That is waypoint. There we go. There we go. I really do wish there was like a big town that wasn't ruined. I know this is like a survival game, but I don't know. I feel like that'd be really cool. To see a place that wasn't completely fucked up. I just like this game. I like this game's universe so far. I'm really into it. Combat could be a little tighter, but other than that, like... I enjoy just running around. Ow. <laughs> I'm breaking my fucking knees. It feels like, um... It gives me the same vibes as, like, Witcher. Where I'm just kind of, like, running around, like, looking at trees and stuff and seeing how, like, pretty the landscape is. And then I have to, like, fight a big monster. <laughs> and then I fight a big fucking monster that makes me mad. Um. Alright, this way? I think I've been to that shrine. I'm not certain. Yeah, I've been to that shrine. Okay, Ferndale. I think we've been over here. This is why map's revealed, so. We've had to been over here. I don't remember this area. Oh, I do remember that, though. Yeah, here we go. Oh, I guess we could do this well. Get some more perks. I might as well. I'm assuming... What, what level are the enemies over here? I'm assuming they're fairly fucking weak. Um, how weak or strong are you? Level 7. Okay, we're good. Oh, hi. Please leave me alone. There we go. Everybody just die. All right, we're good. Everybody just stay dead. That's all I want out of you. All right. Um, I could pop another elixir. Those are always strong. Hi. What do you want from me? God, hopefully you um you get that golden idol quest out of the way too. <laughs> I I hope you can figure out that golden idol quest in a good way. Um, cause holy fuck, that quest is fucking awful. <laughs> that quest is fucking awful. I don't think there's a quest I hate more in Dragon's Dogma. Um. There might be a few, but it's hard to it's hard to remember them. Oh, I don't really like the Shadow Fort. The Shadow Fort's weird. The Shadow Fort can get very messy, and you can get like stuck in a corner. Shadow Fort could definitely be better. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping there's a lot more intricate areas in Dragon's Dogma too. Oh, you got the gold idol? Hell yeah, you did. 
Are these like, can I just break these? What is that? Are those spawners? Like, what are those? If they're spawners, I'm just gonna fucking blow them up. Okay. Uh, you. Hi. <laughs> Did I just knock him on his ass? Oh no, I put him in the ground. Okay. Oh my god, that's what more games need. We need um, we need items that you can throw at people and it just knocks them on their ass. Like if I hit somebody in the face with a rock in Far Cry, I want them to fall down. You know, I want them to fall down on their ass and like look at me annoyed. I like like they clutch their eye. <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucking funny. Um. Well, I could do that, like, buff, but I'm not going to waste it here. Mm. Oh, okay. I just grapple hook down. Cool. Fucking sick, dude. That's fucking metal. Uh, this looks like a big-ass boss fight down here. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to feel about this. This looks like a boss fight. Hmm. Hello? <laughs> Is everybody alright? I do like the lore that the elixir wells aren't actually like wells. They're like mines. They're like freaky ass mines. They're not like a well that you just like pump elixir out of. They're just like scary, <laughs> like jarring areas. Ugh. I don't know how you could see this and want to drink the elixir. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't know how you could see this and like want to drink it. Like obviously it's a video game and I wouldn't drink it because it gives me a damage buff. But like... Oh fuck me, that's a lot of bugs. Why can't I throw my bombs? There we go. That could've helped. There's a lot of critters down here. I break that. Break that. I think those are spawners. I'm not sure though. Um, do they want me to jump down this shit? <laughs> uh Oh, there's the ladder there. Okay. Oh, we're fine. Is that a bug or a dude? I think that's a dude. Ow. Hi! What's up? How's it going, bro? Feeling good? All right. Uh. Oh fuck! That mushroom's in the way. All right. Um. Uh... Well, they're decreasing my time. That's not very good. Oh, there's the the plant. I thought it was over that way. Never mind. A lot of arrows. Um, I don't know about you, but that looks like a big guy. Oh, I oh yeah, I forgot I had that. I had a little like fire thing. I can make like a wisp of fire now. That's a light for five minutes. Uh, who is this guy? He's very armored. Oh, he's the he's the one dude that I already fought. Okay. Never mind. There we go. Uh, please leave me alone. I don't want you to hit me because you look like you deal damage. Even though I am like level 13 and I can kill you fairly easily. Uh, what are you going to give me? Trash is what he's giving me. <laughs> that, that's all he gave me. He gave me fucking trash. You're hungry? Get something to eat. Get some tasty fucking food, you know? That's what we all need in this world. I feel like everything's improved by tasty food. I had some really good uh, Mexican food today. Oh my god. So fucking good. I had so much salsa. I know I shouldn't have, because it's going to ruin my insides, but... All that tomato? Oh my god. Fuck me. But it was so fucking good. Yeah, fell Thunderbrute head. Its brain has been replaced by fungi and slush. Ew! <laughs> Ew! What do you mean, slush? 
Wait, is the ether slushies? <laughs> it's like raspberry slushies. Oh no. That's fucked up. It literally turns your brain into a slushy. That's gross. I don't like that at all. Uh, but of bugs. Yeah, a lot of fucking bugs. Gotta hear with that shit. What is going on over here? It's extremely pretty when it doesn't have the fog. I love how the mushrooms look with the grass. Um, which, why is grass growing down here? <laughs> Um, this area is fucking big. Yeah, this area is actually like fucking big. Um, all right, what's up here? There's so many bugs! Oh, this is like a pathway I could have went down. Okay. Man, this health regen is fucking insane. Yeah, this health regen is fucking insane. Alright, stop that. I know you just spawned behind me. I heard you. I heard you physically spawned behind me. All right, uh, what else is there down here? Well, I got the plant. Um, I got the boss. I don't think there was a chest or anything. Hmm? No? No? Yeah, I think this is it. I think we got it. All right, cool. How many points did that give me? Are every mushroom just one? Okay, so these ones are three. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So when you get the ones in the wells, they're three points. That's how you get a lot of points really fast. Um. Uh, Pyromaniac. All damage decreased by additional 20%. Okay, fire damage. So that'll make my wisps better when I get them again. Um. And that'll make my counter strike better when I get that. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. I could go for the uh, the wand stuff, but I don't know. Twenty four percent chance to cover two mana. That's not bad. Um, I'll get pyromaniac. I need to get radiant aura and like sun aura and stuff like that. I need uh, an AOE around me. Because when dudes get too close, I want to burn them, and I want to fucking, um... I want to keep them away extra good. Ancient Vault Farmer. Can I just, like, get out of here and, like, go up that way? Uh... Gonna get more pizza rolls, hell yeah. I will say, there's, like... Okay, when people say pizza rolls, I get two different things in my head. I get, like, two different images. I get the images of, like, really, really good, like, spiced up, like, like, oven-made, rolled pepperoni, like, around, like, pepperoni rolled with, like, dough and, like, cheese, and they, like, put garlic butter on top of it and stuff like that. Now that's a pepperoni roll. Uh, a lot of what people say when they say pepperoni rolls is, like, Totino's. <laughs> and that's the other one I get. And one of them is very good, and one of them is very, like, I don't know. I don't want to be mean, but it's, like, sad to me. It makes me sad. Because I've been over at somebody's house where they're like, I'm going to make pizza rolls. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, we're making pizza rolls? Yo, dude, I'll help. And they're like, what do you mean I'll help? I go, but aren't you making pizza rolls? <laughs> like, wait, what? You're making pizza rolls, right? And they're like, yeah, Totino's. And I'm like, uh, I don't want to put that in my mouth. <laughs> I don't want to put that in my mouth. I'd rather go get, like, I don't know, garbage food. Different garbage food. Like, there's nothing bad about it, but, like, I don't know. 
I'm just so excited for the good stuff, you know? I think that's it. I just get so pumped for the good stuff that when it's the the okay, like, like sad stuff, I'm like, ugh. I don't want that. I'm spoiled, I guess. I'm very spoiled when it comes to those. Oh, God. There used to be this, like, market I go to. Oh, they were so good. Oh, man. That thing got wiped out after COVID, but fuck. They had, like, the best fucking pizza rolls ever. Or pepperoni rolls, whatever they're called. And it's just... Oh, it's like heaven. You take a bite and it was like fucking heaven, man. We need more food like that. Take a bite, it's like heaven in your mouth. And you just don't want to stop eating. I had stir fry the other week that was homemade where it was like... I, I just didn't want to stop eating it. Oh man, it was so good. It was so, so fucking good. Um, I like gorged myself, I think. <laughs> I think I ate way too much. But you know, that's fine. Uh, those are some fucked up plants. I don't know what that's about. All right, so where is this area that I have to go to? It's up there. It's with the farmer. Okay, so it's probably up on that hill. With that house. Um. Can I just walk up there? Or am I going to have to, like, glide? Heaven forbid I have to, like, fly up there. Or, like, build my way up there. Because that's not going to end well. Uh, mushrooms. Give me those. Mushrooms are actually really useful in this game. They make, uh, they make, uh, healing potions and stuff. Like, healing potions, they make, um... Uh, my magic buffs. My silly magic buffs that I use. And they do something else, I don't remember. Oh, they make the grand healing items. I'm trying to build, um... Make a little farm for the, uh, what are they called? Chamomile? So I can get, uh, large health potions, finally. Getting made. Alright. Um. Here we go. Oh, there's a whole town over here. I thought it was just a damn house. Uh... The Hunter's Hand Spindle. I'm assuming I'll be able to make flax over here. Squirrel Wizard, Squirrel Wizard. Does everything magic a squirrel can? Glide along, shoot a spell, conjure a deadly hail. Look out, here comes the Squirrel Wizard. You basically are a flying squirrel in this game, aren't you? I feel like you could just make this game a flying squirrel game and it would probably play exactly the same. Like where all the people were just flying squirrels. Oh, level 14. Cool. I didn't realize I was going to level up. Uh, skills. Three. Okay, here we go. So now I can get Radiant Aura. Fucking sick. Now guys will burn next to me. Everybody will burn. Everybody will burn. Martha! <laughs> Martha, my mom? It's me. It's me, Batman. <laughs> oh, fuck. I was not ready for that shit. <laughs> no, Martha, my letter. I was not ready for the Martha, like, <laughs> appearance. Holy shit, all right. <laughs> oh, man. The Martha Wayne? Oh, there's a dude. All right, here we go. I realized he saw me through the wall. Oh, fuck, that killed me. Now, <laughs> Martha? Is this an openable door? No, that's breakable. There we go. Now, why would you board up Martha's letter? Like a squirrel mage works better lengthwise, yeah. Um, is this the first letter or is this the third? Oh, there we go. Still nothing to eat, nothing to serve. Bones, scraps, watery soup, when will our, we meet our demise? A new traveler arrived, hungry and tired. Hungry and tired. Um, she wanted me to leave the bones in her stew. A quiet anger lingered in her eyes, wild determination like a starving wolf. I've heard her room, but she declined with a grunt. 
March in the woods up north to sleep on the cold, hard ground. A brute. She belongs in the wild anyhow. What? I'm assuming she's going to bring them back food. I woke to the smell of blood freshly flowing. Looked to my window where pre some predator had made two fresh kill of... Uh, wait. Had made a fresh kill of two fade here. Effortless, maybe. Certainly not painless. First, I cried out in shock. Then realizes realization hit me. Two fade here, eight rib portions. Maybe ten, twelve sausages. Blood pudding as dessert. Gallons of stew. This will feed the whole village. Thank the ancient ancients. Okay, so I was right. She, um... She helped people. This is like her little village that she helped out. Well, that's kind of sad. Alright, dude. I'm trying to, like, live my life here. Don't do that. Uh... I thought these dudes were start, like, supposed to start burning. Oh no, it's only fell that are near me. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's when I'm in the uh, the fog. Oh, that's actually not bad. Hopefully that affects the bugs. If that affects fell bugs, then we're good. It's gonna be a really good perk. Yeah, isn't it only fell? Uh, all fell foes. Yeah, there we go. There should be a way to, like, make that work on normal dudes. Maybe it would be too strong, then. Yeah, maybe it'd be way too strong. Alright, I keep getting explosive balls. God damn it. I don't need all these balls. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. I'm also on fire. Yeah, somebody really get life alert for them. Okay, if there's, like, magic, like, okay. Wait, here we go. If you're elderly in a magical universe, do they create, like, a scroll that you can rip that's, like, life alert? Or, like, it alerts everybody around you that you've, like, fallen and you can't get up? Like, nobody can hear you, but you rip the life alert scroll? A scroll of life alert. And it, like, causes, like, I don't know. Like, a portal to open up and, like, a doctor to walk through. Why is that on fire? Um, never mind. <laughs> ah, just needed a window. It's fine. We're good. You know, I thought I'd just open up the room a little bit. Uh, what else is here even? Uh, a lot of these flowers that increase my, um, I think it's like spirit. I think these increase spirit. All right, what's up with this game and it's like weird texture stuff too? Um, something I could do about that? In game? No, it's in display. Here we go. Um... Fog quality performance. Okay, maybe that'll help. Volumetric shadow quality. What's that even look like? I have no idea what that even did. That does nothing for me. Contact shadows. Small shadows. Turn them off. Prefer yeah, okay. That's fine. Shadow quality. I can't tell the difference. I I'm going to be honest, guys. I hate shadows in games because I don't know. I can't see the difference ever. Like, oh, my shadow has a little more crinklies on it. Does anybody notice that? Does anybody give a fuck? It'll make the game run better. Or it just has weird loading issues. I don't know. I've never been able to, like, give a shit. If there's something that I turn down in any game right away, it's always shadow quality. That's why I don't care about, like, RTX or whatever. RTX just causes, like, reflections and shadows. And those are two of the things that I need the least in video games. Can we have, like, things that... I don't know. Have NVIDIA work towards, like, improving, like, facial animations and, like... I don't know. Stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know. All those seem more useful than fucking shadows. Shadows. 
Imagine it would be a teleportation spell that drops you into the hospital. Yeah, maybe. What if the hospital's full and you fall on another patient? That'd be kind of weird. Um, there's nothing in this house. I mean, there's a chest, but, like, fuck it. Who cares? Um. All right, where's the spindle at? Did I get it? Abandoned hunter camp. Oh, no, here it is. So, wait, what was this town? Westcott. Okay, so she helped out Westcott. It's kind of sad to see, like, the town that she helped out just being in ruins. That's why I want to, like, bring people back. I wish there were more, like, um... Um, more, uh, Flameborn, or whatever they're called. Alright, is this ground fog really what's fucking up my stuff? Withered encampment. Oh, is this her camp? Wait, maybe not. I have no idea where her camp is. It must be up here. Oh! That's a death. Ashen ones. <laughs> no, we're the Arisen. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Arisen. Goblins in like fire arisen. Is this considered a fell? No, this guy is not considered a fell. Okay. Oh, he just killed himself. <laughs> Okay, cool. You good? Good for me. That's I'm fine with that. Goblins in like fire. <laughs> oh god, it's so sad that that's not going to be in Dragon's Dogma too. Fuck. Like I'm happy about it, but something that was always funny was just listening to them fucking scream. Um, uh, what's up there actually? Is that the farmers. Oh, that's the farmer area. Okay. Ow. Okay. Um. How do I get up to where the hunter was? I could probably climb the thing over there and fly over, but... I don't want to do that. Flameborn arose from the ashes. They arose from their sleeping pods. Just like Warframe. Oh, here's the camp. Okay, it's not up there. All right, I'm about to just fucking... All right, there we go. Oh, wait, we can use the, uh, the, the, the wisp. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's good. It's a very good, uh, potion. I need to get fireflies for it, though. I have, like, no fireflies. Um... Fireflies are actually su surprisingly useful in this game. Not supremely, but surprisingly. Uh, okay. Oh, I wanted to put that on the ground. How do I light the campfire? Okay. I'm gonna light it. Is that even causing, f like, fire? I don't know. Um, I don't care. It's a, it's a, <laughs> this mace sucks. Delete. Leave the rod behind. Finally, fresh air, not heavy with the scent of pollen or sweat, sickening decay. Or sweet sickening decay. Uh, not sweat sickening decay. My head spins. I haven't slept in days. Not since I left my spindle in the revel would atop that cliffside. So far away now, I can't turn back. I had to flee. Something sinister buried in that thicket. Spreads through the undergrowth like roots. Uh, it braces and tangles, squeezes and suffocates. Swimming in the darkness between the branches, under the skin. The silky web of two-clawed hunting spider. What? Nightmares like these are forged by man, I've learned. Oh, is it a spider boss? Is that what I have to fight? Probably have to fight a spider boss. At some point. Hey. 
There we go. Yeah, give me all that shit. I need honey and stuff as well. Um. What do I get rid of? I need a lot of this stuff. Yeah, I need a vast majority of this. I don't need this. Uh, delete that. Um. I don't need more bombs. I have bombs at camp. I need that resin, though. Oh, I found a decent way to farm resin. Those, um, like, Yeti guys? The Yeti guys tend to drop, like, resin and stuff like that. And some plants, I'm pretty sure. Um, so they're, they're decent. I like them. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. There's a lot of shit over here. Uh, why did I hit that button? I did not want that. Alright, here we go. I wonder when I'm going to be able to upgrade my axes and stuff. Oh, nice flying beehives. Sick. <laughs> Fucking sick. I love that. Alright, there we go. Uh, there we go. Wait, what's up here? Oh, bones. Oh, there was a dude that died. Probably got killed by a... Whoa! Okay, that... Yeah, okay, that's probably what I got killed by. But that scared me. <laughs> I was not ready for that. This game scares me a lot more than, like, an actual horror game. I've noticed. I think survival games just scare me the most, in general. Genuinely, like, survival games just... I don't know what it is. Just the, the fear of losing all my items on the ground and having to come back is scarier than any fucking, like, bendy. You know? Like, what if this goat just started rolling at me with lightning magic and killed me? Like, that'd be fucking scary. Um. So wait, where's the spindle? <laughs> okay. Well, fuck. I. <laughs> There's so many fucking areas. Um, I guess we'll put a waypoint there. Lone thistle. Oh yeah, that was his uh uh house, the wizard house. Original game idea. So you start by coming out of a pod thing here from the past with the power, a flame of heroism. The world's fallen into ruin. Do the Dark Lord's hive monsters, and you must go travel to your best friend to fight all the fallen lords in order to collect the parts of the ultimate MacGuffin. I mean, ancient weapon. The Dark Lord destroys it, and you must instead fight him and use the power of friendship and all the healing items you hoarded. Uh, sounds about right. That sounds like every RPG game ever. That that genuinely sounds like every RPG game ever. Very original. I I I, I approve. I like where you uh stated the Mag I mean magic item. Yeah. I, I like that part. That's my favorite part. I like that one a lot. I've never heard of a, a magic item to delete, like, a demon lord. Oh, man, that'd be so much scarier. Instead of defeating the demon lord, you delete the demon lord. And he just, like, disappears from all, like, records <laughs> and dies. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that just sounds bad. Oh my god! You could make a video game like that where it's like, um, Hypnospace Outlaw where you have to, like, go through, like, computer stuff. And it's about, like, defeating the Demon Lord in your computer. <laughs> and it's called Delete the Demon Lord. And he's just mischievous the entire time. I feel like that'd be really fun. Like, a little joke game like that. Um... Yeah, tons of shroud roots and shit. Oh my god. Uh, I want to go to this one because this one's like high up. I know my backpack is full. I get it. Wait, can I just like bomb this? And jump up. <laughs> well, we almost got it. Um. Uh, <laughs> One more for the road, please. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's a plant. Okay. Evil plant. There we go. These guys are kind of cute. 
Like, they're scary but cute. I like how they open up. They really know my feelings. They open up to me a lot. Uh... Oh, God. Where am I? How the fuck do I get up this hill? This is what I want to know. Oh, wait. I didn't need to do that. I go over here. I just wasted, like, three bombs. Or I didn't, and it just made me run down the hill. <laughs> like, Mach 5. Uh, that was kind of scary. Whoa. Oh, God damn it! I just want to go. <laughs> I just want to go up. Can I go up? This is all I care about. I just want to travel upwards. Upward and upwards. <laughs> we'll get there, team. We gotta find the MacGuffin. Whoa, magic star. Magic star, shooting star. Not magic star. Definitely not Patrick star. Wait, what is that? What's up there? Uh, what the fuck was that sound? <laughs> Uh, whatever that sound was, I didn't like it. Can we not have that sound? I, I I don't want that sound. I don't like that sound one bit. No, thank you. I'm good. <laughs> I'm fucking good. Uh, scavenge that. Wait, oh, these are like the crappy shields from the beginning of the game. All right, there we go. Question, should the best friend use a sword and shield and almost die saving your life but then be fine? Or should they use a sword and betray you for power but then they have a change of heart after you defeat them? No, there should be a healing mage that's always by your side. And uh, encourages you when you're at your lowest moments. What the fuck? I felt like Jimmy Neutron there for a minute. Had a fucking brain blast. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is definitely kind of grody over here. I don't know what's going on. Sorry, it's pretty nasty. And then they die later in the game? They die later in the game only to be resurrected as a stronger version of themselves. With necromagic. They become a necromancer healer because you have to resurrect them halfway through the game. Okay, that's actually a cool, like, plot point. Or you're a necromancer, and you have to bring them back. And then at the end of the game, when you defeat the demon lord, your spell is is up. Because your motivation for the spell is over. You fulfill, they fulfilled their goal as, their, as your summon. And they, ha they must rest now. There's a lot of dudes up here. That's so many dudes. Get out of here. They're all level 9. I mean, I guess that's fine. They're pretty weak. I like these dudes with big lumps on their backs. They look like they're having a good time. Anytime I see them, they just look like they're having fun. You can be called a revenant. Yeah, there you go. Alright, I need a fucking, like, wisp of light potion. Alright, there we go. This area is getting a little too dark for me. What's that? Oh yeah, chamomile is what I need. Yeah, chamomile for the uh, the the uh, super potions. Even though as a mage, I don't think I'm going to need them as much. I did not want to do that. I I did not want to go down like that. Wait, oh, there's a whole thing over here. Get up that way. Location is below. What do you mean location is below? The mushrooms? I mean, I guess. Uh, location is below. <laughs> How do I get to location is below? Oh, that's how I get to location is below. Um, yeah, okay. Did I go down there? I, <laughs> I don't know if I should go down there. It seems bad. Yeah, it seems bad, but I'm going to do it. 
Um, not into the big, like, evil mushrooms, please. Not into that. Thank you. Yeah, not into the insta-kill mushroom. Grind teeth grotto. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, this is bad. Guys, I don't know about you, but I don't want to go to a place called Grind Teeth Grotto. Especially when it's full of mushrooms. Uh... Please don't have a boss. Oh, this one doesn't have a boss or anything. Uh, it just has bugs. <laughs> I thought they were going to be level 18. I was about to shit my pants. God, I hate the sounds this thing fucking makes. It's so grimy. I wish it would load better. All right, Let, let's see if I can turn something down. I don't know what this go what's going on with this game. It's very like unoptimized. Needs some more performance patches or something. Um. Uh... I don't want to turn down, like, texture resolution. Maybe that's why, yeah. I mean, I guess that's fine. We'll have to play until they patch it more. Because there's no way my computer can't fucking handle this game. Like, that's the thing. <laughs> there's no way my computer can't fucking handle this game. Nobody even, like, has fucking 4080s and shit like that. All right, um, I guess let's get out of here. There's nothing really left. Wait, can I mine that? What is that? Ineffective. Okay, that seems like death if I touch it, so I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> I'm not going to touch that. That seems bad. I do need to go the, over to the withered encampment stuff. Um, actually, I think I'm going to try to go to the tower. I'm going to go to the tower, and we'll make our way over there. Let's go back to camp, though. Like, our camp camp. I got to drop stuff off. Should we also have a little floating ally who doesn't fight but gives you exposition about stuff, so lore doesn't need to actually be incorporated into world building? Yeah, exactly. They have to be a little floating, like, like a mascot character. That's cute, and they smile a lot, and they whine a lot, and they're always hungry. Is that is that good? They always have to be hungry. That's one thing, right? Um, like, where's the food? When you go into a new village, everybody's like, "There's no food. The, the world's ending," and they're like, "Where's the food?" I can't believe there's no food in this town. Everybody's starving. It's like a famine, and the thing just keeps talking about food, <laughs> and everybody fucking hates it. Oh, here we go. More chamomile. All right, so I need to craft more of that. There we go. We're going to keep crafting chamomile. What phrase should they say too often be? Um, what, what's like a like a what's like a fantasy curse word? That's like cutesy. Oh, they have to say, like, the god's name. Because the god gave you the, the follower. They're, like, a follower of the, like, god of the world. All right. That's what it has to be. Let's see. By the, by the grace of, of, uh, 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 what, what's a god's name? I don't know. Uh, Aria. By the grace of Aria. I don't know. <laughs> I have no fucking idea. That's generally how, like, RPGs work. B by blanks light, this is terrible. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And the game will have, like, really heavy-handed, like, uh... Uh, like, commentary on society. <laughs> Where it's just, like, it's so heavy-handed and you're like, Oh, that makes sense, but then it kind of starts falling apart later and you're like, Uh, this doesn't make sense anymore. What's going on here? 
Like, what are you talking about? This doesn't really work as well you th as you think it does. And the game falls apart by, like, the, the ending, you know? It's, like, good for the first, like, 25%, and then, like, middle of the game's kind of a slog. And then by the end, you just want to be done with it. There you go. We, we, we've discovered the perfect formula for a game. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the perfect formula as far as I could tell. The formula always works. Always works. Everybody loves games like that. Hit their weak point, dodge the red attacks. Make sure to heal, yeah. Yeah, 50 hours in, your tutorial's reset. And the character starts talking again about, like, healing and shit. It's like Dragon's Dogma. A goblet's still like fire! And we already know, because we've been playing the game for, like, 50 hours. Okay, turning down the textures doesn't help. This is a weird, like, issue with the game's textures. Um... It seems like I just have to swap it to reload them at some point. Which is very fucking odd. I don't get that. I don't get why that's a thing I have to do. Uh, voice crack. That's a thing I have to do. I've noticed that my voice kind of trails off at the end of sentences when I talk like that. I need to be better about that. I need not have so many, like, like voice trails. Oh, yeah, there's, like, a weird, uh, building over here, I think. I don't think I went into it, though. What are these strawberries? Can I make, like, a, a fruit salad with this shit? Like, what's going on? Why are there so many fucking strawberries? Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. There we go. <laughs> oh, I got 13 strawberries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now, this is surviving. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shit. They have really good health regen. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> I guess they're just really good. They're increased. They're better purple berries. All right. They're like 50% better. That's fine. I'll take it. Fuck it. Who gives a shit? That sounds good. Uh, not, I keep hitting the wrong fucking button. All right, now that we're here, I need to use my uh, my buffs. The leader guy with the graying uh, hair that has rough but kind personality and always wears heavy armor die tragically in the later part, or should we do original twist that he's actually a villain? No, he dies at, in the tutorial. He's your main like main guy that's guiding your party for the tutorial, and then he dies to the first boss that he's been fighting for the last fifty years. Because you show up, and you're his motivation to go out there and fight again. Because with your powers, because you're the chosen one, you have to go and you have to, like, help him defeat the boss that's, like, uh, uh, holding his city, you know? And then later on, you meet, um, uh, uh, the resistances that were inspired by him, and they hear about you. And they, they all love you. So they view you as, like, his protege. So that's how you get in with the resistance for the rest of the game. You're his protege. Um, that is a fucking plant. <laughs> that is a fucking plant. I mean, it doesn't really matter if they poison me, does it? I can just kind of stand and hit them. A poison sack. I like how it's putting it on my face. <laughs> Uh, the weeds are bad enough. These barren lands are now wrecked by creeping sprouts. They burst through the soil faster than I could cut them down. Vile things and spit, vile things spitting bile and brine. All the fields rot. The case spreads deeply. There's no saving the pasture. Blast is all stirred anew elsewhere. Pass it to the Oscar, that fool. Never liked him much, anyway, snotty brat. What? Who's Oscar? Shepherd's lightning. Still garbage. Still garbage. All right, potions? Hey! Wisp of Light, cool. And another Prayer of the Flame Scroll. Uh, can you not fight me, please? I don't want to fight bees right now. 
I don't like bees. I don't want to fight bees. None of your beesness. <laughs> there we go. That was a fucking bad one. <laughs> that was a fucking bad one. Ooh, that one gave me chills. <laughs> None of your beesness. Oh, God. Fuck me. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Alright, I do need lumps of clay. God. But dying, he says, this is up to you now. You made me regain the fire to fight against the darkness. I believe in you. Yeah, and then he, um, he calls you son. Or, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he calls you son. You're like the son I never had. Go out there. You've inspired me. Make the world want to live again. Don't let these people be put down. We're better than this. You know? <laughs> I'm such an asshole. You know, I, I'm, I'm just such an asshole. I, I've realized that like, <laughs> since I started streaming, I'm such a dick. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? This is like, uh... <laughs> like, I, I know I'm a dick for calling Mass Effect dad sci-fi. But that's just how it feels to me. Also, there's a lot of stuff with Mass Effect 2 recently that I've kind of noticed that are kind of throwing me off. A lot of what a Mass Effect 2, like what they're showing, it feels like it doesn't fit in the world. Like from what I know from Mass Effect 1, some of it's just, it's, it's just really strange. Like, I don't know, I'm being introduced to a lot of new concept in concepts in that game. And they're, like, throwing away old concepts and just saying, like, oh, it doesn't work like that anymore. Which is odd. It really throws me off. It's really throwing me off with Mass Effect. Um, is there anything in here? No? It's just a fucking tower. Okay. A good job. What's that? Oh, it's just a searchable thing. Okay. I thought it was like a rat or something. Uh, okay. So I got, whoa, piggies. <laughs> Miss Piggy, no. Get away from me, Miss Piggy. All right, there we go. We're good. Yeah, then you also have to find like, um, um your party has to be like a, um, uh, a very energetic, like, like, uh, like, uh, fighter that, uh, jumps around a lot. You have to have, like, older characters on your team, too, that, like, like, groan at them. What are these? Why are they in the ground like that? What are they doing? Oh, I don't know what that is, but it's evil poison. It looks like they're infected with the... The spores. I mean, I know they're already spores, but are these like spore carriers? I guess it just hurts me. I'm not really doing much. Wait, what? They're slain, but they're not dead. What? Oh, they're gone now. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um. All right. Oh, be five, fo fum. Where will these monsters come from? Oh, nothing. There's just chain heal in the middle of the forest. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was weird. Who spit at me? Somebody spit at me. Somebody squelched at me. Who squelched at me? Ugh. You've been gone for two years. The universe has changed a lot. This is like how you remember. That's why basic function of how the universe works is completely different. Yeah. 
That's how a terrorist organization is somehow saving the universe. That does like like heinous human experiments all the time. Like what? Okay. <laughs> I believe you. I need to get that stun ability. That stops me from uh that lets me teleport up being stunned. That stops me from being stunned. I mean I guess it technically does. If I have stamina, then I'm unstunnable at that point. There we go. Oh, look at that. The fire damage is working. It does 11 damage. It's not terrible. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible. I'm assuming it's going to be a lot better once I um, upgrade my intelligence more. And once I get the other perk to in it to uh, double it. I don't know if I will. Maybe I'll respect that one. Because it does only work against Fell. I don't really fight Fell all that often, and they're not really that difficult. Alright. Oh, it's a chest there. Oh, bomb. Okay. Yeah, I ran across this bridge before. I, I recognize this. This is where I went earlier. Alright, there we go. Can I just, like, shoot that barrel? There. Oh, nope, never mind. <laughs> never mind, the dog wanted to attack me now. Oh, these dogs are strong. Did I get it? Oh, it was a boar, okay. Agile girl with dual weapons, older mage guy with a staff, kind shy girl that heals, tough guy with dark hair and two big hand so or big two-hand sword. Your best friend. And don't forget the girl character with charming powers that probably either uses a whip or a pistol or something. Yeah. Yeah, don't forget your, like, fantasy character that uses a random gun as well. Like, you, you don't realize that there are guns in the universe until, like, that character shows up. And then you're like, oh, I guess this universe has guns. And, like, no other character uses guns besides them. And you're just kind of confused the whole time. Yeah, this is the blue cave that I saw. Got a bunch of bugs in it. This cave is really pretty, I will say. I just wish it didn't have the bugs. I can build a um, um, a house in here. I don't feel like it would go well, but I could do it. Um... Yeah, I don't feel like any of it would go well, but I could do it, technically. More critter parts. There we go. So, is there going to be a giant spider in this area? Or is it going to be a big plant? So that's what I'm kind of... I don't know. I don't know what to think about this area. Luminous growth. Are they so hard to mine? That's something I've noticed in this game. It's very hard to mine certain materials. Like clay and um, copper. Uh, and this stuff. Yeah, this is what I found. I think it's a building material. Glows in the dark. Yeah, terrain material. Moody light source often found in or around caves. All right. Well, that does work. Cool. It is, <laughs> it is in or around caves. We we've discovered that. Cool. I like it. Hopefully, I can make some cool lamps with it, like blue lamps. Because wizard wizards use like blue light, don't they? <laughs> wizards love blue light. Right? That's how wizards work. I'm pretty sure. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, it was a fucking animal. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, we also found the name of those creatures. They're called Fae Deer. 
I just realized that. We, we found the name of that in that uh, Hunter journal. Or Martha's journal, sorry. Uh, there's the tower. Once we get up there, we can teleport around. We'll fly around. Maybe interesting idea, having this original RPG game, but through the game, people are constantly rude and trying to take advantage of you. After you defeat the Dark Lords, you actually absorb his darkness to become the new Dark Lord. It becomes a game of you taking over the world as the Dark Lord. Then after you win, the game restarts, and you're a new protagonist. You have to defeat the old character. So there is a game that kind of does, like, the negative perception thing until you beat the, the bad guy. And do you want to know what game that is? <laughs> Do you, do you want to know what game that is? <laughs> where where all characters have a negative perception of you till you beat the boss of the area. Neopets the darkest fairy. <laughs> yeah, it's Neopets. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> yeah, that game, um, there's like a blight, like a darkness blight that makes everybody angry. Um, it never becomes an asshole. And when you defeat the, the boss of that area, it like takes the darkness blight away. So, <laughs> there you go. Um, you don't become like the dark lord at the end or anything, but, you know. <laughs> This is kind of funny that that game has so many, like, interesting concepts that... When it's Neopets? <laughs> I don't know. That game is a cult, like, game. I know that. It's like a cult classic for some people. Or, like, barely, but... Fuck, that game was so weird. I can't believe I played that as a kid. I have no idea how I even got that game. I didn't even play Neopets. I didn't like Neopets. But I somehow got Neopets the Darkest Fairy. I think I got it at like a fucking bargain bin. What a weird life I lead. <laughs> fucking Neopets. Oh my god. A game. Uh, how do I get up to this tower too? It's kind of weird. Um, it's very like high up. Do they want me to mine my way up, or what? I really don't want to do that. And I don't think I can fly my way up. I don't think there's anything near it. Uh. Ooh, strawberries. <laughs> strawberries, you must. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in, like, Yoda's forest right now. Wait, what's that? Uh, oh, ew. I don't want to go down there. Oswald Anders' chest. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. What is that? Oh, Diad Win and it's built in its building blocks. Oh, that's the town. Okay. What's that? Oh, it's a bat. It was an electric bat. What the fuck? Wait, there are electric bats in the game? What the fuck? <laughs> Um, weird. Okay. At least I know lightning is yellow in this game. Do you think of the game that kind of rep repeats, but it keeps getting harder because you have to... Strong Wait, what? Do you think a game that repeats itself, but keeps getting harder because you have to be stronger each time to be able to defeat your old character would be interesting. Uh, I think it'd be interesting if each, like, playthrough had, like, switch-ups. You know? If each area had, each area in the game had like switch ups, like, I don't know, maybe the areas were like mirrored or, um, like quest items got moved, stuff like that. Um, not like random generation, but just different tiled layouts created by somebody. I don't like random generation, I'll say that right now. Um,. How the fuck do I get up here? This is what I want to know. Why is it so fucking hard to get up here? Why is there a little castle over here? What is that? Um, Shroud root. I'm assuming there's a shroud root in here. Which I guess we can go fight. 
Um, or not. That looks like hell. Um, I don't want to go down there. <laughs> I, I really don't want to go down there. Maybe the shroud reads inside of like a weird area or something. How the fuck do I get over on top of this area, the spire? Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, he's taking damage on that. And I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm fucking stuck. Great. Um, I'm pretty sure if I touch that stuff, I'm going to die. God damn it. This is mildly annoying. Uh, well, fuck. How am I going to save my ass this time? I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, hmm. I just don't know how to get up there. Okay, so that's a shroud route. The ancient obelisk. Okay. That travel is not available while in the shroud. Why did I fly right into it? <laughs> okay. Well, I don't really care about my items, but whatever. I can't move. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the whole area was annoying. I, I, I don't know why it was built like that. And there's no way I can even get my items back. They're just stuck in that fucking pit. Um... Yeah, how do I get up there? Like, what the fuck? Do they want me to go around, like, this way and go around that way? Like, what What do they want? I have no idea. Um... Because that's, like, the Shroom Falls or whatever that is. Um... I tried to... Didn't I try to go up there and I couldn't? Uh, I don't know. This area is kind of infuriating. Hmm. All right, there we go. Let's get our buffs back on. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. Great. And there's a fucking boar now. Leave me alone. Oh, I just need to go back to my camp anyways. I need to go repair my items. All right, let's go do that. There we go. Uh, certain things would change based on how you acted last time, but certain things would change based on the number of times you've gone through the game. Maybe, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I just feel like it'd be kind of hard to do without like random generation. And I don't really like games that have random generation in them. Like, this game's pretty alright, because it's, like, items are random, but... Like, items out of chests are kind of random. But, um... I don't know, when it comes to, like, certain things, uh, just, like, random, like, area layouts kind of bothers me. Because I can tell just nobody thought it through, and I can see, like, weird areas that don't make any sense. Weird corners that just, like, sit there, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? Geometry folding in on itself. It's like, why is that there? What is what is that doing? What the fuck is going on? Um, uh, maybe I could try going to here and like up that way, around via the tomb. I don't know. Yeah, maybe around the tomb. Because there's the spire that I need to get to. I just can't figure out how to fucking get up there. 
Hmm. Damn it, it's turning nighttime. Fucking hell. <laughs> I hate nighttime in this fucking game. Wait, why did I drop these mushrooms? What did I even drop? Last time. I don't think I really dropped that much, did I? All right. Um. Hmm. So that leads. Okay, I'm just gonna go fucking back and sleep. <laughs> I, I can't look at this shit. All right, let's sleep. Should there be a limit to how many times you can play through it? Like you get to the tenth time and you have to fight. You, wait, what? And you fight the being that gives you the power to the dark lords, and you have to fight it. Wait, what? You fight the being that gives the power to the dark lords. And also all the Dark Lords before as the Wraith? I don't know. Um, probably? It sounds kind of like you're going for like a near type thing. Where you like have to play, replay the game. And different things changed based on like the last time. It's not based on things that you do, but it's like... In near you have to play through the game a couple times to get all the endings. And things do change as you play. So it sounds like you're going for like a near idea. A near concept. Um. At least that's how it sounds to me. Because Nier has, like, different um, endings. Like, each playthrough does something different. Um. It doesn't really play differently, but it does have, like, different stories that play out. And, like, like different things that you can hear when you go through it. Like, some characters say different things. Seems near to near, kind of. Because the near also does have the Shadow Lord in it. <laughs> ah, the fucking Shadow Lord. But yeah, it sounds fairly similar in concept. Um, I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure. God, I'm really annoyed with this area. Because there's no easy way of trying to, like, get up mountains in this game. Um, fuck, I should have just drank the potion. Yeah, should I go? Uh, maybe I should go back around the other way. Fuck, I forgot I can't fast travel. Alright, so... I guess we'll walk the other way and try to go around the big, like, tomb. Once I get up there, it's going to be easy because then I have, like, an area to glide from. But for right now, not so much. Right now, it's a fucking pain in the ass. Darkness, light, fire, water, earth, air. Which have you seen? Which have you seen final bosses with the least um, element? Or which which element have you seen the final boss have the least? Is that what you kind of mean? I'm assuming that's what you mean. Like, um, I haven't seen a final boss that uses air, really. Um, like air, water, and earth. The, generally, those are like seen as um. Like, good elements, so generally they're not really the final boss. Unless it's a final boss that uses everything. If it's a final boss that uses everything, then yeah. Um, which there are a few of those. But I don't know, maybe, um... Like, air, water, earth, those three. Um, a lot of games, if they want to do the, like, the bait and switch, like, you'll fight, like, God or something, and they use, like, light magic. Um, so that's kind of a common one. Darkness is obviously one of the most common ones. Um, fire is one of the most common ones. That's something that kind of annoys me. Uh, protagonists in video games and like media and stuff and like final bosses, they're always like fire. 
<laughs> I'm so sick of main characters just using fire for everything. It's so weird. I don't get it. Why is that a thing? <laughs> Stop it. Stop making every main character use fucking fire. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> I'm absolutely fucking sick of it. It feels like every time I watch a show or something, they pull out a fire move. And I'm like, stop! Stop doing that! No! Or give them more elements or something. Make them a wizard. I, I don't know. Anything. Literally fucking anything. Hazelnuts. What? I haven't seen hazelnuts yet. That's kind of new. I didn't know that was a thing. So maybe this is the area that I need to go to. Um, yeah, it's kind of leading me up here to whatever this is. What is this? Oh, it's a shroud root. Is there a shroud root up here? Um, I don't think there would be one out in the open, right? Oh, it's down there. <laughs> Uh, maybe another time, boyo. I'll, I'll get that later. Hazelnut element. Yeah. I've never seen anybody use hazelnut magic. I'm surprised I haven't seen, like... I don't know. A show where, like, a villain has an allergy, and then they try to kill, like, the villain using, like, um... Like, I don't know, like an espionage show where, like, they're assassins or spies. They have to kill the villain using, like, their allergy. Like, they let a bee into the room and then they, like, kills the guy. I've never seen a show that does that. Or, like, a guy has, like, a, a peanut allergy. Like, I've never seen a character die to a peanut allergy in a game. Or even, like, a show. I feel like that'd be interesting, though. Or even a cooking game where you have to, like, worry about, like, people's allergies. That'd be interesting. Like, uh, like if you fuck up in, like, uh, a cooking game and you put, uh, uh, like, uh, cheese on somebody's pizza when they're lactose intolerant. Or not pizza, but cheese on somebody's sandwich when they're lactose intolerant. And they, like, shit their pants in your restaurant. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Wait, what? Bro, the elixir still overflows with the stuff. Nobody will notice that I took some, eh? Come over and let's drink. Cheers, Samuel. So wait, what? Are they talking about... Mushrooms? Overflowing with mushrooms? Because isn't that what the elixir is? It's just like mushroom goo, isn't it? At least I'm pretty sure. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what they're talking about. Maybe they meant the well? Still overflows with the stuff? They're talking about the well overflowing with elixir? Because that would make more sense, like, with how that's word worded. Um. Other than that, I have no idea. I have no idea what they mean. <laughs> ah, he died on the shitter. That's so sad. <laughs> when people die on the shitter, it's so sad in the games. I feel so bad for them. Oh, there's something over there, too. Alright, can you stop? Stop hitting me. I'm sick of your shit. Die. Thank you. Oh, this is Willow Crush. That sounds like a weird name for a place to live. Oh man, come over to Willow Crush! Fireball 2! What do you mean, Fireball 2? Wait, what? Wait. Fireball 2? 85 damage! Versus 51. Cast time is slightly longer. Mighty Fireball that erupts on impact, dealing damage in an area of raging flames. Okay. 
Uh oh. Okay, so this is AOE. This is like like bigger. Okay, and this is just like a little small AOE. Interesting. Okay, cool. Willow Crush instead of Willow Wisp. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> How did I know that was gonna happen? I saw those barrels there, and I'm like, okay, they're just gonna blow me up. Whoa, that map looked weird. God damn it, I have to go all the way back up there too. I just like saw that bomb and I went, well, this is my fate. <laughs> Great. Um, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Wait, how do I get back up there? Here, I'll just put my waypoint on that. I still like how the note didn't get destroyed either. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that. The note just like was sitting in the crater after. All right. Um, I wish there was a way to upgrade your recharge times without um, having to use armor and stuff and rings. I don't know. I wish there were like permanent buffs that you could get for that. I'm, it's mostly stamina. <laughs> mostly stamina. Stamina is the only one that I care about. Stamina just comes back so slow in this game. It's fucking insane. All right. No bees, please. Be gone. All right. What's this? Am I going to get a fireball? No. Wait, what? Have I already been here? Uh. Oh, yeah, this was that useless house. I remember this. I'm gonna blow a hole in the side of it. Like the useless tavern. Okay. Um. How do I get back? Is, is it just this path? I think it's just this path. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. This is where we gotta be. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's the vault for the farmer. Never mind. I, I can't remember if I could go up on top of that one. To, like, glide off. I know that I could go up on top of one of them. Wait, why wasn't this the altar that I got last time? What? That's weird. Mm, whatever. Lots of strawberries, too. I wonder if I could dry these out. And plant them. If I could dry these out and plant them, that'd be really good. I'd hope they'd have longer um, active time, though, than the berries. Five minutes for the like dried out berries isn't very good. I wish it was ten. I would like it to be 10. Okay, I think here we are again. Um, right? Isn't this where we need to go? Am I crazy? Is this Willow Crush? No, where is this? Wait, what? No, no, this is Willow Crush. It's just, it's just fucking giant. Oh my God. Never mind. Oh, maybe this is a, like an elixir refinery, this area. Oh, that's what this this uh, whole town was. It's like a, an elixir refinery or like brewing area. Interesting. Very interesting. I get him to hit that trap. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> he died to it. Yeah. There we go. Wait, what is that? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's blue. Okay, so they're, like, grinding it down. Sorry for getting... Re 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 Wait, what? Sorry for getting excited when every... I can't even read. Sorry, this is a bad day for reading, guys. Sorry for always getting excited when anything even remotely related to Will of the Wisps appears. That's fine. You're allowed to. Why, why would I be mad at that? <laughs> I, I don't get why I'd be mad. 
I thought it was funny that you could uh, summon wisps in this game. It's a shame that, like, they're not really strong right now. Which I think it'll improve later, but... I have upgraded my fire damage. So we'll have to see. Um, I don't know about that AoE, though. I might have to get rid of that. Wait, there's a note in there. Leave me alone. There we go. Hi! <laughs> Hello! What are you doing in there? Alright, we're good. Okay, whose note is this? I heard a crack. Early in the morning, I was manning the grind mill. Um, it was creaking all wicked. I pushed harder and something blocked the mill. To my horror, some fool climbed inside, buried by roots. His body was swollen and bloated. The juice of the plant fresh flesh leaked from his lips. I fished out what was left of him and brushed under the floorboards next to the grind mill. Uh, before the morning bell rang, if the head of the sanitation finds out, I can kiss my bonus goodbye. Ew! So, okay, they were so crazed for elixir, they climbed in. Uh, I'm assuming this is the grind mill? What? Where's his remains? Oh no, it's probably this one. So wait, yeah, where's the grind mill body? He said it was under the floorboards, right? He pushed it under the floorboards. Am I crazy? Hmm. Uh. Wait, what? Oh, this is where the elixir comes out of. Whoa. Wait, where was it? Am I stupid? What 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 area was he talking about? Under the floorboards next to the grind mill. Okay, so maybe I just have to blow it up. Oh, wait, there we go. Wait a second. How do I break this? What? <laughs> wait, how do I get that? Uh. Maybe I just have to dig under? Oh, there we go. Ring of Rapacity? Minus mana, plus 20 mana regen. Whoa! Okay. Okay, so I have less mana, but I get more mana recharge. Is that good? What do you guys think? Is, do you think that's good? Should I go for that? Minus 20 mana, plus 20 mana regen. That's a pretty big difference. Um, okay. Yeah, that's not a lot of mana that I have left. Um, it does seem very fast. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, the difference is insane. Okay. Wow, that ring is really good. I think I'm going to use that ring. Just look at that. It's, it's refilling so fucking fast that it doesn't matter. Like, holy shit. By the time I have my, like, staff queued up for another one... It already has it half filled for one of them. Yeah, I'm gonna use that. I think that's a good one. 
Um, I can always keep boosting my magic capacity later. I could probably find rings that increase it as well. Um. Okay. Hi, doggy. I wish there was one that increased my magic damage. I don't have anything that does that. Oh, look at all these free bombs, too. <laughs> all right. Deal Oscar, you've already been you've always been my favorite nephew. Young and spry. Oscar, my old bones rattle. You don't care for lush pasture anymore. A shame. Such sprawling fields, ripe and bountiful. Perfectly for <laughs> Oh, it's this guy! Okay, this guy's an asshole. Alright, so he just lied to his nephew. And tried to pawn off his land on him. It's like completely fucked and ruined. Good to know. Oh, that's my idol, isn't it? Oh, I had fireflies. That's all I had. What are you doing? Who is this? Where is, who's shooting at me? It's not you. Who's doing that? Where are you? Oh, you're up here. Hi. You could just not do that, you know? Why do you have to try to kill me? Why can't we all be friends and, like, help each other? Why are you all moldy? Like, what's going on with these dudes? Are they crazed for the, like, elixir or whatever? Whatever they're eating? I don't know. I don't get why we always have to kill each other. Whoa, that rat just scared the absolute fuck out of me. <laughs> I can't believe I keep jumping at rats in this game. All right, well, what's down here? Oh, more rats. That's for fucking sure. All right, there's one chest with bombs. All right. There's no like secret doors either. Huh. I'm surprised we haven't seen like a secret floor door again. Um, There was the one area that had it, that one farmhouse. And then after that, we haven't seen anything like it since. It was a really cool farmhouse, though. With a bunch of secrets in it. Um, okay. What's going on in here? Just a fire? What the fuck? <laughs> There's like nothing in here. Well, never mind. I guess we're fine. Uh. Okay, so now we found this. Let's go up this way. Hopefully we can get this obelisk and then move over to the tower? I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to find this. Or, like, navigate this. Oh, wait, here we go. There's a little ramp over here. Yeah, here we go. With a bunch of dogs. Fuck. Please leave me alone. I don't want to fight you. God damn it. Oh, that dog's just watching. Okay, we're good. Yeah, that dog's not doing shit. There we go. Uh, wait, there's dudes over there. What? Where? Why? <laughs> Where did you guys come from? Where did he come from? What the fuck? Was this like an ambush? Dude, that mana regen is killer. Uh, I'm not hitting that. That's a bomb barrel back there. <laughs> I saw that shit a mile away. No fucking way am I going to touch that. Wait, what is this? Fools! Brother, you betray me with the rest. You're all cowards. I shall dig my own el elixir wells and have the elixir in Embervale. I will no longer rely on the old ways, the old names. This is the dawning of a new age, the age of Samoth. What? The elixir thief. <laughs> Wait, what? He's an elixir thief? Executioner's axe, alright. And wizard gloves, wand damage. Dark and dreary set of gloves that make spellcasting feel ominous. 
Well, I have wizard gloves now. Um, should I wear them? What are my gloves? Damage magic multiplier. Uh... No. I don't like that. Yeah, they're weaker and they're just not... Yeah, no. I'm not gonna wear those. That doesn't seem very good. That does not seem very good. Um, okay, can I get up this way? Oh, there's a little flame altar up here. Or flame shrine. Cool. Uh, that had two sparks in it. Fuck, how do I get up there? There we go. Oh, hey, a chest! Yo! Archer helmet. Backstab damage. An archer's hood. The leather trim provides additional protection and camouflage the wearer between the trees. Okay, well, I don't need that. I need to find a way up this fucking mountain. <laughs> uh, that's what I fucking need. Damn it. How do I get up there? Can I go around the other way? Wait, what's down here? Okay, nothing. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, wait, there's a note in there, too. Wait, did I even go in this house? I don't think I went inside this house. Um. Okay. Must have more. Brother, I can now feel its strength coursing through me. The elixir's a miracle. Why, I'm beginning to feel like a new man. Join me in a raid on the elixir still tonight. The others won't have an inkling of who did it, and we'll find we'll have elixir for months. If you've been a shred of loyalty to me, loyalty to me. Meet me at my tent at midnight. Cheers, Samuel. Oh, okay. So, Samuel kept trying to get his brother to help him raid the elixir. Alright. Um, I don't know. I guess it's addictive? I'm assuming it's all addictive. That's the only thing that really makes sense. Um... So we can try going this way, too. <laughs> There's no way up! How the fuck are you supposed to get around the, uh, the area? Hmm. Um... Okay. Yeah, how the fuck am I supposed to get around this area? It's extremely high mountains. And there's like no way. I've been trying to do this for the past like fucking hour, man. Um... I don't know, maybe I have to go all the way up and around again? Like, that way? Go this way? And then go that way? I have no idea where they want me to go. It seems like a mess. Um... I mean, I guess I could build a shrine and, like, build ladders up or something. But all my shrines are in use right now, and I'd have to go remove them and then fucking place more down. And that just seems more like a pain in the ass. I, I don't know about that. So yeah, that just seems more like a pain in the ass. Well, that's empty. Oh, yeah, I was already in that one. Um... I guess I could try to go around this way. Is this the brother's tent? No. Um. Yeah, what about this way? Seems like the slant goes up here. So, a cave? No. 
Fuck. Um. Hmm. All right. Um. Is there seriously no fucking easy way up? What about this way? What about over here? That leads to fucking nowhere. Oh my god. I swear to fucking everything that is holy. Where do they want me to go? Do they want me to go this way and like around that way? I could go that way. Like I don't care. But it just doesn't seem like that's accessible. Mmm. Mmm. It's mostly because everything's so high up. I'm so used to the other area where it's kind of flat with all the shroud valleys. But you can generally just kind of skip over the shroud valleys if you want. And this, there's no like... There's no higher point where you can climb to than like glide over. It's generally all the same elevation. Oh, damn it. Is there a bed over here that I can just sleep in? No. Um. Is that my light? Ow. <laughs> All right. Uh, ow. Hmm. All right. Is there a bed in here? No. Um. There has to be a bed in this big one, right? Maybe? Oh no, it was this way, right? Can I sleep in one of these? I can't sleep in one of these. I have to make my own bed. Damn it. Alright, uh, I'm gonna cough real quick. And I might just Google where to, like, go for this thing. I'm gonna be right back. All right, so I might have found a pathway. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I have to go to like the Diadwin uh, area. 
All right, so I guess we go to Diadwin to get up to the tower. So where the fuck is Diadwin at? Okay, so Diadwin's over there. That's the area that I'm having trouble getting to. How the fuck do I get up there, though? Yeah, this damn game. All right, so. All right, can you give me a better map? This, this is kind of annoying. All right, so I think this is the area. I have to go like, like this, and then go up there. So I have to go across the bridge. But I've already crossed? Yeah, it's like up here. How, how the fuck? Where's the bridge? What? I guess there's a camp up here? Oh, it's in the old carpentry camp. Okay, so I guess we're going to make a point there to the old carpentry camp. And try to go that way. I don't know. This whole area is just mildly infuriating. Um, I think, yeah, I think it's just because of the elevation. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> I forgot about stamina. All right, why am I sliding? Stop that. I don't have any water either, so I can't, like, regen my stamina. Um. Yeah. All right. Uh, delete that. And delete that. I probably should have scrapped those, but I don't really care. It's fine. Um. What do hazelnuts do? Okay, it gives you strength. Okay. That's not what I need. I need crazy shit. I, I need good... Cr that is not what I wanted to do, but it worked. So I can throw bombs point blank. Good to know. That makes things a lot easier. If I can throw bombs point blank, then that's good. That's very good. Oh, here's the bridge. Wait, so this is the bridge that I need to go to? Oh, okay. So this is a different bridge. Oh. All right. Well, I didn't know there was a bridge here. Cool. Good to know. I guarantee you there's going to be dudes trying to kill me. Um. Whoa. Oh, no. Well, this is going to be painful. Or not. Oh, no, there's dudes. Okay. Yeah, we definitely got dudes. Ow. Um, I can't, I can't deal with this over here. <laughs> I, I can't deal with this over here. There's, there's no place for me to run away. All right, fuck off. There we go. Um, I'm just going to run through this camp. I don't give a fuck. There's nothing in here for me anyways. We're just going to go. I'm just gonna, like, run through it, because I can't see what's even happening. Alright, so, is this the old carpentry camp? What is this? No, this is bullshit. Um. God, I need better magic. I need better weapons. I think that's the issue. They should have, like, opened up the next tier of weapons by now. I think I have to get up here to unlock it, but it's very weird. That I'm still just struggling in these areas. And I have good weapons. It's not like I have bad weapons. They're the highest ranking ones I can find. I can't even craft, craft uh, Fireball 1 still. Just kind of insane. It is absolutely insane that I can't do that yet. All right. So is this the camp? Where did he come from? Wait, where was he? Was he in the ground? I think he was in the ground. That was fucking weird. Died win. Here we go. We finally made it. Okay, now we're a step closer to getting the damn uh, 
<laughs> the damn spire. Oh, there's just books up here. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to bother that guy. Get over here. There we go. So where's the archer that keeps shooting me? I can hear him, but I can't see him. Oh, never mind. Just more boars. There we go. What's this? Half-timbered blocks. Okay, so that's the building block that we needed. All right, dude, can you leave me alone? You're really bothering me. <laughs> You're really bothering me. Leave me alone. And what's this? Worth it in the end. What a hobble, I thought. A bunch of bandits, rotten crooks, and halfwits itching to shank each other over a game of cards. The crew's rowdy, but a few days of digging in the mine uh, mill even the toughest brigands. A single promise binds together. Elixir for all. I hope Samoth is a man of his word. Wait, what? Oh, Samoth is um the guy that ran off and made his own thing, right? Oh, so this is where he went, huh? Okay, well, we're here at Diadwen. Where is the camp? It's down that way. Okay. Diadwen's a lot smaller than I thought as well. Maybe he ran with that went uh, Oh, that one camp? The uh, the thieves? He said he was a thief. I remember him saying that. Okay, Flask of the Fell. Where's, uh... Oh, my God. <laughs> There's so many fucking boars in this game. Get away! Foul demons! Leave me alone! There we go. Yeah, where is the, um... The carpentry chest? Carpentry camp. Okay. Didn't I need active quest? Yeah. Unearth the chest. Oh, it's underground. Okay. Is it literally just like here? Wait. Wait, no. Where is it? Oh, no, it's there. It's under the ground there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, my God, dude. Where are these pigs coming from? Holy shit. Don't leave me alone. Get away! I don't want to fight you. All right, we're good. At least we found the chest. There we go. Elder staff. That is a... Okay, that is a good staff. That is a very good staff for me. That is way better than mine. Um, I need to equip that. All right, there we go. Yeah, that is a way better staff. Holy shit. Yeah, level 13. Fucking cool. All right, nice. Wait, was that it? Wait, I thought it was a chest that he had himself. Like, I thought it was his gear that I was finding. I don't get it. <laughs> I thought I was finding his gear that the, the one guy stole. Like, he needed it for, um, um, foraging something of some sort. Wait, what's this little, like, hobble over here? Rats. Okay. <laughs> There's all these fucking rats. Leave me alone. Oh, I can sleep in here. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, so... Now, how do I get up? Do I go this way? No. So I think this is the spire itself, right in the middle there. Maybe I could fly down to it? That might be good. I could try that. Um. Also, I'd love to know what those weird things are. They kind of run away from you. They don't really attack that much. They're very odd. I'm so worried about going down there. Because if I go down there, am I going to like... Like, is that the way to the spire? Where is the spire? 
Wait, where is it? It's there. Okay. So, if I fall down there, am I gonna have to go all the way around again? Fuck. Alright, well... I guess we're gonna see. Um... Got a bunch of mushroom stuff over here. Is there any way through? Okay, there is. Oh, hey, there's a creepy cave. The fuck is this? How many monsters are in here? How many things are gonna beat my ass? Uh, well, I already see reds. So that's not fucking good. <laughs> cave passage. Okay. To where? And why the fuck are there pigs in here? <laughs> why? Like, what the fuck is going on? Alright, there we go. Yeah, why are there random pigs? Are there more pigs in here? No. Oh, so we must have just been down the side area. Okay. Um, I guess I could try walking through here and seeing what's on the other side. I worry that I'm going to die, though. I'm very worried that this isn't going to lead where I need it to lead. Uh, fucking pigs. Leave me alone. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. All right, we're good. With another flask of the fell. Um. Okay. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Get out of here. <laughs> Stop it. All right, just put on ice again. Um. All right, where's my torch? Where is that? All right, here we go. All right, is this gonna lead me to where I need to go? How, uh, how many pigs? How many pigs? <laughs> how many pigs? Get out of here. All right, we're good. Is there a chest over here? There is, okay, cool. With poison arrows, okay. All right, pig, leave me alone. I don't, I don't want to fight you. I have no qualms with you. I have no qualms with you. Leave me alone. I just got to go to this fucking tower, dude. I don't care about you. All right, we're good. Wait, is that the wrong way? Wait, this way. Here we go. Finally, we're here. Okay, thank God. Oh, thank God. We're finally here. What a fucking nightmare. Or not. Is this not the tower? Wait, what is this? This is a side tower. Where's the real tower? <laughs> is it this way? Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Ancient Spire Rebel one. Thank God. Woo, getting a feel for it. Oh, we got level 15. Uh, cool. Um, I'm not going to upgrade that. I don't think Sun Aura is that good. I don't think Radiant or Sun Aura is that good. Maybe if I get higher and higher intelligence, but for right now, no, it's just not great. I need to upgrade my wands. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to refund all my points and then I'm going to take this Radiant stuff and I'm going to put it in the wands. I think that's my best option here soon. All right, finally, let's go. Thank God we have this tower. This was such a pain in the ass to get to, man. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have to do little puzzles and stuff. All right, little magic beams. And what's this? 
Flaming balls. Hmm, my favorite. I love flaming balls. Awesome. Perfect. What did this lead me to? Wait, what? I saw there was the other door, but what's going on? Oh, there's a button. Okay. Ah, okay. So each one leads you to a different thing. What's this one? Nothing. Great. Oh, shit. Okay. You can run through them and it hurts. <laughs> All right. That's fine. Uh, give me my meat and my mushrooms. There we go. And this was the lightning one, right? I know these fucking hurt. Uh, there we go. All right, we're good. So that opened the one door, right? It opened this one? Oh, okay. This is where we have to go. All right. I wonder how in-depth this tower is actually going to be. Because I know the first one was pretty in-depth. Um, yeah, that looks uh, painful. Okay. Um, yeah, wow. Okay. Is it a maze? Ow. Uh, I think it's a maze. Oh, thank you for the drink of the stretch it with. Yeah, sorry about the, the whole, like, fiasco trying to get to this place. This is one thing about RPGs that I never like. Trying to find the specific way that they want you to get into a certain area is always a pain in the fucking ass. It is always a pain in the fucking ass. What's over here? Oh, chest, yo! The hatchet, great. Wait, how much damage did that do? Oh, okay, so... My sword does 32. Um, what can I get rid of? I don't need rubble. I don't need stone. I don't need metal. Um... I need that. I need that. And I don't really need my old staff. I'd rather get the runes out of that. It wasn't even that much of an improvement of my old staff. And I have a bunch of similar old staffs in my box for people that... When we eventually do multiplayer. Um... All right, we're good. All right. So, oh, there's three buttons. Okay. Oh, why did I just miss that? That was weird. Ow. So where are the buttons then? They're not in these weird little alcoves. Hmm. Are they? None of them are up above, right? Oh, wait, chest, yo. Lockpick? Oh, I don't have my lockpicks. Fuck. All right, whatever. I forgot that since I died, you don't have lockpicks. That's a huge pain in the ass. Um, I shouldn't have wasted that. No, actually, I would have needed two. I would have needed two metal. For that. Ow. Yeah, you need two metal for one lockpick. Fuck. I forgot that you dropped those when you died. Because you don't drop a lot of, like, basic materials, but... You, for some reason, drop lockpicks. Alright, um... How do I get over there, though? I want to know. Wait. No! Don't do that. I want to jump over there. There we go. Okay, so there's another chest over that way. Oh! Grappling hook. There we go. A forest longbow. Well, no. I definitely don't need that. Alright. Um, I have so many strawberries. Holy shit. I hope I could dry those out, actually. Well, that didn't work. 
That didn't fucking work at all. Oh wait, don't I have a potion of the fell? I'm just gonna drink that. Yeah, flask of the fell. There we go. Yeah, it gives me plus 20 stamina. So that'll be all right. Um, I just don't see where the buttons are. In this area. Like, what the fuck? Are they on the ground? I don't really have to worry about the spikes because they don't do much damage to me, but... Um... Yeah, there's four buttons somewhere. Are they up? Like, do I have to shoot them? I wonder if I just, Oh, I probably have to shoot them. Um... But where? Oh, there's one. Oh, okay, so they're a little bit higher up. There we go. Uh, that's one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't know how I wasn't seeing these. They kind of blend in, I guess. All right, uh, is there one there? Nope. There's probably one up above, isn't there? I'll really have to look up here. Okay, come on. There we go. Um, well, I don't see one right now. No, not there. Um, I don't see one over here. No. Hmm. Okay, that's two down. What about this way? No, that's where one of them was. All right. Not there. Uh, what about this way? No? Oh, there we go. Grappling hook. I need to keep a better eye out for those. Some of them are really high up. Yeah, there we go. All right, then one of them has to be somewhere that I've seen, but I haven't done. Um, it's gotta be up above, right? It's gotta be up here. There, there was nothing up here besides two chests. There's gotta be one up here. Like, am I fucking crazy? Damn it. Um. All right. Yeah, I feel like I'm going crazy. There we go. The one down there? No. And I can't like blow up the walls or anything, so. That's out of the question. Um. It's the last one. Hmm. Okay, so not up here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go back up and see. Oh, wait, no, it's right fucking there. <laughs> oh, I'm a dumbass. Those are so fucking hard for me to see. I don't know why. Is this the way? Oh, no, wrong way. Ow. All right, so now we're going the right way. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, oh no, okay. Uh, do I have grapples? Oh no, I don't, okay. Yeah, they really wanted you to have a bow here. Or a, a wizard staff or something. So what happens if you didn't have a bow? Which, were you just fucked? That's what I'm kind of confused about. I guess you're just fucked if you don't have the items. Alright, there we go. I guess there's also no reason for you not to have a bow. Oh, there we go. There's a bow. <laughs> I'm not going to use it, but thanks. Is there another one over here? No. Um... 
Okay, never mind. That just leads me to the other area. All right, so I'm assuming they want me to... Oh, wait. Oh. I'm assuming they want me to run through the, um... The lightning. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Well, that was easy. That's actually not too bad. There we go. Okay, cool. Oh, thank God. This is one of the next ones. We finally have it. Undergrowth of the Revelwood hides madness within. The elixir's cradle. The root of the rot. The seed of insanity. A labyrinth of malady and disorder nestled in the Boskett's heart. What? So wait, this is where the elixir comes from? Like the, the elixir is based in the Revelwood? What do you mean? Um... What are you fucking talking about? I guess? Uh. I have no idea. I guess we have to fight like a giant mushroom monster underground then. Uh, where should I glide to then? Uh... I have a cave entrance over there. I have the elixir thief over there. I have the obelisk research over there. Um, a shroud root. An elixir well. Wait, what? Wait, what? There's an elixir well over there. Why is that marked on for me? Oh, wait, no. It's because we got the flame thing. The spire. It doesn't open the map. It just shows you uh, item placement. Or not item placements. Uh, whatchamacallit. It shows you um locations. I guess we could go over there. I don't know. Um, sure. Because we have the dude's chest. Actually, let's go back to camp. Um, uh, did we get her spindle? That's the primary thing we need now. I think this is the spindle one. Yeah, the hunter's hand spindle. Yeah. Okay. Book of ceremony, obelisk research. Okay. After the the spindle, we'll do the uh, Volca thing. Because I think that's a boss. Um, how the fuck do I get over there? That is extremely far. I need that magic boost. Um, the magic air boost. I don't think I'm going to make that. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to make this. Am I going to make it? Oh, I am going to make it. Okay, good. Thank God. All right, so where is this compared to the other town? All right, that's the cave passage. This is the cave entrance. Wait, what? Oh, that was the cave that's underneath me right now. Okay. With all the boars in it that tried to murder me. All right, hopefully we'll be fine. What the fuck is that sound? <laughs> what was that awful sound? Ugh. That was bad. I have no idea what that was even about. All right, so what's this way? There's a weird tower that way. Cave entrance, okay. Bad idea for me to fly. I need to really conserve my stamina for shit like that. Um, it seems there's a pathway up there. I'm assuming that'll take me to the, um... The Hunter's Camp. At least I think? It, no, it's taking me the other way. So what's at the Hunter's Camp? Is there gonna be a, like, boss I have to fight? I'm assuming so, because she, like, left it because there was a spider or something? She said something about a spider. It could have just been, like, a metaphor or something, but whatever. If it's not, I guess I'll die. Wait, what's location above? Is that her camp? Really? 
Uh, all right. I guess let's go in. Cave entrance. Uh, what? The fuck? What is going on here? Okay. Well, there are spiders. Um, <laughs> there are evil spiders. Good to know. Is there going to be a big evil spider that's going to kill me? I don't want to deal with a big evil spider. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you that right now. I don't want to fight a giant evil spider. I'm good on that. Um. What? What was the point of this? Um. Okay, lots of mushrooms. All right. Wait, why was this on the, the, the thing? Cave entrance. Abandoned hunter camp. Okay. Um... I'm very confused. What does this get me? There's like no reason to go in here. It doesn't lead me anywhere. Why is this the marker? This isn't her camp. It's like above me, isn't it? Hunter's notes. Oh, wait, no. Is it through there? Wait. Oh, I thought that was a big ass wall. <laughs> I, I thought that was legitimately a big ass wall. All right, never mind. Good to know. A lot of clay in here, too. Okay, that is very resistant to that. Good to know. So wait, this is her camp. Oh, it's all the way in here. Why would you build a camp in an area with evil spiders? <laughs> Why are you doing this? You had to know that evil spiders would show up here eventually. You had to have known that. Like, there's no way you didn't. There's very obviously evil spider vibes out of this place. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Oh my god, they just keep pouring out. Whoa, okay, this is bad. All right, target the spiders in front of me. Please. Oh my god. There's so many spiders. <laughs> Why do they just keep showing up? What the fuck? I'm gonna break my sword on these guys. Oh my god. At least I'm getting a lot of string. And my health regen kind of protects me from them. All right, we good? That was like over a hundred spiders. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, I feel like they want to put a spider boss in this game or something at some point. Hey, what? I thought this was going to lead around to the hunter camp, but I guess not. Um, okay. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, backpack's full. 
All right, what can I drop? Lead a rock. Hand spindle. All right, cool. Well, we're good now. A comforting heat emanates from the rock, so I won't need a fire tonight. I hear them in the distance, searching, howling. It's the wind that carries their madness my way, a draft from the mines. What are they digging for? Their screams rip through the night and scare away all the prey. I'm starving. I should have stocked up on resources when I was near Glenwood's end. No, the whole place reeks of blood and betrayal. I know the scent well. I'll walk with hunger in my heart if I must. What? Um... Okay. Well, that's interesting. What's up here then? Uh. Why are there red bats? What the fuck? Yeah, why are there evil red bats up here? Whoa, what the fuck just happened? I don't have a lockpick, fuck. All right, well, I need to stock up on lockpicks next time we go up somewhere. Or we go back to the camp. All right, so this is a weird little area. I mean, you could probably build a camp up here. Or not, it's really small, never mind. Um. Um, yeah, probably not a camp up here. A crucial investigation. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Leave me alone. All right. We need to go back to the other camp. I also need to find out where Amber is. Um, I haven't figured out where Amber is in this game yet. I'm assuming it's, like, somewhere in the shroud. It's probably something you have to mine. I don't know. Uh. All right. Thank God, we're safe. What a nightmare of an expedition we did. Woo! All right, let's go and just chill. <laughs> let's t put all the shit away and chill for like five seconds. Because that was a nightmare. I've never seen anything worse than what we've done now in this game. Um, I guess I could put the berries and stuff away. I'm not going to really use those. Uh, legendary bow. I guess I could put that away. Give me my runes. Don't I have a ring chest as well? Yeah, here we go. Uh, let's put that away. Um, I need to make a better chest stuff. Wait, what do you have to say? Well, I have tempered blocks. Back. Yeah, keep in case you want to make something masterful with them. A new home built to last. Oh, okay. So he's just telling me about his tempered blocks. All right, that's fine. Um, We do have to give her her thing, though. Let's get that done. Real quick before I forget. All right, there we go. Linen. Flax, okay. What, two flax makes one linen. Alright, so how do I plant flax? Can I, like, plant that? Where even is my flax at? It's not there. Um. Alright, put that away. That's fine. Um. Wait, chain heal versus heal channel. Wait, what? What's the difference? Wait, I didn't realize I had another healing spell. Releases a large healing wave and jumps to nearby friends. Oh, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. I think I'm going to put these spells away right now. Because I don't really need them. I'll put these pieces of armor in there. All right, there we go. Uh, give me that flask. Stop that. There we go. And we can put the potions away in here. There we go. Um, where were my arrows at? 
I have no idea where I put the arrows at before. Uh, maybe they're in here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, good. Oh, God. We still have so much shit that we have. I need to start getting rid of these as well. There's a lot of these that I just don't need. Because we have a lot better items in the other chest. Keep all those arrows. Um, this was the, like, mace I had early on. It's not very good now. That's a level 11 of that. There we go. Level 10. It's another crackling wand. That's not bad. Shepherd's staff. Salvage that. We don't need that. All right. We should be good. Now let's upgrade this staff that we got. Um, This new like elder staff or whatever it is. Can he? Oh, he can enhance us. Okay, cool. All right. Now it is 34 damage. We have a lot of crit. Increase crit chance. Oh, I was hoping it was crit damage, but I guess that's fine. More crit chance is always good. And what about you? What do you have? Uh, strange dreams of the castle. What the fuck is he talking about? I have no idea what he's talking about. But what are these? Have you heard of Pike Meets Wisps? They're dancing in the... Lights in the sea, good omens, but merely a trick of the light, I thought. So my daughter saw them. The strange glimmer of the water, moving, prowling. Now I see the same glow whilst I slumber from the castle. It haunts me. Tis no trick. It lives. Are you prepared to change that, kid? Why would I kill them? <laughs> I thought they were good omens. To do my best work, I need a smelter, but crafting a smelter requires a crucible. I used to have one, but I bet scavengers got to it. It's really their mine, way up north in the Revelwood. Now get out. You should steal the wisps, yeah. Tank helmet. Yo, okay, cool. So we have a whole new set of armor that we can make. For, um, heavy. Uh, adventurer set. Oh, that's a really look good looking set, actually. Wow. Yeah, that shit looks really nice. And then there's the tank set. Which needs amber. Yeah, damn. I like that adventurer set. That adventurer set looks really good. It's a shame I won't really be wearing it. Red scarf is especially daring, yeah. Man, that looks nice. It looks very nice. Um, But we have to get the... um The wizard set over here, right? The mage set, that's what it's called. Oh, man. <laughs> this set's gonna fucking hurt. Um, two mana regen, 18 mana. 48 mana. Critical strike chance. Yeah, we need a lot of linen. Whole hell of a lot of linen. Alright, can we make that? Where did I put that linen at? Isn't it, like, blue? That's flax. Oh, oh, yeah, we need flax. Okay, there we go. Don't I have more flax than that, though? I could have swore I had more. Um, Maybe I'm crazy. I could be crazy. But the other thing that we need to make is planks. And we need to make more chests. Ornate wooden bed plus 14 more at carpenter. Okay. All right, what do we do about the chest, though? Storage. There we go. Make another one. All right, cool. We have a bunch of medium magic chests now. All right. Uh, we have four. There we go. There we go. And there we go. All right, so how much storage do these have? Ooh, okay, so it adds an extra row. It's not terrible. I will say that. It's not terrible. Um, yeah, definitely not bad. All right, let me put this uh, these runes away again. There we go. 
And what about you? How do I like plant flax? Wait, no. How do I plant flax? How do I do that? This is my chamomile seeds. Flax seedlings. Where did I put the flax at? There, okay. And then... All right, there, we need water. Oh, okay, there we go. Wait. We have to do this. All right, there we go. Let's get more water. Actually, let me plant these chamomile seeds real quick. There we go. I <laughs> have so many of these fucking things. Ah... Uh... There's so many. All right. Oh, I just hit them. I didn't want to do that. All right, let's go get some water. Can I even... I wonder if you can actually make a well in this game. I would love it if you could. I don't think you can, though. Yeah, I don't think you can actually make a well. It'd be very handy, though. I would get, like, four wells and just get 40 water out of them. There we go. Alright, so, let's put this into the flax. And then I guess we could run around in the, the woods and collect more flax that way. I think that'll be fine. Uh, here we go. There we go. More. Alright, let's rest. Make it daytime. <laughs> well, 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 yeah. Well, be well, 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 actually. If I had four of them. <laughs> I don't know. I'm having a lot more fun with this game now that we figured out where the fuck to go. I will say that. Now that I actually know what I'm doing, we're having fun. Um, I still can't make any new things, though. Unfortunately. Yeah, I can make a new weapon. All right. I need amber. Where do I get amber at? I'm just going to dive into the fucking, like, fog. We're going to go to that, um, the spire and dive into the fog, I think. That's the only, like, idea I have. Elixir Thief Forge location. Oh, okay, so this is right near, uh, right near each other, actually. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to use the restroom real quick.
I'm back, and I have socks this time. It's starting to get cold in my room. <laughs> it's starting to get cold in my room. And I need socks on, because holy fuck. I don't know if you guys have ever, like, um, lived in a room where your floor was all tile. <laughs> but it's not the best. Uh, the floor kind of gets cold. And even though I have, um... A mat like underneath my uh, feet. Um, it's it, it's it's uh, not the best, <laughs> especially when you're sitting in a chair, and you like go to touch the mat, and there's ice tile, like ice cold fucking tile. All right, can these socks go on? Jeez, there we go. I got these long ass socks now. I used to only wear like the the short socks, but now I have longer socks because I wear boots. And wearing boots is actually nice. I really want to get a nice pair of boots soon. I kind of have, like, crummy boots. Um, and they're fine. Like, they're, they're like 60 bucks. But I know they're not going to last. That's the thing. I already, I already know they're not going to be good for, like, long term. They're just not the best. I wonder if I should upgrade my beds and stuff. Ornate wooden bed. I mean, I need to just make a, a throne. <laughs> what the fuck? Why do you have a throne? God damn. I don't think I need a throne. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know about a throne. Uh, illumination item. Um, that's fine. What about miscellaneous? Wooden crate and wooden barrels. Oh, you can start making, like, weird stuff now. Cool. Yeah, it seems like I've unlocked a lot of new, um... A new nice stuff. A wooden bucket. <laughs> to beautify my home. Great. Wait, what? Explosive powder ball net. I can't even make explosive powder balls. Can I? I don't think I can I can even make those. That's kind of weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, alright, so do you have any seeds for me to plant? Ma'am. Flag seedling. Blacks. Okay, here we go. Alright, so we have 20 of them. I guess that's all my chamomile. Uh... <laughs> Holy shit, we have a lot of flax that we're gonna be growing. I don't want to punch the flax, no. Alright, um... Oh god, I guess, what do we do? I, I guess we could go get the crucible. I'm assuming we'll be able to make better, like, weapons out of that. I don't know how amazing they'll be, but... I'm assuming they'll be fine. This weapon should have done cold damage. I would love to have, like, a cold sword and, like, a fire wand. And that would be my two ways of, like, fighting. I feel like that'd be really cool. Well, a cold sword would be literally really cool. You know. Ha <laughs> ha All right, there we go. I wonder how many, um... Because the thing about this game is, like, when you plant a, a resource down, you don't get multiple out of the seed that you plant. You get multiple when you make the seeds. Um... So... I don't know. I don't know how... Like, when I should harvest these fully. You know? I don't know exactly, like, what, what time period I should harvest all of them. Wow, you get ten seedlings out of one, out of two flax, or one flax, holy shit, okay. I guess I just want, like, a huge area full of, like, chamomile and stuff. I think that'd be really nice. 
Two, two huge areas full of Kim meal and flax. Um, all right, so... I guess let's go and... Go to the ancient spire. I don't know, should I dive into the, the fog? Should I dive into the shroud? And like, see if we can find, um... No, 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 what are you doing? Don't do that. Let's see if we can find, uh, some amber in there. I don't know. Because I have no idea where amber is. That's the only other place I could think of it. Because I've looked on so many, like, cave walls, and I've looked on so many other areas. But if there's amber in there or something, like, I gotta find it, right? Like, that could be amber, but that also could be clay. Is that the capital? I think that's the capital over there. And there's a giant wall. There's a giant wall over there. Holy shit, this game's big. And I have a feeling they're just going to keep adding to the map, too. So I have no idea. Um. Alright, let's drink a lot of this stuff. There we go. And it's time for a trip, I guess. We'll go over here towards, the, like, this area. So I can easily get out, probably. Seems like there's a little spot. Get out. Yeah, there we go. There's a ramp. Alright, cool. Okay. And this is all just, like, mushroom, right? That's stone. Okay. Um. Oh, mushroom. Okay. There we go. Huh. That's clay, I think. Right? This is clay, right? Yeah, lump of clay. Okay. <laughs> Where the fuck is the amber in this game? Whoa! Hey, buddy! What are you doing? And that is with a 30% damage buff on that dude. That is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane how little damage I do. Um. Okay. I have no idea. Looks like bone, but I know that's just shroud mushrooms. Um. Okay, that's just mushroom. Uh. Is there anything over here? Yeah, I have no idea. Um, I guess I could try going back up and seeing if I can find something else to land at. Because um, I have no idea where it would be. But I need it for, like, every new armor set, too. So it's got to be in here. It has to be, like, a shroud resource. There there's no way it's not. They've been, like, everywhere up and down the Revelwood. I haven't seen e oh. oh, that damage hurt. I haven't seen any trace of uh, Amber at all. Like, anywhere. All right, so we're back here. Hmm. What's that? Oh, it's a den. <laughs> it's just a little den. Okay. Wait, is that Amber? Wait, what is that? No, that's Clay. Fuck. Urgh. I think I'm going to go back up and see if I can just fly at another spot. Um, I might Google it. <laughs> like, at this point, I might Google it because I just can't find it. Um, Yeah, let's go back up. 
Hmm. Hmm. Okay, it's not that way. Um, I'm just gonna Google it. <laughs> I, I I don't want to like search for this shit right now. All right. Um. Uh, enshrouded. Amber. Wait. Oh, that's like really okay. It's like the first thing that pops up. <laughs> Why is it? Okay. East of the ancient spire. Wait, really? It looks like shit. What is that? Wait, what? Uh... There's only three locations. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Wild. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to do that. There's only three veins of amber in this damn game? <laughs> How? How was I expected to find that? So there's one, like, down that way. On a wall. Where is that, though? Oh, whoa, that's a far away! Oh, that's really far away! Wait, what? Oh my god! That is really, really far away. That's, like, up here! Alright, I guess I'm gonna make a marker over here. Um, red with resource. Great. But there's two that are right near me, I guess. Yeah, they're like directly east. Um, so I guess we could do that. Let's try that. Oh wait, is it those two? Wait, is it? Wait, is it those two? Really? Uh, oh, okay. Well, let's hope, I guess. I have no idea. Oh, it's a lot less deep than I thought it'd be. Or is that it? Wait, is that it? Wait. Okay. Is it this? If it's not this, then I'm kind of fucked. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's this. Uh... I guess it's just any of these, like, high walls. Very weird. Very weird. Whoa! Okay. Uh, I don't need you doing that, sir. You hurt! You hurt a lot. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, get away from me. Yeah, that was a little too much damage. Um... Where would this be? Okay, well, I have the map, so let's look at that. It, why Why would you take an image that's that small? Like, that's so fucking small. Okay, so they seem to be, like, here. Alright, there we go. Let, let's try that. We'll try that. Alright, so... Let me get that off there. Look at my stream. Where is it? There we go. Um. Hmm. All right, this way. Oh. <laughs> well, they're right here. All right. How the hell did you expect me to find this? Fireball two at Alchemist. Wait, really? I can make Fireball two? I can't even make Fireball one. How can I make Fireball 2? I mean, I guess that's fine. I wonder if there's an Eternal of Fireball. I'm assuming every basic spell gets, a, like, an Eternal one. Um, just so you can run around and, like, cast freely at certain things. Uh, but when you want the upgraded, like, Fireballs and stuff like that, there's probably only the, um... 
the whatchamacallit. The, uh, what is it called? The craftables. The, there's probably only the craftables. If you're lucky enough to find them, I'm assuming. There we go. I need to get out of here at some point. Um, how the fuck am I going to do that? Uh, is there still amber here? There we go. There still is amber. Um. Alright. I hope with better pickaxes you can get more ore out of these. As well. Because I don't want to mine faster. I just want more out of every strike. I think that's probably the, the benefit to a better pickaxe. There we go. Or I guess just break harder materials? I have no idea. I don't even know if there are better pickaxes. That's the other thing. I'm assuming so once I get the uh, the forge. Oh, thank you for the drink. Uh, oh, thank you for the insult. The rent. Oh my god. And the drink uh, wisp. You are a... Um... Uh, a shroud. Uh, full of mushrooms. And, um... Uh sadness and uh hot dog water i guess i i, I don't know <laughs> I, I i feel like hot dog water would be in a shroud like the water would probably taste like hot dog water this is a lot of fucking amber actually i don't know why they were so worried about me needing a bigger vein of like amber this is huge maybe they didn't realize it went into the wall I'm about to run out of pick here. How much amber did I even need? I have no idea, actually. Alright, maybe I'm running out of amber now. Yeah, we're starting to run out of amber. Uh-oh. I'm starting to run out of pickaxe, actually. That's starting to become my major worry. I also need to get out of the shroud, so let's go. Um, alright, so where can I leave? Biz, you are cool. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I hope I'm entertaining for you guys. I know, um, this stream was full of a lot of frustration at first, because I couldn't figure out where to go. But I hope it's still fun for you guys. That's my major hope with my streams. I need to find, um... You are entertaining. Well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I don't know. When I play survival games, my brain kind of goes haywire. And I talk funny. And, uh... I get frustrated when I can't find out where to go. So, I don't know. I, I, I get worried that maybe, um... Maybe that won't be as entertaining for you guys at points, you know? I get slightly worried about that. All right, now that we're out of there, uh, let's go back to the camp. God, this map is fucking huge. I'm disgusted by how big this map is. And I don't think we've even seen half of it yet. We've only been to two areas and I think there are four so far. Um, and they're probably going to add more, as far as I can tell. Uh, okay, so those aren't grown yet. I guess we can go run around and, like, make our own flax. Or not make our own, but, um, find our own. There we go. Alright, let's go. Wrong button. So I think there's a lot of flax here, right? No, here. I also need to destroy this uh, one up here. Let's, so let's destroy this. We're going to destroy this waypoint. Um, and then we'll go down to the other one. Because I really don't need this one here. This is a wasted fast travel point. Um, okay, reset skill points. Oh, I only have six runes right now. Uh, extinguish flame. There we go. So that'll be destroyed. And then, I think I have another wasted altar, don't I? Yeah, I have another wasted altar down here. Actually, no, this isn't wasted. 
I just need to move this farther in. Towards the other area. Never mind. Never mind. This isn't wasted. We're going to move this altar down that way. Bring it all the way over there. And then we'll have more fast travel points in, like, more varied locations. Um, I don't even know what's over here, though. Like, there's the, the Volca, the Vuka, Vuka? Vuka? I have no idea. Um, the Harry Dude's Hill. Harry Dude Hill. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we have to do the Harry Dude Hill area. And, um, yeah, I don't know what else. There's a lot up in the Revelwood, though. There's a shit ton of stuff in the Revelwood. All right. Well, let's get some flax, I guess. So I also realized that the flax is going to be on a timer again. So all of the resources in this game kind of take, um... Take time to make. It's very odd. It's a weird little, uh, system that they have. Like, you, you always have to, like, smelt in this game. It's the equivalent of, like, Minecraft smelting. And why is there no flax here? <laughs> I remember running through this area and finding a shit ton of flax when we first found it. Where's all the flax at? It's all just violet shit now. God, I'm also gonna... Wait, let me return to the main menu. I'm gonna hope this is, uh... This is gonna fix the lag that we're having right now. I hope the game doesn't have, like, a memory leak or something. It's just, like, to weird texture loadings. Alright, there we go. Alright, that's a little bit better. Actually. That is quite a bit better. Maybe I just had too many areas loaded. Had a little bit too many areas loaded. Okay, not that way. Um... Where? Wait, what is that? Oh, that's Thornhold. Never mind. That's the one uh, big area that we fought all the dudes in. I think for the saw blade. I'm not sure. That might also be the first area where we try to look for a saw blade. Oh, there's some flax. Here we go. Now we're finding flax. It's really spread out, too. What's this? Is this her, like, hunting area? Oh, this is her little hunting area. Right at the obelisk. Yeah, the hidden hunting grounds. Yeah, there really wasn't much in here, huh? Just the obelisk and a weird, like, crater in the ground. I, I feel like there was supposed to be a chest there, and they haven't, like, put it there. <laughs> like, I don't know. You're supposed to, like, dig up a chest or something. Get something good out of it. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. More flags. Yeah, they're just a little bit rare. What the fuck was that? Oh, it's a, 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 a weird flower. Okay, never mind. Yeah, fuck off. I don't need a weird flower right now. Here we go. Uh, what is this? There's a cave? Wait, what? Oh, there's a cave that goes from Lust Pasture. Or Lush Pasture, not Lust Pasture. And yeah, not Lust. That's not that's not what I want. Yeah, I don't want a lusty pasture. Let's keep that away. There we go. Huh. Well, this is a kind of cute area. I feel like somebody would build their uh their base in here. I don't know. Wait, what? There's stuff in the cave. Uh, there's a plant down there killing boars. <laughs> Does somebody live in here? What the fuck? What's going on in here? Oh, it's slowly poisoning the boar. Great. 
Yeah, what was the point of this little area down here? I guess it was just for this dude? Uh, that's weird. <laughs> I, I don't get the point of this. I guess somebody lived in here at some point. Huh. Alright, that's fine. As long as we can find more flags, I'm fine. Wait, is, is that another cave? Oh, no, that's the uh, one area with all the clay that I found before. The more hazelnuts. Wait, was it? What was that? Oh, it is hazelnuts. Okay, good. Wait, is this a hazelnut farm? Oh, it is a hazelnut farm. Okay. No wonder they have a bunch of trees here. I I, <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck this farm was for at first. I didn't realize it was all for hazelnut. Well, never mind. I think strength only increases your damage, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, that doesn't really benefit me as much. What if I could cook them, though? Can I cook these? Uh, strength takes a crack at shell, gives it back upon consumption. Okay. Wait a second. So this is just a strength buff, buff a strength buff that you don't have to cook. I have to cook my mushrooms. Why? What? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Never mind then. All right. Well, that's kind of sucky. People should have at least to, like the, the need to cook it, you know? You should have to cook that. So it's a little bit fair? I don't know. Oh yeah, here's this chest again. What's in here? Heal chain, okay. Well, I don't need heal chain. Um, I would like an infinite healing though. That would be very nice. Because then maybe I could respec a lot of my perks into some other things. Um, instead of just, like, Waters of Life. Even though I do like Waters of Life, it's it's not bad. Waters of Life is a really good skill that saved my ass, like, this entire area. But it would be nice to have something else. I also need to respec my points still. So I can get rid of that fire skill. Alright, there we go. We have 15. I want at least, like, 16. Because we need two for, uh, flax. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we need two for, a uh, flax. So we have at least eight. Um. There we go. Alright, cool. So we have eight flax now. Or eight, uh, linen, sorry. Now let's go back and make it. Hopefully all the flax we planted will be done. I think we planted like 10 or 20. And we have even more being made right now. Uh, I don't know how long it actually takes to grow it. I have 50 seeds there. I'm going to take those flax back. <laughs> that, that's a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. All right, there we go. God damn. All right. Wait, can I actually cook the blue mushrooms over the fire? What does that give me? What if that gives me more intelligence? I can cook them! Yeah, what is that? Roasted Azur Russula. Three intelligence, yes! Okay, so those are way better for me. Alright. Let's cook a bunch of those. I think I have more. Don't I? Yeah, here we go. Oh my god, I have so many of them. <laughs> I have so many. All right, cool. Uh, I might as well eat this one. There we go. I also need to make more, uh, what is it? <laughs> I almost called it dog food. It's not dog food. It's, uh, like roasted wolf. Put these hazelnuts away. There we go. Um, the chamomile I need to put in another chest. Because that is good for, um, my potions. 
my big old potions. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright. Uh, there we go. Alright, let's cook 20 mushrooms and 10 meat. There we go. Alright, so that should increase my, uh, my magic damage by 15% instead of 10. And it lasts even longer than the mushrooms, which is even better. So I'm pretty happy with that. I didn't know you could actually cook these as well. I thought there was something separate you'd have to do. Like, make a big, weird, like, magic dish. Alright. I do wish it was faster to cook these, though. That is one little gripe. If you have timers on all your other stuff, you should be able to, like, make a fire like this that you can put them all out on top of. And, like, I don't know, cook them that way. It'd be very nice. There we go. God, I couldn't imagine just, like... <laughs> Instead of marshmallows, you would, like, put mushroom on a s'mores. That's what I'm just thinking of right now. Like, you have the graham crackers, you have the chocolate. But you don't have marshmallows, so you just pick up a mushroom. And roast it and put it on the s'more. That just sounds like a bad idea. I feel like it'd be a very meaty, like, chocolate taste. That's not something I'm interested in. There we go. Just ten more, and we're done. Just ten more. And then hopefully we can get our outfit, too. I'm hoping I have enough amber for that. If not, we can always just fly back out and grab that uh, amber again. I think there were two pillars there, too, so... It's probably a decent amount. And I'm thinking about the server refresh, it's probably back already. I think every time you leave to the menu, um, at least to the main menu, you come back and um, your world repopulates with enemies, and it repopulates all the chests as well. I don't know if it repopulates all the, um... the items on the ground, and I don't know if it repopulates all of the, uh... The ore veins or anything like that. So that's something that we'll have to test. Oh wait, let's uh, put these away. Uh, there we go. But those way, I no longer need normal mushrooms. Alright, cool. Nice. So three intelligence and two constitution. That'll help me. Um, what else do I have? Is there anything else I can do? I guess we can plant all these flax seeds. We do have like 80 billion of them. And they're all done. Cool. Looks like we'll have to just plant a shit ton of these. Um, uh, is the chamomile done as well? No, the chamomile is not done. That actually takes a little bit longer, huh? All right. God, I wish there was, like, farming plots, too. I wonder if there's a way you can actually make, like, a farming plot, like the, um... The villages you find. Because I would be very interested in that. I would love to find, like, a farming plot. Uh, texture on the ground. That maybe makes, uh, plants grow faster? That would be very nice. Or maybe you have to plant, like, uh... Um, like, corn and stuff in it. Like, for ground, you can plant the flax, but you have to plant, uh, corn. And, like, tomatoes in the actual, like, soil. Like, uh, farming soil. There we go. We have 60 down, so we should have a shit ton for, uh, later. Alright, so. 11 flax. Or not 11 flax, what is that? 11 linen. Wait, where's the flax that I picked? Am I fucking crazy?
Wait, did I pick up the flax before it was done? Wait, really? Oh, shit. I think I did. I thought it was done. I thought since I had the blue, it would be done. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, never mind. Shit. Uh... Well, that ain't good. I... I... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, fuck. All right. I guess I kind of fucked myself on that. Advanced glider. Wait, what? Oh, I can make an advanced glider. I have to advance glider. Oh. Hey, uh, I still catch an eyeful of you plummeting the ground <laughs> in the distance every once in a while. No worries, there's no shame in that, but if you want to fly with style, consider crafting a b better glider with me. Oh, it's le- Oh, this is the improved one. Range, speed, and stamina. Okay, so I need shroud sacks. Oh, yeah. I gotta go kill the fucking dudes that are actually in the shroud to get those. I mean, I guess I could go back to the, the one wizard area. And I could kill all the stuff there. Huh. That's not bad. So 15 speed, range, 150 range. What, what What's my now? Yeah, what's my glider now? Oh, okay. Yeah, that is much better. After that, I don't think there's a, a better glider, though. Are there only two gliders in the game? This seems like a f like too few. I thought there'd be like a rarity for each one. Um, like four gliders or five gliders. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, let's go to Lone Thistle. I think that's where we found a lot of the uh, the blue plants as well. Ah, fuck, I should have respect before I went over, but it's fine. Yeah, I should have respect. Um, is it this way? I think it's this way. All right, leave me alone, please. Why are you so fast? There we go. Get out of here. All right, so... Once we fly in, I'll have to... Kill those weird plants as fast as I can, then we'll get out. I'm going the right way, right? Where am I? Okay, yeah, we are. Okay, good. I'm going to take this flask, too. I'm not going to use the damage upgrade. I, I feel like we've... I feel like we're strong enough to take this area on. Uh, without the damage upgrade. Alright, so... Where are ye? Ye feisty plants? Ye feisty blue plants that shoot shit at me? That is not a plant, that is a man. Um, and a bug. Why am I on fire? What is that? Oh, that is the, uh, the damage. Okay, cool. Just took a test. Got 10 out of 10. Well, congrats. I'm glad you got that. What kind of a uh, test was it, actually? Was it, uh, who's the best streamer of all? And you obviously said me, right? No, I'm fucking with you. Uh, yeah, what was it about? Okay, um... I think the plants were all the way up top, weren't they? Yeah, I think they were. Okay, maybe this is a good skill. This is very good. Yeah, that 10 is actually not bad. I need to upgrade that. Kind of trivializing this area. It's just so short. Like, the distance is very small. Yeah, that is a very, very small distance. Alright, don't hurt me. Stop that. There we go. Any runes? I would love runes. I have a sword. I don't want a sword. <laughs> I don't want swords, I just want runes. I mean, I guess the swords give me runes. There we go. That was actually more than actually getting runes. Oh. I guess that's fine. 
All right, so there's the plants, the feisty plants. Oh, they're not so feisty anymore. They're actually fairly weak now. There we go, shroud sacks. There we go. Is there another one in here? Yeah, there we go. I don't remember where the other one was though. I have four shroud sacks. I feel like, oh, there it is. Oh, there we go. Please die. Cool, now we can climb up the tower and get out of here. A bi biology test having to do with bacteria. Oh. Did it say I was highly contagious on it? <laughs> yeah, I remember, like... I don't know, bacteria was never my... Science was never my specialty, because I have a lot of bad science teachers growing up. I think every single, like, science teacher I had was pretty bad. As far as I remember. Wait, oh, okay. There was stuff up here. Glider, I've always been fond of birds. They weave through the wind so effortlessly. Embrace the horizon in these trying times. Discover what it is you seek. Free of all corruption spreading beneath. Such a wondrous journey. We have mankind can conquer the skies through invention. I shall craft a glider and voyage to the hills from here. One way or the other, I'll land among the Blue Jays. Balthazar's aspirations. What? <laughs> so wait, he didn't make the glider though. Wasn't it the hunter? I thought it was the hunter that had the glider. What? What is he talking about? <laughs> is he fucking crazy? I'm pretty sure she made it. The first time. Um, right? Oh, maybe I am crazy. Who made the first glider? Ant spindle. Fossilized bone. What the fuck? How do, where do I find fossilized bone? Why would I need fossilized bone for a hand spindle? <laughs> oh my god. Medium backpack. I'm getting it. Medium backpack. Here we go. Look at that. 16 slots. That is crazy. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Doubled our, practically doubled our inventory so far. Well, one more row would be double. But man, that's still a lot. That is a lot of uh, slots now. Fuck. I'm into it. I'm happy with that. Um. Alright, where was that glider? Wait, did he make the glider? Who made the glider the first time? Was it Baltazar? I swear it wasn't. Was it? Alright, here we go. Awesome. A graceful flight. How much better will this function? Is it going to function like an actual glider now? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, it looks cleaner. It looks very clean. Yeah, that looks very, very clean. Um, I don't know where to put it. I'll put it in my ring chest. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, all right, so let's put some stuff away. There we go. Oh, I need to make more lockpicks as well. I forgot about that. Fuck. I keep forgetting about lockpicks. Huh. Oh, that's a bunch of garbage. Um. Yeah, I don't have any more linen being made. Um, I guess let's see how much I need from the, uh, for the mage set. Yeah, how much do I need for the mage set? Alright, uh... Two, 12, 18. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. It started off so good. And then, holy shit, it just went downhill. Oh, my God. I need so much. 
Holy fuck. Yeah, that's a lot. That is definitely a lot. God damn. Damn. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of linen. At least I don't need that much amber. Yeah, we're good on amber. What about uh, fireball too? I need tar. Where the fuck do I get tar from? What? Advanced uh, magical ammunition to light fiery fireball that erupts on impact. Okay. Yeah, where do I get tar from? It needs resin? Oh no, okay. That's bad. Yeah, that, that is bad. All right. Can I use it to upgrade the altar? Wait, let me check that as well. Uh, what do I need to upgrade the altar? Strength of the flame. Uh, I need sparks. All right, so I need more sparks. I need mycelium. Uh, I need goo. Uh, is that does that say wisp wyvern? <laughs> Uh, the fell wisp wyvern. What the fuck? I gotta kill a big ass dragon? Oh no. What do you fucking mean? Fell wisp wyvern. So wait, that's in the castle, right? That he wants me to go to? I don't think I want to do that. Uh, that sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, that sounds very, very bad. Uh, <laughs> a fell wisp wyvern. What the fuck? No. No, I'm... Uh, okay, I guess we have to do that at some point. I'm going to need a lot better weapons than I have now. I'm going to need way more gear. This is not going to fly. I'm not going to be able to kill a dragon. All right, let's uh, commune with the flame. Reset skill points. All right, 45 skill points. Um, all right, we'll get all of these. There we go. All right, yeah, healer. I did want that. Uh, healer two. Intelligence. Water aura. Waters of life. Okay, cool. Blink I want. Uh, not necromancer. This is the way. Attacking with a magical weapon, all damage is increased by 10%. Yeah, there we go. Uh, quick charge, yes. Crowner strike, no. Okay. Uh, there we go. Sub zero. I don't think I want frost. It's okay. It's very okay. Um, I just feel like it's a waste of points. I don't know. Because I can just hit them with the magic. To slow them down. And even then, I can blink fast enough away that it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm not going to get uh, Frost right now. I think Frost and, like, Radiant Aura and all that's a good, like, side thing for later. Sorry, I just perped. I apologize. All right, here we go. Absorb. What is that? Evasion attack. When equipped with a melee weapon, you perform an evas evade attack. Which dashes towards the enemy and deals more weapon damage. Uh, I'm good on that. Unity, that's what we need, yes. Repeated wand damage is increased by 20%, yes. 30% 30 30 chance to spawn another projectile. Yeah, both of those. Alright, so that'll increase my damage with wands. Um, And then there's two more intelligence at the end. Alright, cool. That is exactly what I needed. I need a lot more stuff with, um, with wands itself. Because my wands were okay. They're just not doing the best. They're not doing the best because I don't have a good frost wand. That's the major issue right now. Hopefully I can find one in the Revel Wood. Oh, I need to make more lockpicks as well. I keep forgetting about that. Um... I get them out of my... Oh, I can. Okay, cool. There we go. 
full up on lockpicks now. Uh, okay, so where should we go? What should we do? Dude, I thought my flax was gone. <laughs> I, I didn't, I didn't see this entire thing of flax here. I, I just thought it was ground. This almost made me piss myself. I almost screamed at this, this right here. Uh, this was a nightmare. <laughs> this was a fucking nightmare. Oh my god. That would have been so bad. <laughs> it would have been so bad. All right, so. Um. We could go towards the Volca ceremony. I don't know what that's going to get us. Let's look at the journal. We have six quests. Reach Pike Mead's capital. Uh, or Pike Mead the capital. Oh, wait. Pike Mead's reach is the capital. Okay, cool. Pound might have been sealed by war or worse, a strange and otherworldly glow from the depths of the riverbed. So wait, was there a, a dragon under the water? Then? That's, a, that's what it kind of sounds like. Wait, lost in the shroud? What do you mean, lost in the shroud? Where the fuck is this? It gives me like a bow. What? Lost in the shrouds all the way up there. Whoa, okay. Um. Yeah, I don't want to go there. I want to get the, uh, the elixir thief one. Uh, what is it? Crucible needed for the smelter. There we go. All right. Uh, let's go back. We'll go back to the spire. God, fighting a dragon does not seem like great, though. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do it. How would me fighting a dragon even work? Oh, I just realized I didn't get my constitution back. So I have really low health now. <laughs> oh, well, it's fine. I'll, I'll get another level here soon. We'll deal with it. Uh, it'll make it risky. We'll have some risky fights here soon. All right, let me return to the main menu as well. But the fact that we keep having this weird texture issue is kind of annoying me. I don't know if it's because fast traveling a lot or what. But it's kind of happened once we hit the Revelwood more. I noticed it a lot more uh, once we hit here. And why am I still here? I thought it would be at the tower. But There we go. All right, so, uh, that way, right? I guess this will be a good test of the glider, I'm guessing. Um, oh wait, not that way, that way. How the fuck? Is there a way up those mountains? I have no idea. Oh, look at that. Okay, the glider is way better now. Holy shit. Uh, I would still like a higher angle on it, but it's really not that bad. Yeah, it's definitely not that bad. Again, I would love a higher angle on it, but um, it's so much faster and it's so much better. I appreciate it. All right, so... Uh, ooh, how do I get across that? Because that doesn't seem very easy to scale. Could I have aimed for a higher area? Uh. Oh, no, I guess I can go that way. There is a path down there. I'm assuming something branches up that way. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, just follow the path. I've noticed that there's a buff on the road as well. I'm assuming there's a buff that, like, decreases your stamina cost on roads. I have no idea. I need to look in the ranger tree more for, like, stamina stuff. 
I've been just focusing on magic, though. So it seems generally the best thing for us. Hey, what is this? What's this fucking house? Uh... The Blue Goblet Tavern. Really? Is there anything good in here? It seems really furnished. Whoa. This would actually be a cool base. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if you can place bases in these areas, but... This is a very nice, uh, nice house. If you wanted it. I don't know if there's a chest in here, though. I'm assuming so. Alright, there's a lot of corpses. <laughs> I hope if you do place an area here, it, uh, it doesn't spawn the corpses back. Alright, nothing that way. Uh, lockpick? Okay, so what's up here, then? Oh, okay, a bunch of nails. And a- oh, chest, okay. Chain lightning! Oh, sorry, I just hit the fucking mic. Magical ammunition unleash a powerful lightning strike. Shocks nearby enemies and jumps to others nearby. Whoa, okay, cool. Well, that's nice. I, I love lightning. I would love to have a lightning skill. Um, let me drink this water. Fuck it. I might as well just give myself the stamina buff. And was that it here? I think that's it for here. Um... Man, this is really nice of a building, actually. I'm shocked that it's so nice. Oh, there's a basement. Oh, shit. Okay, well... There's rats! <laughs> my, my number one enemy in this game. They always fucking scare me. Oh, it's actually bright down here. Wait. It's, a, it's super furnished down here. Oh, there's a bathtub. With plant fibers. <laughs> Why are there so many plant fibers and nails in this area? Oh, wait a second. What is this? Well, I just fucked up the building. <laughs> Oops. Um. That wall looks suspicious. I thought it was going to, like, break off into an area. I thought it was going to be something, man. <laughs> All right. Well, there's a cool house if you guys want it. It doesn't even seem like it has a lot of holes in it. Oh, never mind. There are some holes. Never mind. I guess everything's a little bit fucked in this area. Or at least in this game. Um. Where's the way up, though? Is it over this way? All right, I'm gonna chain lightning these guys, but I feel like it's not gonna be effective. Oh! It's definitely not bad. Wow. Oh, wow, Juan's got a lot better. Yeah, those double, uh, <laughs> the double projectile. Oh, wow, that is good. Alright, so it definitely seems like, uh... The chain lightning is good. I'm a big fan of the chain lightning so far. That is incredible as well. Why is my wand glowing? Oh, that's the repeated wand damage. Okay. Wow, look at that. There's so much more damage now. I feel like I should have double casted more than that, though. I don't know if there's a cooldown on it. Um, what is this? Sambath demands it. Listen, you lazy brutes, or later Sambath demands we dig more elixir wells. 
This will give us all the elixir we could ever need. It'll be dangerous work, but the risk is surely worth it. Dig, ye fools, or face the wrath of Samoth. I'm hearing a lot of Samoth around here. There's a lot of Samoth lore happening. And I'm wondering, like, what that's all about. Hmm. I hope he's not the final boss. <laughs> he just sounds like some random dude. Wow, look at that. We can actually kill dudes with the wands now. That is so nice. That is so, so nice. Forge location. Mark of Samoth. Okay, so this is the Mark of Samoth. I thought this was just a normal mine. Okay. This shit's fucking huge. Whoa. Oh, it seems like there's a lot of copper here. Maybe a lot of copper and a lot of clay. At least I'm assuming that was copper over there. Yeah, this is a pretty big area. Hey, who, oh, there's a bomb guy up there. Yeah, this is a fairly large area. Whoa. Oh, chest. Nice. I hope there's going to be something good here. A crackling wand. It only does 29. Okay, never mind. Oh, hey, all around. What's going on? I, I don't know what any of that means, but hi. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I'm playing a, a survival game right now. You probably heard of it. Um, it's been pretty popular lately. It's been fairly popular. I'm happy, though. Um, if this game does well, then we get more of it, so... I I'm into that. <laughs> I I'm loving this game right now. It's so much fun. Especially now that I've upgraded my wands. Um, if you're doing magic in this game, upgrade your wands first. Uh, upgrading your wands is very good. It's the main thing I needed to do. And I didn't even know it. Holy shit. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, thank you for the drink. And the stretch. And the rent. I appreciate that. Thank you for paying your dues to my uh, stream. I'm glad you are uh, 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 stayed with us and, and rent with us in these hotels, or not hotels, these uh, apartments that you definitely live in on the stream. <laughs> oh God, please stop. Man, I really need to upgrade my constitution again. <laughs> I'm kind of, I feel kind of dumb that I forgot about that when I reset my skills. Where even are we? Like, what is this area? This area is fucking huge. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a lot of mines. I really need to stop talking about four words, then leave the stream. <laughs> it's fine. You can do whatever you want. I appreciate you showing up. If it's not a game that interests you, I don't I don't mind. I mean, that happens a lot, you know. I could just be boring that day as well. You never know. Maybe my brain's not working and I just can't get words out because that's happened before. <laughs> I've had plenty of streams. I think my first Enshrouded stream was like that. Or my second one? Like, I, I just wasn't wording properly. I don't know why. It was really garbled. I kept like, uh, what, whatchamacallit? Um, starting off the wrong words for every sentence. I, I don't know how it worked, but it worked that way. Oh, dogs. All right, let me drink this. Oh, more dogs. Okay, cool. <laughs> it seems like there's just a lot of dogs in here. Is this where the thing is that I need? I'm very confused. Uh. 
No. This is a random cave passage. Okay, I don't need to go this way. Uh... I mean, there's a grappling hook there. Oh, that's if you fall, I guess. Why? No. <laughs> don't do that. No, thank you. Don't like that. I don't know what the point of this area is. Oh, there's an area there. Oh, okay. So what's through here then? There's just dudes? What the fuck? Why are there just random dudes down here? <laughs> I don't even know where I'm at. Whoa! There we go. Oh, there's a ramp down here. Okay, cool. Um, where's the big blade guy? That's what I want to know. I saw a dude with two green... Oh, there he is. Found him. <laughs> we got him. Oh my god, he does so much damage. Uh, I need to ice magic him. Too strong, too strong, too strong. Leave me alone, please. Thank you. Okay, good. I'm just garbage. I don't need any of that. Uh, what about you? I mean, you have water. I'll take water. That's fine. I'll take a nice sip of water. But where is this? Like, what the fuck? Um. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there's a shroud this way. Um. Oh my god, it's level 15 over here. I need to not be this way. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Get me the fuck out of here. Nope. Yeah, I do not have the gear needed for this area. I may be level 15 now, but I do definitely do not have any of the gear ready for this. Nope. This game depends way too much on gear for me to go in there. All right. Um, there we go. I guess we'll just keep trying to find that forge. I don't know. I have a feeling I won't be able to make any weapons. That's the thing. Um, this game's weapon systems are weird. Because it feels like I just have to find all my weapons out in the wild. Like, I don't, I don't think I can make good weapons. Like, yeah, you can make the basic stuff, but a lot of it just seems... Like, you have to find it or grind chests for it. Or something. You know. Alright, so this way is where the, the forge thing is. Maybe it's all the way on that other side. Alright. Um... Or not? How do I get up? Is there no way up above? Wait a second. Is there no way above the mine? I can't tell if the mine is a if this is above or below. Because he said bandits might have taken it, so I can't tell if that's below the mine or what. It doesn't seem like I can go above. No, it doesn't seem like I can go above at all. Um. Well, damn. I don't know then. Hmm. <laughs> Why did he 
he jump off the cliff? <laughs> Why? Why did he do that? What the fuck? What was that about? All right, maybe it, uh, yeah, it's probably down here. Yeah, bear traps and everything. Yep, here we go. For some reason, I thought it would be at the top of the mine. Ow. Thanks, dude. Thanks for destroying the fire. I appreciate it. Yeah, wow. Okay, this is interesting. I like that there's bases like this. This is really cool. All right, there we go. Oh, what does this say? We've dug too far. Samoth, your greed for the elixir can be quenched. Keep it to yourself when you said you'd share, you'd liar. Uh, will your people die for you in those tunnels? For what? We banish you from our mists. Go now, or we'll show you the strength of our numbers. Find your elixir else somewhere else. This is our mine. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So... This Samoth guy... He really wants the elixir, and he just keeps being an asshole, and nobody wants to help him. <laughs> That's what I'm kind of getting out of this. It seems just nobody wants to be this fucking guy's friend. Oh, this is the thing. Oh, the crucible. Okay, there we go. That's what we needed. Oh my god, you can get chain lightning out of these? Oh no, okay. I have to start investigating crates now. I was just not looking at any of them. Oh, fuck me. Well, that's a shame, damn it. I must have been missing like tons and tons of spells before. Um. What the fuck is down there? Ooh, okay, there's mushrooms. Okay, so there's gonna be shroud in here. Oh, hi, dog. What's up? All right, kill the dog first. There we go. All right, we're good. Um, I don't need that meat. I really don't need meat in this game. I have so much of it at this point. There we go. Man, that is so good. I'm so happy that I upgraded the, uh, the wands. Oh my god. It really is a game changer. It's a massive game changer. Yeah, a lot of, uh, mushrooms down here. I know they were mining for elixir, but... I don't really, like, see any? Um... I mean, they did find mushroom. Oh wait, here we go. What's this? A new leader, Samoth has been slain. His buddy Rots tied the mycelium pillar as a warning uh, to all. We elect a new leader, one who will not be ruled by fear and gluttony. Uh, one who's just and truthful. The elixir will be ours. Well, I guess we found out Samoth is dead. <laughs> I'm glad he's not the final boss. Um, where's his body at? What? Tied to the mycelium pillar. Where? I mean, I guess he's probably rotted by now. But... Like, really? I don't see him anywhere. Ah, huh, okay. Well, I need the mycelium anyways. <laughs> I, I gotta get some of this shit for my upgrade. There we go. All right, it's good to know that I can just mine these pillars as well. Makes it fairly so. Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, we found him. Oh, look, there's Samoth. We've been hearing about this asshole for hours. We finally found his body. Wow. I mean, that's fun. <laughs> He's, like, pinned into it. But, like, 
There's nothing there. <laughs> Why? Okay. I mean, I guess there's only so much you can do when you break a lot of things. You know? There's only so much you can, like, program, you know? Oh, God. Alright, delete that. Alright, so we have 11 chain lightning now. That's so good. Okay. Um, hopefully we have enough, uh, uh, linen made. So I can make some of my armor. Alright, let's go back. Um... Yeah, because now we have the forge. I don't know what that is. The, the... Oh, that's a shroud root. Okay. Yeah, I'm not strong enough to go up that way. I'm definitely not strong enough for that. So let's just go cry at home. <laughs> we'll, we'll go cry at home and not deal with this shit. I wish this game had item descriptions here. <laughs> it's not really needed. And that's more of a Dark Souls thing, but... I don't know. I would like that. Um, Alright, let's put some of the shit away. I need to get more Shroud Potions, too. Um, Split Stack. Yeah, give me three of those. Alright. Okay, we should be good. Let's deposit a lot of this shit. There we go. I feel like at this point, I'm going to need a chest for every item in the game. Like, there's just so many items. Alright, um... I have chamomile. Uh, where do I put the chamomile? I thought I had a spot for that. Whatever, I'll just put it here. Um, I guess we put rubble away. I don't really need that. Ah, uh, Barney. Okay, there we go. Uh, Masterful Mace, salvage that. Don't need that shit. And man, I'm getting a lot of spells and stuff. I'm getting so many spells. Yeah, I need to eventually get rid of Fireball 1. If I could start making Fireball 2, I'd be really happy with that. Is that what he makes? I think that's what he makes. Let me check. What is it that you make? You make Fireball 2. Okay, he does make Fireball 2. I just need tar. If I can find a bunch of tar, then we're good. That'll be very nice. Um, uh, Maybe the blacksmith makes it? I, I don't know. Alright, yeah. Cra time to craft a smelter. Hey, you found my crucible, huh? Was that journey too tough for you? Quit whining, Flameborn. Rekindling a flame takes time and patience. Right now, just crafting that smelter will suffice. Let's get to work. Okay. I need fired bricks. I have fired bricks. I just don't have them in a chest. I think I made a bunch of them. Uh, I don't have enough fired bricks now. Uh, fuck. I need 50. Where's that clay that I had? Ah, oh, fuck. Didn't I have clay? I have one clay. No, I had more clay than this. I know I did. There's no way I just had one clay. Oh, balls. No. All right, I guess I have to go out and mine some more. Fuck. All right, well, I guess I gotta go mine more clay. Good to know. Uh, where was that? I think there's some next to, th not that one. Uh, there's some next to here. I'm not fully cer certain about it, but um, there should be. There definitely should be. Oh, fuck. I forgot it's nighttime. Damn it. <laughs> I keep forgetting about nighttime. All right, let's go back. If nighttime wasn't so dark, I'd be more comfortable with walking around during it, but... It's almost pitch black 90% of the time. And I get that it's called Enshrouded, but man. Some of it's just a little too much. 
especially at night. All right, here we go. Let's hopefully get some clay. Ooh, maybe with this forge upgrade, I can make a better uh, pickaxe and axe now. Ooh, I would love that. If I can make a better pickaxe and axe, oh man. This will be great. This will be very good. I have flax. Um, where is some clay? You are not some clay. I would appreciate it if you left me alone, Mr. Boar. Thank you. There should be along some walls, right? What's that? Oh, that's one of the things. Okay. Hey, there's some. All right, kill you. Does fire do more damage to you? Uh, fire is definitely effective. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, here we go. There's clay right next to the um, the hunter's uh, the hunter's area. I think there was also some next to the weird um house, the lush pasture or whatever it's called. Lush pasture. Lush lush pasture. That is such a hard thing to say. I, I don't know how somebody can even say that. I think that was written before anybody said it. <laughs> I really think somebody wrote that before anybody said it out loud. Lush pasture. Lush pasture. Lush pasture. Fucking hell. Alright, what do we got? 31. Or 34, sorry, not 31. I guess let's keep going. There we go. Yeah, hopefully I can get better durability on the next pick. This is bad. I didn't realize how bad this pick was, because I rarely ever use it. At least in the original area, I rarely used it. Oh, wow. I didn't realize jumping actually costs stamina in this game. <laughs> I know that's a stupid idea, like a stupid thought, but I, I I didn't realize that costs stamina. Wow. I straight up just thought it was running and gliding and using your uh, your tools. I feel kind of dumb. <laughs> All right, never mind. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, maybe if there's a desert, there might be tar in there. I, I don't know where tar would be in a fantasy world. That's what confuses me. All right. Well, we're almost out of clay. Um. Oh, there's some more there. All right, there we go. How much do we have now? Oh, wow, okay, we have like 100. Okay, uh, 110. All right, let's go back and make it. Then we can make that guy's forge. Uh, we can have all our linen, hopefully. Hopefully our linen's grown. The linen takes forever. Oh, please tell me, is that done? Yes, okay, cool. I can harvest all my linen. Or not my linen, my flax. <laughs> There's so much. Uh. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of this. All right. I need to go get more um, water as well. So we can plant more chamomile. There we go. Holy shit. All right, so how much do we have of each? Not bad, actually. 
30 chamomile and we have uh what like oh fuck uh 83 uh flax that's not bad definitely not not uh definitely not bad all right let's go get some more water here we go yeah i'm really wondering up some, what's up with the texture issues in the game is, is that like my computer dying <laughs> i hope that's not my computer dying I don't want my computer dying being a thing. Uh, it seems fine. It's not smelling like burning. At that point, it's got to be the game, right? All right, more water. Um, all right, split stack. Split stack. Eight. I mean... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, then we'll put the chamomile in here. Uh, four. So this one, can I set to, this one to chamomile? All right, so that one's working on flax. This one's working on chamomile, right? Okay, there we go. Um. Oh, it only makes five. Okay. Uh. All right, um, that's not as good, but it's fine. Yeah, definitely not as good, but it's fine. All right, let's put the, the play in here. There we go. I need to get more uh, construction stuff for that. Or wood, I need not construction stuff. I need more wood. I put all the flax in there and we're good. All right, so now while those are working their magic, I guess we'll get some wood. Um, oh wait, maybe I can go to the Revelwood. The Revelwood trees, I don't know how much they make. Let's try that. I'm wondering if they give more amber as well. Oops, sorry. Not amber, uh, what is it? No, it is amber. No, resin. Resin's what it is. Yeah, it's not amber. Alright, what's the biggest Revelwood tree? Can I cut this bastard down? With my goofy little axe. <laughs> It seems to be working. Is it actually going to cut down? Well, shit. Okay, it did cut down. Wow. And it gave me a lot of wood. Okay, this is the strat. Okay. Yeah, this is really good. Hardwood. How's much damage if it hits your head while you fell trees? Wait, this is a different type of wood. Really? I didn't expect that out of this game. I didn't know hardwood was going to be different from wood. Um, I'm assuming there's building materials that are different. Um, but can I just use it as wood? I hope I can. I'll cut one more tree and then we'll go over there and see. If not, then I guess I'm shit out of luck. Um, yeah, let's go back. We'll see how this works. Ooh, if it doesn't work, that's going to suck. I'm going to have to just go break normal trees then. Oh, hey, Fishbone. What's going on? How you been? Hopefully you've been okay. Uh, yeah. Let's see if this Revelwood works. All right, pull that out. Yep. No, pull that out before it resets. Okay, good. Okay, wood logs. Hardwood does not work. Okay. Um, that's a shame. That is definitely a shame. How are you? I'm doing well, actually. I really love this game, so I'm having a lot of fun. It's a uh, magic, like, sur fantasy survival game um, where you have to beat up mushrooms. <laughs> you have to beat up mushrooms a lot. It's really entertaining. All right, so we should be good there. Yeah, let's go out and chop normal trees then. What a shame. I thought that was going to be like a, a, like a life hack for me. <laughs> a TikTok life hack for me. You know? 
I just really, really wanted that to work. What a shame. What a shame. All right, whatever, it's fine. Wait, oh no. All right, here we go. All right, leave me alone. I'm gonna kill you in like one hit. Leave me alone. There we go. I guess the, they do, okay, they give you six logs still. So it really wasn't that much more wood from the hardwood. All right, that's fine. I guess we just had to test it. Just had to make sure. All right. We should have enough bricks anyways, right? No. Oh, bricks are... Oh, it's one brick every 30 seconds? Whoa. I mean... It doesn't use a lot of resources, but man, I would have expected like three or five. How do you get enough bricks to to make foundations and stuff like that if you want to make a brick house? That seems really bad. That seems really, really bad. Ooh, I guess you'll need a lot of kilns at some point. You're just going to have to be like roasting all of them real good. All right, whatever. We'll we'll wait until we get the uh, the forge stuff, and then maybe we can upgrade the uh, the axes and pickaxe. At least I'm hoping. I I don't I don't know for sure. Probably not. We're probably gonna get fucked over by it. All right, two more bricks. Fuck, I'm just gonna go cut down trees. All right, here we go. I should probably cut down trees with like beehives in them. I do need beehives as well. There we go. That only had six? <laughs> How did the weak ass tree earlier that I had have like, what, like 40 logs? And that only had like six. That seems a little too few. I guess it was 12. Does every tree give you 12? Oh no, there we go. A little bit more. Two resin, not bad. I'm gonna need a lot of resin anyways. All right, there we go. All right, cool. All right, let's jam these into the kiln. And hopefully that'll be enough. All right, there we go, another 50 logs. All right, 50 bricks, cool. So we have all the bricks that we need. Now we can make his forge. Uh, yeah. Or his smelter, sorry, not his forge. Smelt, to melt alloy and metal. Oh, to melt and alloy metals. Okay, never mind. There we go. Don't waste your All right. Um, so how big is this thing? Oh, it, that's actually pretty big. Um, I guess I could put it here. Oh, is that the wrong way? <laughs> Wait, what way is it supposed to face? Oh, there we go, actually. Yeah, let's put it like that. That looks kind of cool. Wow. It's really big. It's like fucked up against the wall. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay, there we go. So what do I have to do here? Copper bars. Charcoal and copper ore. Oh, okay. Oh. It takes 20 of each. I, I mean, I have enough copper. Or not copper. I have enough uh, charcoal. But, um... God damn, that seems like a lot. Hey. hey? Oh, the farmer wants to talk to me. Wait, why does she want to talk to me after the forge? That's weird. All right, we're going to have to go mining for copper then. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I think I have some copper, actually, though. I don't think I have enough. I think I only have, like, 14. Don't I? I only have 14, don't I? Where is that? Oh, I have 19. I need one more. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. 
All right, that's fine. Well, let's put this in here. Might as well. All right, so what? That's 150. So I should be able to make like what? Uh, I, I don't even know how many bars that is. <laughs> I don't even know how many bars that is. I know it sounds silly, but a good old kettle. Oh, no, not that. A kettle for a fireplace. Wait, so she does want a kettle. Okay. Lovely to see you. Listen, I love to cook for our crew, raise a, a, a spirit. A fireplace with a kettle would help. But I give mine to a friend when our caravan split. He said it for Pike Meads Reach. You can ask for it back. Say hello to Raul for me while you're there, please. Um, I think she's dead. I think Raul's dead. <laughs> I think he's probably dead. There's no way he survived the, uh, the shroud, right? He's gotta be dead. There's no way. Shroud root. Shroud root. Oh, there's two there. Okay. Yeah, now everything's pointing me towards Pike Mead, huh? Well, that's gonna be dangerous. Um. That's gonna be very dangerous. I really need my armor now. Hi right, there, 37 linen. We should be able to make my wizard armor now. All right, let's see. Uh, mage set. Hat, chest, gauntlets, boots. I have pants for another armor set. This gives me mana, so I'll take that. I will take that. All right, what do I look like now? Oh my god, I look like a stupid idiot. <laughs> Can I get a cape? <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Oh no, I look stupid. Oh no, the chess piece does not work. Oh God, that looks so bad. <laughs> I look so fucking dumb. What about the healer chest piece? What does that look like? Torn cloth. It gives me 20% healing. What does this look like? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that looks so much better. What the fuck? Oh, that looks so much better, but it's like worse for me. I need more mana. Fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't look like a mage. I just look like some guy that eats at your tavern. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's so ridiculous. Oh, fuck me. All right, that's funny. All right, that's funny as shit. I like that. <laughs> you look like a farmer, yeah. <laughs> yeah, did you know my guy likes farmers only? He's on there all the time. Uh, all right, let's take all. We'll deposit everything else in a new chest. All right, um, there we go. All right, let's put all this gear back away. <laughs> Can't believe how fucking dumb he looks. Oh my God, it hurts. It really hurts. The hat's to block the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man, what a guy. Oh, I still have my little magical barrier, at least. Oh, fuck me. It's so goofy. All right, we're gonna have to make more felling axes and stuff, though. I need to go get more copper. <laughs> uh. Oh, wait, that's why they showed me that mine. I just kind of realized that. Um. Yeah, the Mark of Samoth was for all the copper. I should have got all that copper while I was there. Um, I mean, there is copper here, so we can just go here. I'm sure I can get enough. I'm sure it'll be a little bit. I can't believe how stupid I fucking look. I'm so upset. We finally have, like, a clean outfit, but... Like... You could have made it a little cooler. 
It could have made me look a little cooler. I don't know. All right, we have one copper. Okay, let's take that back. <laughs> let's let's see if we can get a new pickaxe from it. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! I can't believe it. I really can't believe it, guys. I. I <laughs> Why? Why do I have to look so stupid? <laughs> Why? I got this cool armor and everything. All right, copper ore. It takes five minutes. Oh, fuck. I really hope this is enough to give me another pickaxe. This pickaxe is bad. I can stand using the felling axe that I have, but this pickaxe is, like, insufferable. <laughs> I can't believe it. I look so fucking dumb. Uh... Oh, there's an elixir well here. Actually, let's do that. Oh, there's shroud, shroud root there. Oh, that's the one that I have to go down into. Yeah, that's the, the one weird shroud root. Where it's, like, into that cave. Um, yeah, let's go conquer this, uh, this elixir well, though. That'll give us, like, I think three points, and I can put two into, uh, health again. I mean, we have more armor, and we have more, like, perk, I guess. Um. Ah. Uh, what are my statuses? How do I see my, like, total armor? <laughs> uh... Yeah, I don't see my total armor. My intelligence is 9 now. With the temporary boost. Jesus, 9 with temporary... Or 7 with temporary boost. Holy shit. That doesn't count the perks that I have out of my inventory, right? That seems kind of fucked up. Um... Out of my stat screen, not inventory. Um, where does it show my armor? Like, my total armor at? Oh, physical is 74. Magic is 144. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really see why I need 144 magic when no enemies have had magic damage. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think there's been any enemies with magic damage. A lot of bugs, though. Where actually is this area? I should probably just, like, explore a little bit. Um. Oh, this is the area where I first found those, like, blue mushrooms at. There was a, like, wolf den in this area. Yeah, I know this area. Okay. I was here off stream a little bit. I had to dig in the ground and I found blue mushrooms, and that was my first experience with the magic mushrooms. Literal magic mushrooms, people. Literal magic mushrooms. Alright, there we go. There's the well. I guess I should just dive in, huh? Get all those skill points. I hope it's a boss. Uh, actually, eh. I don't know if I hope it's a boss. I, I don't want to, like, present myself in front of a boss like this. I look really fucking dumb. <laughs> I feel like I look too stupid to see a boss right now. Right? Like, he's gonna laugh at me. I'm gonna get laughed at, guys. The boss is gonna see me and just, like, choke. They're gonna think it's so fucking funny that I look like this. All right, there we go. Oh God, I'm so embarrassed. Do I have to go down here and see a boss? He's gonna make fun of me. He's gonna give me a swirly. Oh, actually I don't see a boss. I don't see any bosses. I don't see any mushrooms either, like big mushrooms. 
yeah, that guy's strong. That guy is extremely strong. There we go. So it's all level 11 down here. There we go. Oh, thank you for the, uh, uh, follow Rage Extreme. Is that your name? Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, why do I have to look like, I guess I am a nerd <laughs> in the game. Like, oh no, I'm a mage. So I have to have the nerdy shirt. All right, give me that. I want that. Uh, what? Uh, I, I'm good. I don't add people on Discord randomly. I'm, I apologize. Yeah, that. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. Um. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I I, I don't do that. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. I, I think that's gonna be a, uh, a, a ban there. Yeah. And welcome, Jughead. What's going on? How you doing? Welcome back. <laughs> you, you said what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, there's the tentacles. Okay. There's the creepy crawly. Um... Oh my god, there's so many of these, like, scary ones that are draining my shit. Alright. I guess I just have to make my way through them. Dude, to showcase my art for low, low price of all your money, I could draw a stick figure. <laughs> no, 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 you can't even draw, remember? You have to, like, show off people's stolen art. That's how those work. They, they show people's stolen art. Um... And then they say they made it. I had somebody message me saying they worked for Pixar at one point, and it was the funniest shit that I've ever heard in my life. They're like, yeah, I work for Pixar. L let me, let me, uh, look, look, get commissioned by you. I work for Pixar. And I look at their art, and it's stolen art. <laughs> From, like, uh, like, Streamlabs. It's like a pre-made, like, Streamlabs layout. Right, get these fucking bugs out of here. I need to find the mushroom. Where is it? Where'd it go? Okay, here it is. Uh, that's a lot of dudes. Uh. Um. How are you doing today, Papa Busy? Ugh. 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 I found chain lightning. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it kind of works sometimes. <laughs> uh, Papa Busy makes me want to go. Bleh. I'm more of like an uncle. I'm more of like a cool uncle, you know? An extremely, extremely cool uncle. That isn't related to you at all. Because I'm not your uncle. No, not Papa Uncle. No, I'm not Uncle Grandpa in, up in here. No, we're not going for that Uncle Grandpa strat. <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of dudes. Holy shit. Wow. All right, these archers might actually kill me with their, their uh, bombs. Because they're going to decrease my shroud enough. There we go. All right, there's that one. And then there's that one. Man, I'm actually turning out to be a real mage now. We upgraded my wands and everything? Oh, this is great. This is great. Getting all those wand perks really helped. Really, really helped. Oh, let's not crouch. Why am I crouching? What? Why am I crouching? Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, the wand perks are... Oh, that's a uh, mining. The wand perks are just really, really good. There we go. Skill points acquired. Cool. Is it weird that I wish, like... I kind of wish destroying these kind of permanently, like... 
cleansed the area above them a little bit. I wish it was more permanent. I don't know. It just seems weird that it's temporary. It seems very odd. I have so many critter parts, I don't need any more. <laughs> Alright, um... What about my skills? Okay, yeah. So, destroying the wells does give you two. There we go. And... I guess I get, get more spirit. Let's spirit and then intelligence. Okay. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I don't even have the lightning perks. Oh, wow. Yeah, chain lightning's gonna do a lot of fucking damage then. Once I get the lightning perks. Wow. That'll be very nice. Hopefully there's an infinite chain lightning. <laughs> uh, I'm really hoping. So now, uh, see so yeah, how the game progresses if they make it permanent. Apparently the map is much bigger than we have access to currently. Yeah, that's something I kind of noticed. Um, I'm assuming it goes to like around this area and then like up here. I'm assuming I've only seen half the current map, but the, the map keeps going up. The map keeps going up <laughs> like way higher. Um... I'm assuming we'll have access to all the edges as well. And if anything, they might expand it more. That border is current early access? <gasps> no fucking way the map's not that big. What? Holy balls. Why did I use that? I don't want to use that one. No, I don't want to pull up my axe. I know I look like a lumberjack right now, but that's not what I wanted. There we go. Good level 16. Cool. Uh, no. Stay away from me. There we go. Alright, so... Alright, I hear you. You can stop now. We don't have to keep doing this game. <laughs> Stop it, bugs. There we go. It's a third of the map. Oh my god. <laughs> this game's gonna be big then. This game's gonna be real big. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy then. I'm impressed. I'm genuinely, genuinely impressed with this game. How did they get this much fun? What, what games did they make previously? What games did this company make previously that they have this much funding to make a map like this and a game like this? Because I know the combat's fairly, like, bare, but still, it still has a lot of depth. Especially with all the mechanics like gliding, mining, portal knights. What is portal knights? I've never heard of that. They must have made a fuck ton of money on Portal Knights. Holy shit. I, I can't even understand how this game was made. Especially just out of the blue, like a random indie game. 505 published. Oh, okay, I see. So they found a good pub. Well, not a good publisher. Pu no publishers are good, but... They found a publisher. I know they were, like, partnered with NVIDIA, probably. Yeah, I've seen this game was announced. Um, it's been on my wish list. Out of the blue, I mean more like, like the general public didn't really know about it. Like, since I'm generally, like, fa I'm fairly into survival games. I kind of keep up to date on, like, what survival games are coming out. Ones that don't look like Unity asset flips normally. Um, I tend to pay attention more to these types of games. Then they showed at one of the award shows. Oh, I haven't watched the award shows in a while. 
Uh, that's that's one of my issues. I haven't watched the award shows in two years now. Because every time the award show happens, I'm always working that night, and I can't stay up long enough. Or it's not on like a stream day. I don't want to stream. Because <laughs> like, who would, who wants to watch me watch awards? You know, like who really wants that? Who wants to watch me watch awards? Uh, I don't know. A message uh, or a nightmare. Uh, a solitary being came to the tavern as I was clo closing up. They requested to sit and share a drink with me and set about telling an untapped resource, telling of an untapped resource beneath the ground. If we dig deep enough, this hooded stranger inform me, we shall unlock a new potential for all of man. I'm intrigued. Oh. Okay, so there was a mysterious person that told somebody about Elixir. BRB making 148 accounts. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for cat ears. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll get there someday. Maybe within the next year or two, we'll get there. I'm not worried about it. Um. All right, let's go back to camp. Yeah, let's go back to camp. And then I think I might be right back. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. I'll probably fill up my water. My water is pretty low. I've been drinking a lot. All right, there we go. I'll be right back.
Haha, -ha, I'm also treating myself to wine. So I will be drinking a little bit of wine. Just a glass, though. There we go. Alright. Uh... <laughs> Wait a second. Wait, let me get myself big here. Oh, oh, shit. Not that. <laughs> shit, don't look at my bed. Um... So the list of games includes Anno 1701, uh, Disney's Dance Dance Revolution, <laughs> Secret Files, What's Cooking, Jamie Oliver, and some other not good looking games. What gets me is D Disney's Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> what do you mean? What is that? What the fuck is Disney's Dance Dance Revolution? <laughs> they made Disney's Dance Dance Revolution? This game? Oh my god. Now we know your bed has physical form. Actually, actually, I used to not have this background behind me. So you guys got to see my whole room when the Subnautica streams were there. Uh, those might go back someday. Uh, but man, those Subnautica streams are bad. That That is just bad content. You can't even watch those. Like, my old content is so fucking bad. For my first year? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, you can't watch them. They're privated. <laughs> yeah, you can't watch a lot of that. Like, my first two years of streaming are privated. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's so bad. It, it's not even, like, embarrassing. Like, it's actually just bad content. Do you guys want to know how I was streaming? Do you guys want to know how I was streaming? I could tell you. Um... Uh, my mic was over, like, kind of like that, so it didn't sound as good. And then I was looking at the game like this. And I was going, Yeah. Is that a, is that a fucking fish? What is that? Huh. That's weird. Oh. Yeah, uh. Wait, here, let, let me, let me stream like this. Let's do this. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah. Oh, let's talk to the, uh, wait. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I'm having too much energy here. <clears throat> I'm still having too much energy. I have to change my voice too. <clears throat> I need to go to my like really relaxed voice. My, my, not my streamer voice. My streamer voice needs to go away. No, you can't see my bed. My bed's not made. <laughs> I made my bed back then. Um, yeah, is that a is that a fish? Um, oh no! Like th these trees are pretty cool. Um, what happens? What happens if we chop one down? I'm still talking too much. I need. I need to like. I still need to slow down how much I'm talking too. Cause I was talking like every five minutes. I was doing. I was going. Man, that was a lot of resources. What was that? Oh. There's like a dog or something over there. Oh, I guess we killed it. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it that long. But yeah, that's how my streams were. <laughs> my streams were that. It was so fucking bad. I need to have Argy go back and like... Get a segment. <laughs> I need to have Argy go back and get a segment. Uh, that's how I could probably stream for so long and probably why I wasn't so tired when I like, would stream. Cause boy, I had no energy. And boy, I was a boring motherfucker. I was the most boring motherfucker that you could ever watch on Twitch. And somehow, within three months, I hit 100 followers. <laughs> I don't know how I fucking did that. 
I don't know why these people watched me. <laughs> I don't know why all those OG people were there. I guess they liked talking to me. Um, but as soon as my streams got good, uh, my stream slowed down. <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> Maybe I need to return to form. Maybe I need to go back to my boring streams and people like that more than me being like a maniac. Oh, they wanted to sell some art to you. Oh man, that wasn't even around back then. Nah, three years ago, that wasn't even a thing. That started like when Elon took over uh, Twitter. You have a pleasant personality. Well, thank you. I just know I'm a maniac. <laughs> I, I know I talk too much a lot of the time. And uh, <laughs> I don't think things through when I speak. So I'll just be rambling. I'll go, uh, 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 wolves, dogs, uh, fireballs, uh, hot dogs, hot dog water, uh, blacksmith, uh, needs, needs wood, uh, uh. <laughs> and I'll just start going like that and I realize that I'm talking too fast. <laughs> uh, so it's just illegible. <laughs> oh, and my mic was so bad too. And I had my webcam. Oh, man. Yeah, I have a, a DXLR right now. So <laughs> my stream webcam looks a lot better. Or my face cam, whatever it's called. Yeah, face cam. But goddamn, back then, I had no lights. <laughs> I had no stream lights. So everything was just gray. My old black, black background. My background used to be black, is what I tried to say. It was black curtains, so it looked like I was in a serial killer room. <laughs> Somebody told me that one day when I was playing um, Outer Worlds, uh, the the Obsidian RPG. That's like trying to rip, not rip off Fallout, but riff off Fallout. Um, <laughs> they said I looked like a, I had a kill room. <laughs> so I said, ah, you should probably change this. Outer Worlds was not fun? Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. I like you. I like you. You're great. You're you're a cool person. <laughs> I'm glad that you don't like that game I don't like. I'm really glad you don't like the game that I don't like. It's so linear and boring? Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only good thing about that game was it's one DLC and it was still kind of boring. It was the, the weird DLC, the murder. And it, it had a terrible boss fight. <laughs> and its plot went nowhere. So that was fun. But yeah, I don't know. Outer Worlds, and like its plot was so... I don't know. I'm not sure why so many people liked it. Um, I can tell you that right now, the opinion on that game has started, like, lessening in the past few years. The reason everybody liked Outer Worlds was because it was an Obsidian RPG that was in the vein of New Vegas, you know? They wanted to be New Vegas too, And when it wasn't, they kind of clung to that still. Everybody still wanted that. So they're like, oh, Outer Worlds 2 will be good. Outer Worlds 2 will be, like, a good RPG, you know? And I still think it could be a good RPG. I think Outer Worlds 2, I have hopes for that. I think it might be good. But... Like, I, f I feel like in the past few years, people realized that game was not that good. They had a weapon wheel of, like, 80 weapons. Like, you could fit, like, what, what 20 weapons? But each build only consisted of, like, four. Each build you could actually make in the game only had, like, four, we four weapons each. Um... And a lot of the uniques weren't even, like, unique, so. It was very weird. It was a very weird game. Um. But I don't know. It, it, it's... It's plot was also kind of dumb. <laughs> I don't know if, you've guys, if you guys have actually played, uh, like, all the way through that game. But its plot is extremely stupid. Like, extremely dumb. Never finished it. Um, 
the main issue of the game is the fact that they lost communications with Earth. Like the our, like our solar system, they lost communications. And they don't know what happens with all their like high tech stuff. They can't send a probe or anything. Um which I find to be a little bit ridiculous because there's a lot of high tech shit in that game. If you can't send a probe all the way to fucking Earth and explain what happened, I have no idea what you're doing. Um, and two, it's like it's like uh, there's not enough nourishment in the galaxy. I I I don't understand it myself. There's not enough nourishment in the galaxy. Like, we can't... Like, humanity can't live. We're gonna, like, burn ourselves out? Because we can't... grow food that has enough nutrients. But... That, that, like, I don't get it. <laughs> Like, uh, like it, it, it's a cool concept, but I don't think it really works, you know? It's, it's so weird. It's such a weird fucking game. And that's like the magical, like, giant, like, plot point of that game. Spoilers for like a five-year-old game. <laughs> Spoilers for a five-year-old game, I guess. But yeah. It's just not very good. Like... I don't know, and I don't really get how your character correlates to anything in it, you know? It, it, uh, it's so weird. What a weird-ass game. I hope they make the second one better. Um, I want them to be a little less, like, Rick and Morty with it as well. That was a primary issue I had with that game. Um, I felt like they wanted to be Rick and Morty a lot. And that kind of threw me off. I'm overestimating, overestimating my abilities to build this base I'm building. I just want to build a big house myself. I don't really want to build, like, a giant base because I feel like it's going to be torture. Grappling pull hook anchor. <gasps> you can make grappling points in this game? Wait, really? Whoa! They want me to make one, I think. Ghostly shield! Hell yeah! Sure. <laughs> I'll take ghostly shield. That seems really cool. Can I have that shield? <laughs> Which one? The new one? It's only level 10. What color is it? Oh, it's just the same. I guess it has a little bit more purple in it, I think. Um, I like the fire resistance. It's only like 10%, but it's not bad. I'm sure it'll help in a fire area, but I don't think there are any right now. Uh, all right, let's put that away. Good spot for copper. I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking the Mark of Samoth. I don't know if there were, there was copper up there. I think there might've been. I think there might have been a lot of copper up there. I'm not certain. But I also have a little copper spot here. Um, next to uh, the hidden hunting grounds. There's a little cave that you kind of like come out of. So there might be some there. I'm not certain. I just barely got 20 copper. I, I barely got enough. So. Um, felling axes and stuff. Copper axe. Pickaxes. Copper pickaxe. So wait, what's the difference? There's more durability. Working doesn't become a hassle because of bad equipment. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so I can make the pickaxe. Cool. I now have a cool pickaxe. There we go. I hope it's good. <laughs> I, I really hope it's good. Um, I guess I'll put this in the equipment. There we go. 
All right, copper pickaxe and scrappy axe. Been focusing on building my base, so a bunch of my leveling has come from mining clay. Really? Wow. I'm. You've been mining a lot of clay. <laughs> you've been mining a fuck ton of clay. Holy shit. That's a lot. <laughs> if you're leveling from that, fucking hell. You dug out a whole mountainside earlier. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. Uh, good job, man. Damn. Oh, by the way, you can get like glowy blocks. <laughs> Just so you know, you can get glowy blocks. I'm going to use these on like a wizard tower or something. Um, rough flint stone. Roof tiles. Oh, we actually have the roof tiles now for the clay. All right, cool. Um, copper block, fire bricks, half timbered block. Oh, that's why you have so much clay. You need 10? Yeah, that is, that's what I want to make my next like house out of, but fuck, that's a lot. People make it out of refined wood. I don't know. I like the city block. The city wall block is like castle um, texture. I kind of like that. Used to make sturdy walls. Maybe someday if I max out my flame, I'll make a giant wall around it. I feel like that'd be really cool. I feel like that would be really, really cool. Um... So wait, why does the dude want me to make a grappling hook spot? <laughs> it's kind of what I want to know. A fireplace for the farmer. Uh, lost in the shroud. All right, defeat the Volca Bra or Vuka Brawler. Let's go do that. Let's go kill that guy. Let's go beat his ass. Fuck yeah, motherfucker. I'm going to kick that fucker's teeth in. What if you could place those grapple spots without needing a base? Oh, that would be cool. That would actually be very nice if so. I doubt it, but... I would love that. Alright, Shroud Survival. Alright, let's go to the, the ceremony. Let's go fuck this guy up. Oh, I just realized I unlocked the chain lightning as well. The chain lightning upgrade. I'm gonna have to do that at some point. Bye, big man. Bye, ghostly mushroom woman. Goodbye, everybody. See ya. <laughs> Eat my ass. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. All right. Um, might as well get some of the shroom oil. Or shroom liquid. I feel like it should be shroom oil. I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Eat my shorts. Alright, there we go. Oh, that's another spire. Oh. Well shit, I didn't realize there was a spire here. He's still chasing me! What the fuck, dude? You're not even that hard to kill. Do we have to do this? Hey! Don't kick me! Dude, you gave me 15 experience. What the fuck? Why did you decide to do that? <laughs> you dumb fuck. like level five and he just won't let me go oh no the wizard outfit makes my ass show great good to know um was the shroom root or shroom root shroud root down there 
You look like Peter Pan. Yeah, I got told earlier I look like a farmer. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, where is it? All right, let's go chop some trees, motherfuckers. This looks so bad. <laughs> I can't wait till I get a cool, like, outfit. At least it looks better than the rags, but... Oh, man, they should have made it, like, red or, like, blue. I don't know. Anything? Was this an area I was supposed to be in? I'm shocked that this is an area that they didn't, like, make me go to. Um... Yeah, this is very weird. I'm level like 15 now, and this area is like level 5. Why did they have more over here besides just this one quest for the Vukka ceremony? It's just so odd. I don't care, I'll get hit by the spikes, I have healing. There we go. Garbage! Big surprise. Uh, salvage that. All right. Uh. Ow! <laughs> I wanted to teleport. All right. Uh, I guess let's just go up. I'm assuming there's three floors to each one of these. It seemed like there was three four floors in the first and second one. Why aren't these activating? Oh, they only activate when you go back. Or not. They just don't activate. <laughs> what? Why don't those activate? Oh, wait. How fast does this break it? Oh, my God. Whoa. Wow, that is good. Holy shit. Your favorite way to climb mountains. Oh, can you teleport up mountains in this game? Does it make it easier to, like, climb? God damn, that's a lot. Oh, grenades, yeah. I, I can't craft grenades. Can you craft grenades eventually? I know where they're, like, grenade spawn points, but... I don't want to, like, cheat all the time, you know? I just farming grenades. like 40 of them so you just keep using them to climb I guess that makes sense yeah you definitely get a lot of them they don't really help you in combat so they're best for blowing up walls and shit wait what is there another like thing that I missed um oh no okay this Oh, it opened a chest. Ah, that I don't need. <laughs> it opened a chest for a crappy item. I still haven't found better weapons. I really need better weapons. Um. Oh wait, is that the? Which one is that? Is this the one that goes up? You like the blink attack? Oh, the teleport explosion? Yeah, I need to get that. I really need to get that. Uh, bleed that. Okay. All right, we should be fine. Whee! It's like it doesn't matter if I get hurt or not. I have so much healing. I can just run through the lava. <laughs> like a fucking psychopath. Oh my god, this is definitely what would happen if I was a wizard. If I was a wizard that had like health regen like that, I would be a psychopath and run through lava. And just get hit by spikes constantly. If I'm just healing constantly, oh my god, yeah. I would not be giving a fuck. 
I know exactly how I am. Oh, there's a thing there that I can shoot. Ah, cool. I'm changing my dude's name to Rincewind. Oh yeah, that was from that book you guys were talking about, right? Yesterday? There's some book? Some character? In a book? That mana potion's been there for 500 years. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, I need to wait for my stamina. There we go. Subseries of the Discworld series. I, I have no idea what that is. Discworld, what is that? Is that a popular, like, series? A lot of honey here. Ow. <laughs> I love how I just keep, like, hurting myself in this game because I don't give a fuck. The low meadows are drenched in sickness, flooded with bile and bitterness. Fight back the shroud and unveil the peaceful glades lost beneath. These boundless wilds of untold beauty lie hidden under the... It, okay, okay. That's the peaceful meadows? I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Considered one of the best fantasy series out there. Oh, okay. Good to know. I need to read more books. <laughs> I haven't read books in years. Uh. Okay. I guess there's a house there that I can go to. I love this new glider, by the way. This new glider is so good. Like, holy shit, it's so quality. Man, it's great. Nice. <laughs> Just face plant the building and be fine. Perfect. Can't wait for wings? Oh, yeah, they're definitely going to make wings in this game, I feel like. They are totally going to do, like, the, the, like, angel demon wing thing in this game. Or a mushroom jetpack or something fucking weird. I can already tell. I can already tell it's gonna get weird. And I'm excited for it, I love weird. I wanna find like a, like a industrial like area. Eventually, like a weird like technology magic area. I feel like that'd be really cool. Another spark, okay. I think I need 10 sparks to upgrade my flame, and I need to get another, like... I need to kill a boss. I need to kill, like, a wisp dragon. Or a wisp worm. Which, you know, I'm kind of scared of that. I don't really want to do that. You need to kill Steve? Oh, man. I killed Steve five years ago. Nothing is more relaxing than killing Steve. Why are you killing wisps? <laughs> um, because I want to. The voices tell me so. Voices say you're next on the list. <laughs> on the board! Everybody shut up. Everybody shut the fuck up. Don't talk. Don't look at me. Don't talk. Blood West is getting an expansion. Ah, I'm so fucking pumped. <laughs> I'm so fucking pumped. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited. God damn it. I'm so excited. Oh, I love Blood West. I don't really like its ending as much, but god, I love Blood West. What happened? Nothing. <laughs> I was just excited. Uh, Blood West is getting an expansion. It's a it's a game. It's like a like a stealth um kind of instant sim type game. 
where you're like going through uh an undead like zombie um western area you play as an undead and you have to like banish other undead like monsters and stuff like that it's really cool i love it it's really really cool i love that game it's so much fun to just like stealth around and like kill shit and like manage your inventory and all the items and stuff oh man getting so many items oh i love items oh that seems like an evil mushroom ah fuck that made me jump god damn it the dogs and the rats in this fucking game startle me more than anything else ever they're so fucking quiet I thought it was something important. No, there's never anything important on the stream. <laughs> Let me tell you that right now. There's never anything important. Uh. So wait, there's a dude dying down there, actually. Okay, something I would love to see out of this game is um. I want to see the water eventually come back. I wonder if that's just, like, a filler. If the, like, mycelia, like, red stuff is, like, a filler for later. When they actually add, like, water to the game, but... There's, like, no water. I'd love to make, like, a boat or something, you know? I think that'd be really cool. I don't know. What the fuck was that sound, man? This isn't Valheim? No, I don't want Valheim. I just want water. I want to, like, be able to walk through a stream. No, I don't want to, like, play Valheim in this game. I, I just want water. And, like, cross a lake. I want to cross a lake or something, or, like, whatever. That's it. That's all I want. I just want to, like, look at water. I want to, like, I don't know. Push a guy into water and watch him die. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. the main reason I want to push a, an enemy into water and watch them die <laughs> uh. all right ancient spire low meadows fast travel yeah why was there so little in this area it feels really strange that there was so little down here Maybe they'll add more quests that are spread out down this way. Oh, I do see an elixir well over there. That one does look evil. Uh, I'm assuming this is where the camp is. This, like, weird circle. Yup. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> What's going on, dude? Man, what a fucking nightmare. Some crazy maniac asshole just flies in from the sky and shoots you with a fireball. Uh, the strength of the Volca. The Volca camp is home to a warrior cult who take pride in violence and destruction. I wish I could get a better look, uh, but I fear that would be the end of me. Time to time they gather on this hillside and wage gladiator battles where the lone survivor is crowned. Uh, that's what I've come to call the Brawler. These vicious hulking enemies have incredible fighting prowess and gather their strength from Stone Pillar, their kind warships. If you're insane enough to go up against one of these Brawlers, I suggest you try one of these... Tusk buffs yourself. The fuck is a tusk buff? I'll leave you the drink of the stretch. Ow. Yeah. 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 All right, there we go. Um, how do I get a tusk buff? Stone pillar. Tusk buff. Like what? Vulca ceremony heal. Vulca brawler. Oh, he big. Oh. Oh, that's mud. It's probably shit, actually. Never mind. It's not mud. Okay, this guy's probably gonna die instantly. My fireballs is me. Oh no, no. Oh wow. Okay, he's actually strong. Never mind. Uh, fireball two. Ah! 
not that did damage. Not the greatest damage, but it's doing damage. Critical as well. Wow, okay. Might as well just keep using Fireball too. God, I love this mana ring that I got. The 20% mana speed is like crazy. Eat shit, nerd. <laughs> Get fucked, nerd. All right, Vulca Brawler head. All right, cool. Uh, that was fun. I wish I fought him earlier. Actually, no, I don't. I don't wish that because he would have killed me. <laughs> he would have wrecked me. Uh, I'm good. I'm glad I fought him when I did. Never mind. Oh, yeah, the tusk buff. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about this. Yeah, I've gotten one of these before. Look, R. Um, is that it? Is this tar? Is that tar or mud? Or shit? Well, it's definitely mud. Might as well get some dirt. <laughs> this is dumb. I'm literally just getting a ton of dirt. <laughs> Why is this so funny to me? Ew, look at the texture. <laughs> ah! Oh, that green is bad. Ugh. I don't think that's mud. All right, so. What does the head even get me? That's what I want to know. I have no idea, like, what... It's like, don't use it for the flame. Must remain dangerous since they dull, dull after death. Never stumble. Okay. Yeah, give me a level 9. That is very weak. Uh... Yeah. I think the heads are for trophies, just like, uh, Valheim. Oh, okay. What's going on, Bob? Welcome to the stream. What's going on? How you doing? Yeah, I've noticed that some of the heads are for, like, upgrading your fire, and some are... I, I think that, yeah, I could make the Thunder uh, guy as a trophy, right? I'll have to go check that. I never made a trophy yet, which I probably should do, because that's going to boost my uh, stuff. Oh, wait, there's Shroud over here. Before we do that, let's go get the Shroud. I'm going to get another skill point. All right. Ooh, I need to get double jump at some point as well. Oh, wait, can I not go this way? Ooh, wait, what's down here? Thunder Dude is for a trophy, yeah. I was hoping they'd be able to make boss weapons in this game. I was really, really hoping for boss weapons at some point. But I think there's only the default crafting for weapons. Which is fine, it's fine. Oh, hi. Thank you for the pit. How much damage? What happens if I sit in it? Okay, no. Alright, never mind. <laughs> I thought that would do a lot more damage. Uh. Oh yeah, no worries on your spelling. It was fine. I understood what you meant. Hi. Can you come down here? like throwing stuff at me. Thank you. Uh, okay. I guess I should see if they have any amber, right? Yeah, they are re resin. Sorry, not amber. Amber is what I mine, right? That's the, the stuff in the one shroud. There we go. Pet finger syndrome, yeah. Don't worry, I, I always fuck up my typing. I'm really bad at typing, actually. <laughs> I had a typing class when I was a kid and I just fucked off during it. <laughs> I didn't I didn't even like pay attention. I, I didn't care. I, I really didn't care. 
there were kids that were like always trying to compete with each other and here I was just like doing normal typing I was just like eh whatever I, I just I, I don't have the energy for this <laughs> so I type like a shithead now I, I type terribly oh god <laughs> I always have to edit my discord messages god eh that's what you get <laughs> that's what you get for being dumb I wish I could touch type would cut down to the typos tremendously yeah Wait, is this like evil shroud? Like, like real evil shroud? What's going on here over here? Oh, dog. Hi. What are you doing on top of the mushrooms? Stop that. I don't think I can go down here. Uh, no, don't you knock me into that red. I think that's the instant death shroud. What level are you? I'm level 15. Or, no, 16 now. Yeah, I'm level 16. I just never went over to this area. Um, the game didn't really take me over this way. <laughs> so, I didn't know it was over here at the time. Get me up. Nope, never mind. Yeah, um... Oh, did I get perks for killing him? Wait, what? Or did I level up again? No, I'm still level 16. Maybe I got perks for killing him. Because he was a boss? I'm, uh, I'm confused. I Oh, no, I never used my points from last time. Never mind. Um, I could get Counter-Strike. 20% ch chance to reflect 50% of the damage back to the attacker's fire damage. And trigger other skills. Okay. Um. Hmm. I think I want to go down the the thunder. Oh my god! Did you get the hand spindle for the hunter yet? Yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah, I got the hand spindle. Um. That's how I have my mage clothes. Actually, <laughs> I it took forever to get it. But I finally got it, and now I look like a clown. Holy crap, so many spiders? Yeah, I just sat back and I just casted constantly. It was insane. Um, I stood up on the little entrance and I just watched them all crawl up towards me. <laughs> I say fireballed them. Hey, quick question. Oh, oh, you have a question. Yeah, what's going on? What's up? Alright, yeah, so I'm going to go into lightning next. Because I do like chain lightning. I as a wizard charge in with a sword. I do that sometimes, just not much. Especially now that my wand's upgraded. If I have a fire staff, can I load an ice spell into it? Um, Your spells can be on any staff, I'm pretty sure. Wait one second, let me kill this guy. All right, so what is going on? I thought I killed this dude. Oh, he blocked, never mind. All right, yeah, so when you aim with your spells, or your uh, staff, he's not dying. I don't know what's going on. Um, you can actually scroll through all your spells. So you can load any spell you want. There you go. So, um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> 35 base damage, 21 shroud magic damage, and 20% retaliation? Oh, fuck, that sounds good. I want that sword. I want to use some dark magic eventually. I love that. Why does the lightning only target chains? Uh, because it was made in the t uh, 2000s when people still wore wallet chains. It was really, really mad about that. Yeah, the, the lightning really doesn't like wallet chains, just so you know. So, you know, don't, don't wear a wallet chain around it. It'll, uh, it'll zap you. <laughs> because it's into BDSM. I don't, I don't know about that one. Uh, I don't think that's the cause. <laughs> I don't think it's that one. Oh, God. They loot. Yeah, resin. There we go. Oh, and water. I need to start taking water from dudes as well. So I do need that for my uh, farming. 
There we go. Yeah, these guys are really good for resin. That is one thing I do know about them. Uh, why are most of the ones I find fire and not ice? Is one better than the other? I actually have both. Um, they're the same. It's just they have different elements. Uh, my my fire wand is stronger right now. Um, even though it's a less rare one, uh, which we call it. Um, it's just newer. Uh, level fourteen. And this one's level seven. I haven't found a good uh, frost wand yet. Yeah, enemies different resist elements differently. So, like, if you see bandits and stuff, they resist uh, fire and they hate ice. Ice hurts them really hard. Yeah, and wolves take damage from fire. So it's really good just to swap between the two. For whatever you need. And right now you'll see me using, um, like the long range ice spell. Like I use this a lot because it's infinite. Um, I got, I did a quest for an infinite one. Cause I don't want to waste all my like good spells. I, I can't really craft a lot of them yet. Um, so yeah, there you go. All right. So we're not going to go get that shroud. I think it's kind of hard to get, uh, South Caravan. I need to go to that southern caravan and see what's going on there at some point. Let's go back home. Return a lot of stuff. We'll put stuff away. We'll go try to find copper. Sorry, I coughed. I'm about to cough, actually. Sorry about that. All right, so. Yeah, put the bandages away. I don't need those. Uh, all right, what can I put away here? Here we go. I wish you could actually change the color of your outfit. So, um, it'd be a lot easier for multiplayer. I feel like that'd be really useful. Um, if you could dye your outfits, like, a certain color. Um, just so, like, you could kind of tell from a distance who somebody is if you both want to play, like, mages and stuff. And so I can color myself purple. So I want to be a purple mage. You know? <laughs> I just want purple. I have to say mining clay is a more peaceful way of leveling. These spiders are unsettling. Uh, I feel like I would go crazy if I kept mining like stuff to level up. <laughs> I feel like that would make me go insane. Oh my god. I got start hearing like scratching in my ears or something. Uh, can I only hold four resin or forty resin? Oh no, okay, there we go. You're already crazy, yeah. You see clay in your sleep? <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? I see them in my sleep. I have to mine in my sleep. What's the shield do? Oh yeah, that has more health. Yeah, I forgot about that. Completely forgot about that. Uh, oh, repair. All right, there we go. And what does Mr. Wizard have to tell me about my spells? Chain lightning takes copper bars. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Um, and he only gives me 20. Oh, this fuck. <laughs> this fucker. Oh, God. All right. Uh, good to know. So I need tar and I need copper bars. Alright, well, I need to go mining for copper, I guess. Um, I'll see how much I can get out of this one over here. And then we'll go and try to do the, uh, the mines. I'm assuming that's where you're supposed to get all your copper. Don't go crazy? Oh, uh, I don't know why, but I just started thinking of, uh, Don't go breaking my heart. I couldn't if I tried. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that. I can't really sing like that. I don't know. Don't go breaking my heart. Yeah, I can't I can't really do that one. Majestic voice. <laughs> you wish. I wish. I wish I could sing really well. 
I want to take, like, lessons someday or something. I don't know. Or practice more. I don't really have time to practice or anything. I can sing, like, old stuff. Like, I can sing, um... <laughs> well, everybody in my stream, if you're, like, a regular, you know I can sing, uh, fucking songs from Willy Wonka. <laughs> I've got a golden ticket. <laughs> I could do that. I never thought life could be anything but catastrophe. I've got a golden ticket. God. Oompa Loompa? No, I can't sing those songs. <laughs> Holy fuck. No. God damn. A lot of those songs are just like talking too. That's something that I kind of noticed out of those. Uh, a lot of it just seems like like talking. It's weird. It's very odd. It's like talking to a beat. More so than actually like singing. It's very weird. Uh, all right. How much copper do we have now? 28. Okay, I think this pickaxe is giving me more, like, ore for my, like, buck here. <laughs> more ore for my buck. Yeah, so if you want, um, to be mining clay, I think you really need uh, a copper pickaxe. Let me tell you. Oh god. <laughs> oompa loompa oompa dee doo. <laughs> Boy, have I got a recommendation for you. Alright, there we go. Ooh, I wonder if I can get a lot of amber as well. I know I'm gonna need amber for my spells and stuff. And the flame as well. Oh god, upgrading that flame's gonna be a pain in the cock. A huge pain in the cock. Blacksmith makes the best boots. <laughs> Wait, what? Are a lot of them healing? I'm assuming he gives you a plus two, like, healing. On, uh... The next rank up. A plus two regen boots? Yeah. Well, right now, since I have the Waters of Life, or whatever it's called, I don't need to worry about regen. And any time I take a hit, <laughs> it just, like, boosts my health bar back up to full immediately. I will tell you, if you're playing mage, and you're like seriously playing mage, this ring, what is it? The ring of rapacity. Uh, minus 20% mana, but plus 20% mana regen is fucking quality. I will say, it is fucking quality. Very, very good, uh, very, very good. The regen is just crazy on it, it's insane. Play more of a battle mage instead of a wizard, yeah. I would say I would like this outfit. Um. So no staff here, just the wand. Oh, really? Okay, interesting. I don't know. I feel like I would use the the staff as like a long range, instead of a bow. If you're doing a battle mage. And now that sword, yeah, that sword seems really good. I can't wait to find more, like, unique swords and stuff like that. Um, because we found this one. This Hail Scourge. This is, like, a unique sword that we found in a, like, tomb. Um, or in somebody's grave. It was, like, a quest. For it, but... I don't know. I want more. I would like more unique weapons in this game. I feel like that'd be, like, really cool. It'd make me a little bit happier. Yeah, I remember when I found that one? Yeah. It was just, uh, the other day. It was, like... What, Wednesday? It's like Wednesday, right? I think it was Wednesday. Oh, that wine is good. That wine is like too good, though. No, I have chugged an entire bottle of wine on stream. I did that during like Halo 1. Uh, <laughs> I hated Halo 1 so fucking much. That I chugged an entire bottle of wine because I got so fucking mad. <laughs> no, it was like half the bottle. 
or like 70% or something. But I remember saying, I need wine. And I got up <laughs> and I popped the cork and just chugged it. Uh, oh God, I, yeah, that's one thing about me. I'm sorry if you like Halo, but I hate Halo 1. <laughs> Halo 1 is like one of my most rage inducing games that I played on stream. Oh god, that game made me want to die. <laughs> that game me that game made me want to die so bad. I'm going to use some flax plants. Halo poo. Well, I need to play Halo 2 soon. I I do want to play Halo 2 and see if I like it more. I'm interested. I, I, I hope it's better. Because I know a lot of people like it, and I don't want to make everybody sad still. Oh, you meant Halo is poo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been like a shooter guy, like a first-person shooter guy. So I never played like a lot of Halo or anything growing up. I, I played a little bit of like Call of Duty Black Ops 2, but I mostly played like zombies in Black Ops 1. I wasn't a multiplayer guy. I, I don't like, I'm not a fan of multiplayer as much. I much prefer like single player games. Um, or I prefer like, um, like a, a co-op game, like this game. Like I would love playing this game with friends or like chat or something, you know, when they fix the uh, quest stuff. Is there a way to make a well? I don't actually know. I don't think there is so far. That might be something they have to add later. I haven't gone into the build menu in a while either. I should probably do that at some point. Ah, there we go. All items repaired. So yeah, that is a really easy copper spot to get a decent bit of copper. Now that I have a copper pickaxe instead of a crappy one. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh wait, are these done? Oh, these are all done. Okay, cool. <laughs> I will warn you, if you ever let me join, my base has a lot of holes in it because I always accidentally throw grenades at it. Well, my thing is I always have my grenades on a separate bar for my combat, and I'm almost always on my combat bar. My grenades are here, like on this one, um, with all my potions and buffs and stuff like that, and my pickaxe and axe. So everything combat related is like here. Active stuff that I have to use in a fight is on my first bar. I always tab out of game, and when I click it, somehow always throws grenades. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty funny, I will say. That is pretty fucking funny. Where did I put all those water bottles? Where is that? I know I have water in here somewhere as a stack. Oh, fuck. I didn't want that. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I have like 80 grenades. Holy shit. Um, yeah, that's a lot. I didn't realize how many I had. Yeah, where's that water bottle, actually? I know I have them here somewhere. They have to be. Oh, there they are. I have 87 of them. Okay, cool. I'm just going to put a lot of them in my uh, thing. If I ever just need to make potions, um, I'll split. How about that? All right, there we go. All right, cool. And... Here we go. We'll split this stack twice. There we go. All right, cool. We have a lot of stuff being made. And then just put the water back in. Because I will need that for potions eventually. Um. God, where should I go? What should I do? I have a lot of stuff that I have to do anyways. Um, there's that shroud or elixir well here. I think I'm going to do this and get more perk points. 
God, getting perk points in this game is kind of addictive. I'm not gonna lie. I love getting perk points in this game. <laughs> I, I really do love it. Oh, wait, I need to get more chain lightning and stuff. Fuck. By the way, do any of you guys know where to get tar at? I, I don't know how to get tar. I need that for my fireballs and stuff. Ugh, my back. You do know? Okay, cool. Can you let me know? <laughs> Please? Overcook food to discover it? Wait, really? What? Really? I, I've never overcooked any food. No, I didn't want to eat that. Oh, I have to... Oh, I see. I have to actually, like, get raw food and do it. All right. Is that it? Oh! <laughs> well, okay. I, I didn't... I, I wish I would have known that earlier because I could have gotten Fireball 1 a lot earlier. Oh, that's kind of embarrassing. I didn't know about that. You can now make it in the kiln? Oh, I can? <gasps> oh, I can make wood acid now. I didn't even know that. Wood acid. What the fuck is wood acid? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what that is. Alright, uh... Alright, let's get a bunch of wood. There we go. Drink it and let me know. <laughs> I'm good. I don't think I'm gonna eat that. All right, there we go. Yeah, all of them take the same recipe, so that's not too bad. Oh my God. Oh, 20 tar is 30 logs. Okay, cool. Good to know, good to know. Um. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these raw, not the raw game, but the, the big game, whatever it is, the grilled game. Because it's buff is like half as long as the uh, the cooked wolf meat. I know it's like one better, but it, ha it being half as long doesn't feel right. I don't know what to feel about that. Uh, oh, wait, uh, wait, copper, copper, copper. I completely forgot. Yeah, there we go. We got 10. Okay, cool. Uh, let me make that axe. A copper axe. Cool. Um, what kinds of shields can we make now? Hero shield. Okay, cool. One-handed weapons. Enhanced spike club. <laughs> I mean... I guess. I don't know why you would want to make that. I feel like you would find better weapons already. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Uh, copper fence. Decorative object to design to beautify your home. They really want me to make these. I guess I'll make one of each. Um, I make the tank set if the adventure set is the same thing for less materials. I don't think it's the same thing. Is it? I don't think it's exactly the same. Because I know the mage set was not the same as the healer set. All right, adventure helmet is uh, melee crit chance, 120 health, three melee damage, 45 health, and two regen. And the tank is six parry power, 12 bonus physical armor points, uh, two block, 45 health, and two health regen. Hey, what do you mean? Oh, you're talking about their physical. No, the difference is the, the, the bonuses is what you want to look at. Yeah, the, the differences is the, the bonuses. Yeah, because the, the adventurer, it's showing all the same for you. Oh, I have no idea then. That, maybe that's a bug. 
Um, yeah, the adventurer set seems to be more of like a tanky, well, not tanky, but health uh, focused build. And tank sets more about blocking and parrying. And taking less damage. I feel like the adventurer set's better, though. That just kind of looks like a better set overall. Hmm. I was showing 120 health on the chest. Really? Weird. Oh, uh, is your game fully updated? Maybe my game's not fully updated. I don't know. I'm not sure. Wait, really? You can place these wherever? Really? Okay, you can place these wherever. I mean, that's pretty good. Huh. What are the stats for the boots and pants of those sets? Okay. I think they're both health regen. I think that is one trait that they share. They're both health, health regen. Um... Uh... Uh, boots are health regen on the tank. And boots are health regen on the adventurer. And the tank trousers are 45 health, and the adventurer trousers are 45. So these two do share the same. It's the chest that's different, and I think it's the gaunt- I think it's the first three that are different. Um. So your top three are different, and your bottom two are the same. Kind of. As far as I can tell. So make the boots and pants from the adventurer for, for cheaper. See, you could do that, or you could be a maniac like me and waste the resources just because you want a like, similar set. <laughs> Which, that's me. I'm the maniac. I'm fucking crazy. I want that, like, full set. <laughs> you know? I'm just fucking nuts. I don't know why. Uh, okay, there we go. So that's gonna be making this, uh, flax. I don't know what else I need flax for. And I'm crazy for mining a literal mountain of clay, yeah. Yeah, you're definitely crazy for that. <laughs> I will, I will admit, you got me beat. You got my ass beat, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, chain heal is chamomile, okay, cool. Interesting, okay, cool. So it is like healing that way. Okay, weird. Um, I think I should get more chain lightning. Oh, I need to go get Flintstone. Flintstone, meet the Flintstones. Uh, let me make one more tar as well. There we go. I saw you didn't have your plants planted on fertile soil. Pretty sure you get more of a return if you're using fertile soil. How do you get, use fertile soil? I didn't know that was a thing. How do you use fertile soil? Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Um, no, don't eat the bad one. What the fuck are you doing, dumbass? Put it down with the hammer, I think. Oh, really? Okay. I didn't know I had unlocked that. Ah, oh, there we go, tar. Um, let's go make another fireball. Or from your action bar? Really? Alright, I'm out of amber now. I need to go get more amber eventually. Yeah, look at that food poisoning on me. I'm like so farty looking. Alright, uh, put these bars away. Fireball 2. I'm so excited for that. I should put away my Fireball 1, honestly. Um, I guess I'll put it in here. I don't really have a chest for magic. Because all my magic's been on me. Is that Fireball 2? That's Fireball 1. Alright, put that away. Um, I guess I'll put away Chain Heal because I'm not really playing with people right now. 
And then I have the Prayer of the Flame Scroll. Plus 20% magic damage, plus one minute in the Shroud. So the cool thing is, I'm thinking I could stack that with the uh, the other one. To kill the uh, dragon. Wish the building blocks were usable from chests. Don't want to keep changing out my inventory when I come to build. Yeah, I'm hoping they patch that eventually. I'm really, really hoping they patch that eventually. That would be very nice. I would love that. Oh, um, where is my building? Oh, my building camera's over here. There we go. How do you make fertile soil again? Terrain. Okay, maybe that's not how you do that. Uh, farmer lady. Oh, yeah, I forgot she had an entire, like, building thing. Bone meal and dirt. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. Oh, farm soil. Is that what you're talking about? I'm assuming you're talking about farm soil. Bye. Okay. Um... Uh... Well, that's not how I do it. Um, maybe I do need the hammer. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um. Uh. All right. <laughs> Use the disc. Oh, there we go. That's much bigger. I guess I can put fences around it, can't I? Eventually. There we go. Look at that. Well, that's really cool. I didn't know about this. Wow. Oh, wait, not that. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Why is it all fucked now? All right. Well, I kind of fucked that up. <laughs> Oops. All right. Well, that's my bad. Alright, there we go. Ew, it sounds like dirty. <laughs> it sounds so gross. I hate that. Alright, I'll put the farm soil in here then. There we go, and... Where did I end up putting those plants? Did I, did I even move them? Oh no, I didn't make any yet, did I? All right, there we go. And then chamomile. Um, I'll let those all work out. Not a free space. What do you mean? Wow, look at that. Um, I'll start making it more dense. Yeah, it's kind of my bad. There we go. All right. Uh, I need some light back here. <laughs> I need to put like a light source. All right, make me something, buddy. Illumination. Uh. Yeah, sure, make that. I don't even know what this looks like. Oh, that's like barely good. <laughs> Uh, all the light sources in this game are kind of bad. I do hope they eventually get up. I'm, I don't care about these plants anymore. I'm just going to fucking plant them. <laughs> I don't care. It's taking too much time. I mean, that's fine. It's not the best, but it's whatever. The illumination blocks are the best lights, I think. Really? Okay. I need to go mine a bunch of those then. At some point. I don't know when I'm going to do that, but... I'll have to eventually. 
Um. Okay, cool. Uh, I can make a better bed, but I think I'm gonna hold off on that. It'll give me an extra minute of rested, so I'm not too worried. Um. All right, what's our next quest? I need to go to this elixir well. We have extra chain lightning. We have a lot of stuff. Um. Let's go do it. Fuck it. I'm excited. I like playing as a wizard in this game. I'm so happy there's finally a survival game where you can use magic. Listen, come do my quest for me while I build my castle. <laughs> I would if the, uh, if the, uh, the quest, like, didn't, uh, fuck up, you know? Because it wouldn't it just give me all your items and stuff that you get from them? That wouldn't be too good. I'll have a comfort level of 500 when this is done. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm wrecking these animals now. Alright, I am so happy that upgrading the wand really did make them better. I was really worried about that. Get wrecked, stupid animals! Animal wrecker, uh, home wrecker, yeah. God. I'm wrecking animal homes one day at a time. One fireball at a time. Oh, I should probably use my shroudy thing. My shroudy potion. Oh, whatever. I'll just use it when I'm there. Bell Thunderbite. What the fuck? I guess that's the boss. <laughs> I guess we found out there's a boss underneath. Oh, he hurts. Oh, that guy is a real shield. Oh, I've never seen one of these dudes before. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, that guy was cool. Nope. <laughs> nope. Time for blade. God, I really hope they add heavy attacks to this game. Um, That's one thing I hope for. I want them to make the combat a little more in-depth by adding heavy attacks and... I don't know, like stun meters, maybe? Better than just, like, hitting dudes until they get stunned. My son Jasper claims he was visited by a dark figure in the dark of night. At first I took this for a child's dream, but then if not a fortnight later, I myself suffered a similar manifestation. What's so real, a cloaked figure hovering and manifesting in my mind the word, or one word, dig. I know there's the stun meter, but I mean, like, um... Not stun meters when it... What's the word for it? Um, Poise. I want there to be poise. I, I feel like you get stunned a lot more than the enemies do in this game. Like, there's some enemies that'll just, like, stun lock you. And... It, I don't know. You can't really do that to them. It feels very weird. Feels very weird. There we go. Let's go fuck this guy up. You can though, can you? I don't know. When I was fighting dudes that had the dual weapons, I feel like they were stunning me a lot easier than I was stunning them. Different classes have different stuff. Okay. Good to know. I was using melee originally in this game. Just because there's like barely any magic when you start. I guess it would have been better to use, <laughs> to uh, burn some food and figure out where tar came from <laughs> earlier in the game. I'm a lowly wizard, yeah. Yeah, I just snipe dudes. I snipe dudes and I, I don't know, I read books at them. <laughs> I'm going to read a book at you, dude. All right, there we go. Do they have dual weapons in this game? I don't think they're like dual weapons, are there? You, 
can't actually use the dual blades yourself, right? I feel like that would be a nice touch. Ow! Who the fuck shot me? What the fuck, dude? There we go. Who shoot? Oh, it's that guy. Well, I can shoot a fireball at you. And insta-kill you. Holy shit, okay. Wizard chest. <gasps> Wait, how cool does that look? Oh, thank you for the follow, James. I do appreciate it. That wizard chest looks kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Um, what is that? It doesn't do anything, though. It doesn't give me any, like, bonuses, which is sad. Uh, that's very sad. Ooh, naked. Oh, whoa, I look like a wizard now. I don't look like a farmer. <laughs> My magic kind of sucks, but whatever. Who fucking cares? I'll see how I like it. Um... Where's the way to the mushroom, actually? That's what I want to know. Barbarian has some stuff that can stun enemies like crazy. There's melee ability that you can use if you're a fist fighter that auto stuns enemies. Really? Okay, cool. I do know there's Begone. I do need to get Begone eventually. Wait, where is the, like, thing at? Um... Hmm. Begone is the one fist fighter stuff. Okay, cool. The trickster, right? All right, here we go. Now this wizard gear actually looks really cool. I wish I had a mana regen buff on it, actually. Uh, that is bombs. <laughs> that is a whole shit ton of bombs. Wow. All right, good to know. Where? I need to get to the shroom. Ow. Well, that's not gonna help me. There we go. Oh my god, it's all the way up there. What the fuck? I'm just gonna run there at this point. Like, fuck. There's so many things I gotta do. Give me the hero shield. I don't care. Bye. <laughs> Fell Thunderbite. Here we go. Alright, fight me. Champion. There we go. Oh my god. Look at his health. <laughs> well There we go <laughs> Um Yeah, that was good I killed him pretty quick <laughs> Whoa, that's an evil death pit Okay, cool Alright, well, uh, how fast does the, does the flex grow on that, actually? I know you said it was faster, but how much faster? Alright, there we go. Alright. Ow. I wonder if there's only armor sets that are exclusive to chests, because I think I found two wizard pieces or three wizard pieces now. And it has a lot more armor. Oh, no, it doesn't. It has similar armor. There's just no boost on it. Fuck. I love how it looks, though. It looks great. I feel like a real wizard when I wear this. Hmm, what a shame. Well, that's kind of sad. Whatever. Uh, is that a golden chest? It is a golden chest. Yo, what is this? 
Guillotine. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> I don't need that. I think this stuff in chests just looks much better. Stats seem the same to me. Yeah. I, I have found random buffs on them as well. Like, I found night gear with, like, uh, wizard enchantments on them. You found arrows in gold chest? Oh, yeah, that's not good. That is definitely not good. All right, how many perks did I get out of that? I'm assuming three. Yeah, there we go, all the way up to four. Uh, lightning? There we go, we have maxed out lightning. All of our skills have maxed out, like, uh, damage buff. Or elements. So I'm very happy about that. Then we have to, oh, we still have to do the shroud stuff, but I haven't seen any shroud spells. I don't know where we get those from. I'm assuming there's something eventually. I hope it's going to be good. Like a chunky spell or like maybe a shotgun type, uh, type spell. That'd be very nice. Um. God, what way do I want to go? Let's look at our journal. I haven't been doing any quests. Need a fancy stone block. Do you know where one is? Oh, uh, what do you mean by fancy stone block? Like a castle wall? It's like the fanciest block I have that's stone. And as far as I remember, I think it's on the Fawn Song frontier. It's like all the way back behind the castle thing. There's like a tower on it, and then like behind the tower, there's a silver chest with the, the building. Oh, you have castle wall? You have, oh, okay, I don't have castle wall. I only have city wall. Unfortunately, I don't have what you're looking for. I do apologize. We're taking Glenwood's End, large town in the far reaches of the Revelwood. Find the city to explore it. Uh, Go to the hunter camp, obelisk research. Yeah. Fireplace for the farmer. The beard material the flame keeps and such are made of? Oh, I have no idea. I, I don't know if you can make that. I'm assuming you can, but I have no idea where, the where that would be. Maybe a quest, like, endgame? I feel like that would be a later quest, right? That the guy would give you. Like he was experimenting with it or something. Okay, lost in the shroud. A crucial investigation. Oh, that's for Glenwood's End, okay. Um, actually, let's go here. Yeah. Let's go. Let us go. I'm hoping that you can make the wizard armor eventually. So I'm just, I just want like a buff on it. Whether it be mana regen or mana uh, pool upgrade. All right, so. Uh, what did I get? A Nightwind bow does shroud magic damage. Whoa. What's that look like? Whoa, it looks cool. Looks, looks kind of like a Daedric bow. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, delete dirt. I don't need dirt. All right, so. By the way, do you know if they have more infinite magic, um, uh, infinite magic spells? Or is there only the ice one? Daedric Bow, are you one of those people? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> the people that played Skyrim and like Oblivion and stuff? Yeah, I've, I've played Elder Scrolls games. <laughs> What do you mean? Is that what you're talking about? I played Oblivion on stream and it was one of the funniest fucking like games I've ever played in my life. Oh, a Daedric Worshipper. Oh, no, 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 not, not me. Uh, uh, no, mm, uh, no, 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 no. I worship, uh, Stendar. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, Stendar all the way. Yep, yep. 
by Stendar's grace, you know, you know, I, I worship Stendar every night. I got my amulet of Stendar on, you know, you know, uh, you know, love the man, love the guy, big guy up there, Stendar, you know, <laughs> you know, everybody loves Stendar. <laughs> Praise Maroon Stagon. <laughs> I'm such a fucking nerd. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, so where do I have to go? I have to go get a shroud, don't I? I have a few shrouds that I have to get, don't I? Yeah, there's one down here, too. Oh, fuck. I guess we'll go up and get that one. And then we'll go around the other way. Um, so I'm gonna be honest. If you're a tank, why would you not... Okay, uh, like, let's be real here. If you're a tank, why would you not just get, um... Why would you not just get water aura and waters of life? Like, I know it's a little bit of an investment, but this is such, like, good health regen that it's insane. I guess because it's based off int? But even then, you could get some decent int by doing this stuff. I don't know. It just seems really strong. It seems incredibly strong. There's a skill point cap? Oh, there is. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know how high that would be. If I was a tank, I would fire shells and be very slow. Fire shells? Or spells? Alright, uh... Not sure what that cap is. They might not even, like, have the max cap in the game right now. I'm assuming later on they might expand the cap. Because if they're going to add more areas and stuff, if we're only seeing one third of the map right now, there's no way you can hit cap, like the real cap of the game right now. There's absolutely no way. 25 is the cap right now for levels? Okay, good to know. Still though, that's pretty decent. I really wonder how big this game's gonna get. Like, how in-depth is this game going to get? I know you said one-third of the map right now, but... Um... And that's just for full release, right? So this is still early access. So I'm wondering if they're going to do, like, DLC and stuff eventually. That'll be interesting. Uh... There's an obelisk over here. Let's go do that, actually. This game really wants me to, like, see obelisks and stuff. Stuff like that. Oh, well. Alright. Oh, okay, never mind. Um... Advanced glider. Oh, yeah, the advanced glider is really good. I didn't know if that was one up for mine. <laughs> but yeah, the advanced glider is really, really good. I do recommend it. Um, How am I going to get to that obelisk? That's what I want to know. I know I'm going on like a weird little detour here. I wanted to go to the other way, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, Yeah, the Mark of Sameth. And, hmm. Grenades? I only have 20 grenades on me right now. Oh, wow, look at all that clay. You could mine that for hours. <laughs> Wait, is that clay or is that copper? Oh, that's copper. Is the other one clay? Oh, no, that's copper. Oh, yeah, this is all copper. Yeah, I was right. Okay. Well, I don't know. The textures get fucked up, and I can't tell. <laughs> That's one thing I don't like about this game, is the textures kind of get, like, a little fucky. 
at times. They refuse to load. It's very weird. I don't know if that's an issue with me or what. I tried lowering settings and it doesn't seem to do much. Oh yeah, these are the punchy guys. That hit really hard. Trust me, I know clay from copper. <laughs> I guess you would, yeah, if you're mining uh, clay for hours. Oh, they even the drink at the uh, stretch was. Oh. My back. Oh, my shoulder just popped. Ooh. How do I get a shroud sack? Uh, you have to kill the blue plants. And the shroud, the ones that spit. Outside of the shroud, they're like orange, and inside the shroud, they're blue. You have to kill those guys. Because they're the, the, the poison... Uh, poison sacks and shroud sacks. Um... It's kind of weird how there's just little bouts of shroud everywhere. I don't know what to feel about that. Sometimes it's cool, but then sometimes it's like such a small area that like, why? <laughs> why is this here? Uh, this way. All right. Every time I fought them, they uh, they die but continue to attack me, and I can't kill them again. They leave no corpse, just an invincible plant that won't stop attacking. Really? Maybe you need to re like restart your game. That's all I could think of is like restarting your game might help. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, I don't need these. Delete that. You've restored multiple times through the day already? Oh, I'm sorry then. I have no idea. Maybe if you keep running around, uh, you'll be able to find some. I know that there are some in the um, the wizard area where his tower was. Uh, in Lone Thistle, there are some on top of a building. Maybe you'll have better luck with those falling through the ground. I know there's four right there. There are four of them, so maybe you'll have a uh, good luck with that. I don't know. I hope so. Progress. Also, headaches. After weeks of in-depth study, I found parallels between the simplified ancient phonic characters, or phonetic characters, to the historical origins of phonet phonometic human writing. I theorize the modern alphabetical system may be derivative of an ancient syllabary. Uh, oh man, this is a lot of big words. Strange door odor emitting from a nearby opening. Uh, cloud the minds of my research and causes everybody headaches, like the ancient writing, but worse. Why do the ancients not simply create a traditional alphabet instead of relying on multiple, multiple unique, overly complex symbols for every single syllable? Pictograms would have done the job, too. <laughs> okay. So wait, where's the... There's shroud leaking out, right? I'm assuming that's what she meant. Uh, nestled within the Starfall Kingdom, a chasm so deep its contents have eluded us for millennia. Uh, no secret can resist the illumination by light of the eternal flame. An archaic evil brewing, growing. It must be buried, flooded, sealed. Humanity should never brush against these tendrils of pandemonium. Starlight Kingdom? What do you mean? The fuck is the Starlight Kingdom? What? What are you talking about? The Starlight Kingdom. What if that's an area I have to go to? It'd be really cool if there was, um... An area that didn't, like, worship the shroud or, like, the, the flame. There's, like, another... Um... Entity, somehow? I would like that. I'd like that a lot. There we go. Got a lot of clay out of that. How much? Uh, only 41? I mean, 
mean, that's not terrible. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. All right, where do I go from here, though? Uh... The fuck's over this way? There's a weird trail that leads over here. What the fuck? Oh, it's a little hobble. The fucking rats that are comboing me again. These rats are fucking insane. God damn. Okay, we're good. <laughs> fucking hell, man. Those rats are wild. Um, what's going on over here? It's like weird cave tunnels and shit. Uh, yeah, where's my torch? Oh, never mind. Oh my god, I found the perfect hobbit hole for people. Oh, look at all these hobbit holes. Everybody would love these. And if you want to make a hobbit hole in this area, there you go. Look at that. Look at all that. Um, what's going on? Oh, did they fall through the ground again? Are they still fucking up? Explosive powder ball net is a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that earlier. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, it seems like it'd be strong. I'm assuming three times as strong, but I have no idea. All right. Uh, well, I guess we're done up here. Delete that. Uh, delete that. I don't really need flax. I'm just going to delete those. All right, that seems fine. I guess let's get out of here. A weird little, like, thing, though. I think they want you to build an, uh, an area over here. This might be one of the, like, their little bases that the devs want to make. They just put this up here and said, hey... I want to make a, a cave system in these, like, caves. Or a whole, like, village inside these caves and inter interconnect them all. At least I'm assuming. Um, alright, so where am I going? Uh, alright, let's go up here. To the shroud route. It's a cool inn near the Revel Revelwood Tower that's like 80% intact. Yeah, it's the Blue Goblet, right? Isn't that it? I found that one. It looked really nice. I would. I hopefully can make a house like that eventually. I would love to do that. I would love, love, love to do that. I feel like it would be a pain in the ass, though. Very painstaking, probably. Uh, oh, I think we're back in Samix. Yeah, Samix area. Oh, I know where the Shroud Root is. Okay. Yeah, the Shroud Root is down in that one area. Okay. I know exactly where that is. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. No stamina, Ooh. All right, we're good. Yeah, there was that one shroud root area over there that I have to get to. No, it's easy. Just hire a crazy clay miner. Yeah. Yeah, I need to... I don't know. When I'm on stream, I get very lazy with building. I, when I played a lot of survival games off stream, I can actually build stuff because I'm not bored. <laughs> and I feel like I'm not being boring. Because nobody's watching me. Like, I enjoy building. <laughs> But I feel like it's not the most interesting thing, and I can't say a lot about it. You know? It's one of those things that's just, like, fun for me. Uh... Yeah, I don't want to go back through those tunnels. I definitely don't want to do that. I wonder if I could just fly in and land on the mushroom and kill it. 
I would prefer that. Oh my god, it's nighttime already. Fuck. I can't see shit up here, man. Alright, let's get the torch out. Man, it is so dark in this game sometimes. Chamomile. Um, it's always like when it just turns night, too. It's never when it's middle of the night. What was that glow? What is that? Something's glowing over there. That's scary. I don't want to go over there. I, I don't know what that is. Why is it glowing like that? Go say hi. No, I, I that's a void. I'm not going over there. Oh, it's like a wood platform. Okay, I see. Never mind. Oh, I think it's a grapple point. Never mind. I think this is a grapple point. Uh, yeah, that's some red shroud down there. Oh, there's a barrel down there, too. Oh, that's to our hu abandoned hunting camp. Oh, okay. I think I know where this is. Yeah, look at that. Jesus. What was that about? All right. I don't know why that was barred off, but cool. <laughs> I have no idea why that was barred off. All right, so. What is this way? God, the fucking sounds in this game, man. The nighttime doesn't fuck around, does it? I need to discover the creepy stuff so I know how to avoid it. No, you're supposed to find the creepy stuff and warn me about it. No, 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 no. That's not how streaming works. What? No, 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 no. No, that's your job. You're supposed to warn me. God damn it. Ugh. The fucking sounds, man. Hi. Yeah, you're level 15. Fuck me. There we go. Look at that damage. Hell yeah. Alright, so the sword is basically for bugs at this point. This game needs a codex of sorts? I think there is, like, kind of a codex, isn't there? I mean, there's the journal. Not journal, what is it? The... Yeah, there's this. The the world progress, the flame, the workshops, lore, tutorials. I mean, there's all that stuff, but... I guess there could be more, right? Info on materials and info on different enemies? Yeah, that would be nice. Once you discover it, like, you find out where it comes from or whatever. Or where they're at. I would like that. I would appreciate that. A bestiary and, like, a material area or whatever. A material index. Something like that. Where's the mushroom at? Hello? Where's the mushroom at? Gotta break it. Hello? Hello? Where's the mushroom at? Ugh. Gross. <laughs> All the sounds in this game is just kind of gross. 
Um, where the fuck is this mushroom at? Ah! Is it up? Yeah, I do have the upgraded grappling hook. Um... Yeah, I've had that actually for a little while now. Damn, I do some damage now. Holy shit, okay. Oh wait, there's thing over here. Wait, cave. A mushroom is gonna be in the cave. Calling it now. Oh, it's got the timer, okay. Hello? What level are you? I think I'm 16 right now. I'm almost level 17, but... Yeah, I think currently I'm 16. Please die. Get away from me. There we go. Do I have a bug in my hand? Oh my god. I think I'll get some good levels when I start doing quests then. Uh, I also just did stuff off stream because I was bored. <laughs> and I like playing this game. So I'd run, run through enemy camps. And, you know. <laughs> and I gained probably a couple levels doing that. But yeah, you will definitely get levels as you keep like going on. You also get a lot of perks from the, uh, the mushrooms, and you get them from the, uh, the wells. I think a vast majority of my perks came from the wells. There we go. Oh, there's a chest up there. Uh, there's bugs down here. Great. They're all level 15. Awesome. All right, I want that golden chest so I can get out of here. Archer gloves. <laughs> wait, damage multiplier with throwing. So wait, that'll make your bombs better. <laughs> so you can blow more stuff up, I guess. Oh, damn. All right, so. Is there like a climbing wall? Oh, there is a metal wall. Okay, cool. Well, not that way. There we go. Oh, another chest. Cool. What do we got? An infernal wand. mid mid range weapon. Okay. Fire. Mark through uh, 100 hours of enduring this fo force of fire. This wand has a connection to the element. Wait, what? Mark through hundreds of hours of enduring the force of fire. This wand has a connection to the element and is able to utilize it. Okay. Um, its region kind of sucks ass, though. It only has one mana regen on it. I don't know how much I would have used that. Another golden tainted axe. A mighty one-handed axe tainted by the blood of the fallen. Okay. Retaliation. Cool. Now I really look like a lumberjack. <laughs> I... Now I really look like a lumberjack. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Okay, whatever. It, it's fine. It's fine. Hopefully I can get a better wand. Um, than that. I want to get a legendary wand at some point. That's actually good. I know it'll do slightly more damage, but... God. Why did I leave? Why did I do this? Why, where am I going? It says there's a flame shrine up here, but how do I even get up here? It says there's a flame sanctum. Um, uh, I guess I could bomb my way up. Is it all the way on the top or is it through it? Like, is it inside of it? what I want to know. Uh. Huh. 
There we go. I'm about to level up too. I'm about to be level 17. Oh, maybe I can get up this way. Here we go. And whoa! Some random fucking dude. Okay, here we go. Here's the temple. Oh, it's just a normal dude. Okay, cool. I thought it was a super specialized, like, guy. There we go. Level 17. Here we go. Um. Alright, what can I get? Crit chance to increase. Oh, crit chance is increased by 10%. That's not bad. I'm tempted to get the dodge explosion, though. I feel like dodge explosion would be good. I feel like, um... I feel like the stun dodge is good, too. I don't know. It's fine, I'll get that. That increases my damage overall. Crit chance is always good. There we go. Um... Uh, there we go. Sparks 2. I think I almost have enough sparks to, um... Upgrade my fire. I think I need one more. I'm not sure about that, though. Alright, there we go. Alright, um... It's kind of fucking hard to see around here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think what I'm going to do is go back to camp and then I'm just going to glide um, over and try to go to the uh, the crucial investigation area. I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go back and sleep. It's a little too dark out. Oh, I think it's starting to become morning. <laughs> oh, shit. I just wasted all that time. Yeah, <laughs> I heard the rooster. Fuck. All right, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Let's upgrade this axe. Um, And the infernal wand. So it does a lot more damage, but it just has less mana regen. Which I guess is fine. I, I don't, I'm not really getting that much mana regen out of my stuff anyways. Um... Yeah, where are my runes? There we go. Alright, so... Um, it does 40 damage now. And it has retaliation on it. Not bad. Fucking sick. Absolutely fucking sick. Um... Yeah, my frozen wand is really bad. Um... I don't think this Infernal Wand's good. Like, it's fine, but it's not great. It's definitely not great. Oh, wait, what uh, chest has the shield? There we go. I'll put these two together. They feel like a bit of a pair. The Hail Scourge and the Pike Mead's Bulwark. They look similar, so I might as well keep them together. I'll put that wand away. Put that bow away. Um, I guess I'll put the archer's gloves in here. I'm not going to use those. And what else? There we go. Fuck. I didn't want that. All right, there we go. I feel like I'm about to sneeze, by the way. Like, I really, really got to sneeze. Like, what the fuck? All right, so I do have nine flames. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Alright, so put the copper in there. Um. So take that copper. No, we'll leave it in there. That's fine. I don't know what to do about this jacket. Like, I like it. It looks like you can make it at some point. Uh, I guess I won't wear it. That's kind of sad, but I guess I won't wear it. You found some badass warrior boots, yeah. I found a cool helmet uh, in here. The warrior helmet? 
I like that. That looks really nice. Yeah, the warrior helmet looks really nice. I think I had, like... I had other boots in here. Maybe I destroyed them. I'm not certain. I probably had... I probably destroyed them. I don't know. We'll put that in there for now. I won't break it. Um... And I think we're mostly good. I think I'm gonna make, um... I'm gonna make some fireballs. I definitely wanna make some fireballs. Fireball 2, what do I need? I need amber, fuck. Alright, let's go get some amber and then we'll make some fireballs. Ah! Ah! It's fine, we'll be fine. I also need to get that other shroud root too. There's just so much I gotta do. This game is good, man. I, I can't believe how addictive this game is. I really can't believe it. It's amazing. Really well done. Alright, uh, set his waypoint. There we go. This should take me right to the Amber. All right. There we go. Yeah, is it this one? It's around here somewhere. I know it's one of these damn things. Ah, uh, here we go, here we go, here's one. I'm assuming the other one's that way? I don't know. There we go. Oh, this one doesn't have as so much amber, I don't think. Uh, I wonder where the other one was. Hmm. It seems like I'm getting a lot more out of this one, though. Oh, my shroud protection's about to wear off, too. Shit. I think I only have one more vial of that on me right now. Yeah, I do. All right. Um, there is a lot of amber here. At least it looks like it. I just want to see how deep it goes. If it's just on the outside, then it kind of sucks. But yeah, it's just on the outside a little bit. That other one had like 30. At least. This one has 17 so far. Hmm. Very obnoxious, this material. Very, very obnoxious. I feel like copper is a lot easier to find than amber. Which is weird, because they're both like... One's magic and one's just melee. Alright, here we go. Give me more. I need more of it. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Look at all that. Hell yeah. All right, so how much do we have now? We have 30. All right, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's really, really not too bad. Location below? What do you mean location below? What the fuck are you talking about? Ooh, okay, if you go in right here, it goes deep in. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, there we go. 40 now. I think that'll be good for me. I wish I could get another 15 for the uh, the upgrade. So I can put those away. And make sure not to use them for the fireballs. There we go. 
how deep does this actually go? Oh, damn. Okay, this is actually going pretty deep. Alright, 15. I need... I want five more, at least. Alright, how much is that? Alright, we got 56. Alright, let's get out of here. I think we're good. Um, I just don't know how to get out of here now. <laughs> I think that's the biggest issue. Uh, where's the way out of the like mushrooms? Is it over here? I think it's over here. Yeah, I think it's over this way. Uh, or not? Oh fuck. Wait, is that Amber? Wait, there's Amber. That's Amber. Okay, cool. So there is Amber there. I guess they're kind of randomly placed. Okay, that's all clay. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This has to be the way out. There's no way it isn't. Right? There we go. Okay, we're out. Wee. All right, so let's go back to the camp, get more fireballs. We'll, we'll probably try to go over to that one lady. I'm assuming it's another matron. I think it was another matron head that I saw. And hopefully we can kill them. I'm assuming we will. I've been able to kill every boss first try so far. The one I'm really worried about is the, uh, the wyvern or whatever it's called. The stinky wyvern. Alright, so. Uh. I guess I'll put the tar where I had the charcoal. Alright, there we go. And I guess I'll put that sack there. And I guess we'll put the amber there. Alright, there we go. Oh, let's go pick up the rest of my ingots as well. I forgot about that. Yeah, 20 ingots. Okay, I can make a lot of chain lightning with that. What else does he have? Uh, copper cup, copper jug, copper bowl. Crucible. It takes sand? How the fuck do I get sand? Oh, and he can make circular saw blades right now. Uh, iron bars. Okay, I don't get that stuff right now. Yeah, iron bars is definitely not right now. The desert. There's a fucking desert? <laughs> what do you mean there's a fucking desert? There's a fucking desert? What are you talking about? There's a desert? How's there a desert? <laughs> what do you mean? No way. Huh? Yeah, up north. God damn it. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, oh, fireball twos are give, only give me 20. Okay. I'm out of resin. Fuck. Um, I forgot about resin. All right. I guess I have a better axe for a reason, right? I really feel like it works all too much better. I definitely like the, the copper pick, but this one seems... I don't know. Is this no area too, I bet? Yeah, probably. Oh, I guarantee you there's going to be an area for everything. Guarantee it. If they eventually do add water, there might be like a weird, like... Maybe not underwater area, but definitely like uh, islands or something. Like an island. Like a big island in the middle of a lake. If you look north, there's a giant castle. Go to that. Okay. I'll have to go there at some point. God, there's just so much in this game. This game is just so good. I'm glad it has like a million players. 
I think the big draw is like there's um I'm assuming the castle is Pike Mead, and I'm assuming that's where the dragon is. I haven't been there and I want to know what is there. <laughs> well like I said, I'm assuming it's gonna be the dragon. It's probably under the castle. Um What was I gonna say? I think a big reason why this game did so well, especially, is because it's so polished. There's a lot of quality of life. And you can have up to 16 players playing with you. That is crazy. 16 players in one air like game? Normally games have like four players. 16 is fucking wild. Especially for a game like this. Then again, I don't know how many... I don't know how many, um... Players were in Valheim. I think Valheim could have like 32, couldn't it? Or like 16 and 32 with mods. Or is about the most I would want to play with I have if, if I had friends. Yeah, about that. Um... I think probably... Since I'm a streamer, obviously, it's better for me to have more. But if I'm playing with a group, a group of, like, close friends, probably six. Like, four to six people. Would probably be best. Um, depending on who really likes the game. At that point, you gotta find who really, really wants to play this game. Because if they don't want to play it, then there's no real... There's no real, like, reason to have that many people. Two is honestly what feels like maybe uh, best for me. Maybe three. I could see uh, a party of three. Or a party of four. Like have a healer, have an attack mage, and have a tank and a ranger. I could see all that working fairly well. I love not hitting that. That was really good. Alright, there we go. Um, alright, so how much- oh, I have 18 resin now. Okay, good. Oh, you know what this axe might do? It might help you drop more resources from the trees. I'm not certain, but it feels like I got a lot more resources out of that. Um, I'm not certain. I'm not certain. I think I'm just gonna put the wood in with the bombs and- oh, never mind, that's full. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, never mind, that's full. All right, yeah, put all that away. And let's hopefully make more fireballs and chain lightning. 90 fireballs, and I need flintstone. Fuck. Flintstone, meet the flintstones. All right, I remember there being a flintstone mine around here. Oh, there's all the flags. I can need to get my chamomile up. There we go. No, yeah, well, there we go. Um, I wonder how crucial flax will keep being. I hope this game at least incorporates um it with higher tier recipes, so there's a reason to keep farming it. Um But they might also just continue like, I don't know, on. Uh, all right, there's my seedlings. All right, time to put more chamomile in there and just let it go. Oh, I forgot I had water. I need to get water. Yeah, let's put the flax in there, too. We'll just make a shit ton of seeds. We'll make a shit ton of seeds and we'll make a shit ton of, uh, uh, plants. Right, there we go. More seedlings. Let's go get some water, and then we'll go and plant these. And hopefully that'll be good for my farm right now. I don't really feel the need to, like, farm any other things. Maybe mushrooms? But I think I need, like, a fossilized soil for that, and I don't know where to get that. Like, what is fossilized soil? 
or something. I, I don't remember what it was. It was weird. It was a weird one where I would have no idea where to get it unless it's the desert or something. Actually, it might be the desert. That makes sense. All right, so. Uh, there's the water with chamomile. And I guess we'll put all the chamomile on this side. Gotta have it go. All right, there we go. I think I might test it. I might plant like a chamomile. I'm going to plant a chamomile here. So it's not on that soil. And I can see how fast it actually grows. I would like to be able to see the difference. Are there scrolls in this game? Yeah, they're like a buff. Um, it's a buff to magic damage and it's a buff to um, your fire timer. Uh, yeah. Prayer of the Flame Scroll. Plus 20 magic damage and one minute time of the shroud. 20 mana cost. Offers a prayer, a small prayer to the flame that increases your magic damage and the maximum time of the shroud for a short duration. You found an experience scroll. Oh, cool. Really? I haven't found one of those. That's cool. Does it give you a point or does it give you uh, something else? Like it's just a boosty experience? Gives experience. Okay, cool. I don't know if it gave you like a skill point or something. Um, so if the level cap right now is 25 and there's one third of the game being shown, I'm assuming the game's level cap will either be 75 or 100 total. At least that's what I think. Um, that's what makes sense to me. If you're showing one third of the map, maybe 50? 50 might be the cap? I don't know. God damn. Oh, you know what's probably going to happen? I've seen some giant, um, I've seen some giant walls, like, down, uh, in certain areas. I wonder if, the, like, when the, the areas open up, they're going to remove those walls. Or make it, like, open a gate or something. And it'll lead to another area. Because that would be interesting. That'd be a very interesting way of doing it. I don't know why I said it like that, but whatever. Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> I said that really fucking weird. Um. Alright, well, I don't need this anymore. Oh, I need Flintstone. Yeah, I need Flintstone. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna go teleport to this, uh... This ancient spire, then we're gonna go to the mine. Just so I don't have to run all that way. I don't want to run that far. I'm lazy as fuck. Alright, small flint mine. This should be enough for the flintstone. I haven't actually needed flintstone for a lot of stuff in this game so far. I'm kind of shocked. Alright, here we go. Also, what's with the trails that you get in this game? <laughs> Why do I have red trails on me? I don't remember that being a thing with the, um... The last glider. It seems fairly odd. Just running around in different zones, you can get a lot of building ideas. Oh, yeah, I've seen a lot of cool towers and stuff like that. My only worry is, can you put the flame at the top of a tower? Because I want to build a tower and then have everything be up, like, at the top. You know? That's what I want. Um, I don't want it to just be on the ground. Or, like, let me place the flame and then move it. I don't know. You can kind of move the flame. Oh, really? Okay, cool. Yeah, I would love to put it up on top of a, a tower or something. And then just have everybody in, like, their own corner. 
And then I could jump off it and just fly around. God damn. There's a lot of flintstone here. You have to build another flame in the area, then re-level the flame, and then you move the old flame. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, hopefully they had a good way of doing that. If not, your base will be removed, yeah. Yeah, hopefully they had a good way of doing that in the future. So where you can just move the flame itself inside your base. So it doesn't have to be at, like, the center. I don't know. That'd be nice. Box around the flame is a cube, so yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully they'll figure out some stuff to do with that. Hopefully. Alright, um, I think I'm good on the, the stuff right now. I think we gotta go back. There we go. God, and the fact that they let you fast travel is so good. <laughs> Why do they let you fast travel? It's so nice. Ah, oh, fuck me. It's just legitimately so good. I'm just shocked by all of it. Wait, I don't know where the flintstone went. I put it somewhere. <laughs> I have no idea where the flintstone went. Oh, well. All right, so chain lightning. The 69 damage. Hopefully I can get it so it arcs more, like a, a increased version of that. So it arcs way more. That'd be very nice. 90 chain lightning or 94 chain lightning and 90 fireballs. All right, cool. I think we're good. I think we are very good. I don't have to worry about too much now. Um. There's another shroud uh, shroom up there. I want to get that at some point. Um. Damn. And I don't know what the southern caravan thing is. I know that was for, like, Jez, uh, uh Mina's, uh... Westline or something, but I guess I'll have to get there at some point. I don't know. It's very weird. It's very weird to me. All right, so yeah, crucial investigation. Go to journal. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know where the fireplace is for the farmer. Where is that? Oh, it's inside the city. Okay, fucking hell. Yeah, great. <laughs> like, I'm gonna fucking do that right now. Yeah, completely fuck that. No way. No fucking way. Alright, let's go to the Ancient Spire. It'd be cool if you could build off the Ancient Spires, too. You just build a giant entire fort around the flame on top of one of these things. Because this is really what I would want. I would love something like this, and then... I build, like, a section off for each, like, kind of character. I don't know. Maybe I'd have the, the mage here, I'd have the blacksmith here, I'd have the hunter there. And then I'd build, like, a giant, um... Have you tried putting a flame down? No, I haven't, actually. I should actually see if I can do that. I'm assuming you can't, but... I don't know. I'll do that eventually. Uh, Hides madness within. The flame. The Lux's cradle. Root of the rot. The seed of insanity. Labyrinth of malady and disorder nestled in the Boskett's heart. Whatever that's about. Cool. <laughs> Whatever that's about. All right. So I have to go that way. And that seems like a pain in the cock. God, man, the loading is so bad sometimes, though. That is one gripe of the game. Huh. 
I finished one quest and now I have more quests than what I started with. Yeah, that is something that does happen in this game. Every time you like complete a quest, it adds like five fucking quests. They just don't stop. <laughs> they don't stop. They just keep keep appearing. I, I don't know. Nothing I do makes them stop. It's absolutely wild. All right, so it's just through this way. Yeah, here we go. All right, I know this boar is going to punch me in the back of the head, but it's fine. All right, never mind. I guess he isn't. He's too slow. There we go. I wish there were more quests that went over the meadows, though. I don't know. That's, that's one little area I feel like they kind of neglected. A lot of the quests were focused, like, in this area, like, straight up. Like that. And nothing really was over here so far. There's not much. There's this over here, finally. But I need to go back down this way and, like, find stuff. I'm assuming there's a lot. I'm assuming there's a decent amount over there. In lightning, uh, I'll move to fireball. You have stuff over there? Really? I don't. Oh, fuck. Maybe it's just random. Holy shit, my axe does damage now. Oh, yeah, I need to eat my stuff, too. There we go. Now I have full health. All right, so. You ran over there because you wanted to explore. That is true. It is fun to explore in this game. I just didn't want to do that off stream. Um, I don't want to, like, lose stuff. Like, discover... Oh, my God. It's so fucking dark. You have the tower over there? I have this tower. Uh, the one all the way down here. The low metal... The low meadows. I don't have anything over here or over here, though. What's that? I wish I could see this fucking town. Glenwood's End. All right. By the way, this potion for the wisp should last like 20 minutes <laughs> or something. It needs to last way longer. I know it's cheap to make, but man, only being able to hold five of them is kind of crazy. Rats! Evil demon rats. Um, okay, so now that we're here, I'm going to place a fast travel. Oh, yeah, I get double stones now. That is really good. Oh, that's not where I entered. <laughs> I entered over here. Okay, good. I thought that's where I was entering. <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's craft. There we go. All right. Well, I guess I'll put it next to this. I don't know. <laughs> Might as well. Fuck it. I guess. All right, now I can go back home and sleep. Uh, Here we go. There's one big flat area that I've seen that I might make a giant base at. There's one area that I've been interested in. And it's, um, it's near the tomb of that queen. It's that giant open flatland. I don't know. I might build a base there or something. It seems very nice and wide open. Very, very nice. These are growing really fast. Um, yeah, these are growing extremely fast. And look at that. Look at that. That one's not even, like, grown yet. I think this one's still a sprout over here. Where is it? Where's the... Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, that one's still a sprout. It seems to double their speed. That's crazy. Doubling is wild. Yeah, doubling is absolutely wild. Alright, so... Let's go back up. Hopefully we can kill them all. 
I killed this crazy boss or something that's up here. Oh yeah, I do want more enemy variations as well. I feel like we need like bandits that have shields. We need bandits that have um, magic. There needs to be more magic enemies as well. There's not really many magic dudes firing like fire bolts and lightning bolts and stuff at you in the game. Just a few things they need to add for it to feel a little more complete. All right, there we go. So my magic resistance doesn't really have that much of a use, honestly. Unless we start finding, like, magical dudes eventually. Oh, this house is mostly done. Wow, if you really wanted a house, this one's actually pretty well done. Huh. Oh, there you go. Cool. Um, what do we got? Where's the exact entrance? I know there's shit over here with monsters, but what's going on? Oh, there we go. This is the entrance. Um, what does more damage against that? Ow. Um, fireball definitely does more damage, but I don't want to waste it all. You have chicken noodle soup. I wish I had food right now. I ate the Mexican earlier. It was really good, but I want more food. Mm. I don't know why I'm so hungry, though. There's no reason for me to be this hungry. That's the other issue. There's, like, no reason at all. Explosive balls. Why do they call them explosive balls and just not bombs? <laughs> That's what I want to know. I would rather they be called bombs. It's very weird. This is like playing on like making a difference. Or a different one that's a bomb. Uh, okay, Ice Bolt's good. And yeah, for these dudes, Ice Bolt. There we go. Because the other name is funnier, yeah. I guess that does make sense. The other name is funnier. There we go. Yeah, I guess I'll take more of those. Um. God, I really need a better ice wand. I wish it wasn't so random. That's the thing. I, the... There's like three items I need to attack efficiently in this game. I need a fire wand, an ice wand, and I need a, uh, a staff. And generally it seems I'm always lacking one at any point in time. I'm always lacking one. Uh, repair? All right, there we go. Is this a church? Uh, hi! I don't think it is. I, I, I don't know. I don't think it is. <laughs> what is down here, though? A locked door. What's behind here? Oh, okay, a note. Uh, the crimes of Glenwood's end. His Excellency, the benevolent King uh, Gormander, demands justice for the murder of Royal Inquisitor Lacken. Uh, our Lachlan? Delivery of his severed head to the King's court was an act of aggression that will fall with swift punishment. May the, king is, the King's retribution be a swift lesson to the laws of Embervale still prevail. What? So, an Inquisitor got killed in Glenwood's end? At least that's what I'm getting out of that. I'm assuming an Inquisitor got killed. There's a rat? Where did the rat fucking come from? Did that rat just try to summon enemies? What was that? 
That was weird as fuck. Wow, this house is really well done. I mean, the bottom floor isn't bad. <laughs> this one's kind of a dump. Yeah, this one's kind of a dump, but never mind. Mage rat, yeah. It looked like it was going to do something scary, so I have no idea. Man, there's a lot of doors here. Oh, hi. Okay, that leads outside. I thought I saw another rat. All right, where does that lead? Outside? Okay. Uh, what about up here? What's up here? Golden chest? Uh, no. There's a note. From in the, the investigator. Uh, my illustrious king, I write with troubled tidings. The Glenwood's end is falling to ruin. As if a great cloud of sickness and decay has settled over principa the principality. People have let their homes, roads, and daily way of life crumble. All due to the substance they consume called the elixir. I've taken samples from an illegal distillery and I'm currently studying them. The elixir seems to make monsters out of men, so I have bolted my door at night. Oh, so they killed him. Okay. Interesting. I would have just taken the shit and ran and did tests at the kingdom. Like, why would you wait here and do the tests? Just take that shit home. Up here is a place where people dock their boats. Wait, what? I'm confused. Did I say pier at some point? <laughs> I'm confused. What did I say? I'm very confused. Um, there's a guy here. I said, what's up here? Did I? Oh, I said, what's up here? Not what's up here. Scavenger, Gorger, Matron. Okay, so that's the boss. There we go. Okay, see the potential for the game to have enemies raiding you and stuff now? Because the spike pit traps the giant Ewoks you use. Sounds like you said the same thing twice there. What's up here? And what's up here? Uh, what's up up here? I mean, they're similar, but... I guess? <laughs> I guess they're similar. What's down here? Man, okay, I'm actually doing enough damage that it do kind of doesn't matter as much what element I'm using. I don't know. Where's the, the, the gorger lady, though? I have no idea where she's at. So many little areas. He answered you already. <laughs> All right, I guess from now on, I'm just going to say what's up here for you guys. So I guess that's what you want. Um. Hmm. Where's the lady at? Where's big lady? That vomits everywhere. Oh, this is kind of a cool place to live. I mean, a lot of these buildings look really good. Got more chain lightning, too. Ow. All right, there we go. Hmm. A damp fear is a person who's half vampire. Is that a thing? <laughs> Wait, is that a thing? A damn fear? I don't know if that was a thing. I thought you just called them half vampires. I guess that's for the uneducated like me. Oh, where's the lady at? Hello? <laughs> I saw her icon pop up and it just went away. Did she die in a spike trap? Like, what happened? Yeah, I could definitely see enemies raiding you at some point. 
And that's why it'd be important to build like city walls um, with like a moat or something. A moat of spikes. In here? Oh no, she's above me. <laughs> I could hear her. She's above me. Okay. Um, good to know. How do I get up there, though? All right, there we go. Stairs. Let me... Let, let, let me up. Okay, there we go. So she's in here? Oh, yeah, she's right there. Okay, well, that's good, I guess. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's actually good, but whatever. Can you die? No, can you die? He's fucking hiding behind a wall. Right, there we go. There we go. Please die. And you, ma'am. I need your help. I, I need... I want to test damage on you. How good does Fireball do? Fireball does three. Okay. And what about Chain Lightning? Okay, two... Okay. For the ice. What is she doing? It's like hiding in a corner. Uh... Okay, so the ice is... Bad. It's not bad. It's just double effective. It's very weak, but it's very effective. There we go. Alright, she's dead. <laughs> I love how I fight in the most boring fucking ways possible. A scorching wand! Here we go. We got a better fire wand. There we go. So that thing's going to give me mana leech, too. Oh, hell yeah. Now I just need a good ice wand, which I will never, ever find. <laughs> I will never, ever find a good ice wand, ever. Archer trousers. Great. <laughs> Why? Why would you give me archer trousers? I don't need that. Like, what the fuck, man? I don't need any of this shit. I'm not an archer. Um. Uh... So wait, was that it? I just had to go fight her? Is that all he wanted? He just wanted me to kill the lady? I mean, I guess. Um. Uh... Okay. I'm gonna salvage that so I can upgrade my wand. Oh, I need to put these runes away. I have all my runes on me and I don't want to lose all that. Where? Oh, there's more back there actually. And right over here, what's this? Uh. Oh, never mind. Is there like a secret door behind that? No. That's another thing. I haven't seen many secret doors anymore. We had a lot at the start. I think you found something interesting. Tell me, what's going on? Ooh, another flame shrine. Okay. Maybe that's why the uh, the shroud isn't up here. Hmm. I don't know what it is yet, but it's looming ominously over the shroud. Oh, okay. A giant demon? It looks like an evil lair. Is it a giant shroud castle in the sky? <laughs> like, is that what you're telling me? This game has a shroud castle? Oh, I didn't know there was... Oh, okay. It kind of looks like it. Fucking hell. Where is that? Is that in the part of the map that I haven't, like, really explored? Huh. 
Maybe you need will need wings at that point then to get up there. You have to craft yourself some magical wings or something. Butterfly wings, maybe. Ooh. Fancy. Fancy, fancy butterfly wings. All right, so we're going to go to the this area then. Actually, no, I could just fast travel back. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to go talk to the dude. All right, can I move? There we go. It's off to the east if you're interested in it. Okay, so that's why. I haven't seen a lot of stuff to the east then. Yeah, the east is probably full of shit that I have no idea what it is. Oh, my back. Ow. Um. Stop climbing that. Stop climbing that. Bad boy. Alright, put that away. Okay, so we have 11 sparks now. That's not bad. Alright, there we go. More of the shit out of here. Scavenger matron heads. I need to make some, like, uh, trophies and stuff. I, I know I don't really do that, but I need to. I know they're going to increase my comfort, so why not? Uh, miscellaneous? No. Where were those even at? A clay fireplace. Whoa, that thing's big. Bronze bars. Okay. Beds. Ornate wooden bed. Here, let's make an ornate wooden bed for myself. Why not? Alright. Uh, wait, how do I rotate? Is it R? Oh, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> it's got a lot of fur on it. It looks kind of worse than the other one, but... Uh, I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. Uh, let's destroy that. Alright, so my comfort's at 27 now. Uh, what else can I make to up my comfort? Chairs, fireplaces... Yeah. Polished wooden side table. Polished nightstand. Our bedside table. All right, I'll I'll take that. Uh, pick that up. Okay, so the candle still stays. Cool. Oh, it's kind of like floating. Uh, oops. I'm oh, not this one. I want to get rid of this one. Wait, not that. Uh, delete that one. That there, and put that there. There we go. It's kind of clipping into the bed, but whatever. Uh. There we go. Cool. Now we're at 28. Uh. Do I really have to make a throne? <laughs> like, why? A throne is five comfort? Like, what the fuck? Why do I have a throne? I can't even sit in it. <laughs> I can't even sit in the throne. Why? Okay, I guess we have 33 comfort, though. That's not bad. Or 28 comfort, sorry, not 33. All right, what else can I add? Uh, polished wooden banquet table. Polished wooden bench. I can have both of those. All right, there we go. I guess let's get rid of these. Um, that thing's fucking big. Okay. Yeah, this shit is big. Uh, where do I want to place this even? 
Uh, hello? Uh, I guess that's fine. So that could just go here. And there we go. We're all the way up to 37 minutes on rested. Wow, that is wild. That is absolutely wild. 37. God damn. Okay. Um. Alright, what else do I need to do? I gotta put poison sacks away. Where are the poison sacks at? I had... I know there's a spot for them somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. All right, so what are the quests we have? Uh, the obelisk research. Okay. Lost in the shroud. Yeah, let's do that. That one gives me like a weird legendary bow. How do I heal myself with a staff? Um, you have to have the spell equipped. So you can have like heal channel on. And then the little orbs come and hit you. I think if you have Chain Heal, it heals you and all your allies as well, around you. I don't know exactly how Chain Heal works, but I think that's how it does. Where do I aim it? Doesn't matter, it just goes right up. Aiming it doesn't matter, it just goes right up above you and it lands back down. They basically track to you, the heal you. Alright, we're just starting using Chain Lightning, actually. I'm gonna see how this works. Uh, I, I wanna just zap some dudes. Alright, there we go. I think this alcohol is making me, like... ...say words funny. <laughs> I think that's what's happening. It's very easy to drink, too. It's the apple pie wine I keep drinking. And the alcohol is doing that? Well, no, I'm also just dumb, and I mess up my words anyways. But the alcohol doesn't help me. I can tell when I do it more than usual, and I'm starting to, like, get to that point. I'm also kind of tired as well. I have been streaming for, like, eight hours. <laughs> That's true, I do stream for like eight hours. God, I stream way too much. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I, I, oh God. I still can't believe I've done like two 24 hour streams now too. God, that last one was a doozy though. Man, Northern Journey fucking killed me. Good old Northern Journey. That game was fucking wild. I love how it got, was really good at the start and in the middle, and then it just shit the bed at the end. <laughs> Are you using a ghostly shield? Yeah, I have a, um... I have a ward, yeah. I have the upgraded ward. Um... Yeah, ghostly shield, yeah. Yeah, block parry, yeah. It gives me fire resistance. I don't really know what that's going to be good for, though. I haven't seen many fire enemies in this game. I've seen a lot of poison, and I've seen a lot of shroud, but no fire. Unless maybe it helps against, like, the, the dragon I have to fight at some point or something. Who knows? Who fucking knows? Oh, I never upgraded my wand. Hmm. Oh, well, we'll do it when I go back next. All right, can these guys stop stunlucking me, please? Get out of here. Ow. What? You should have gotten the second one. Why is that good? It's got shitty block and shit and a parry. Uh, it's not. <laughs> I just like it. It's not good. I'm just a wizard and I like looking at no shield. 
but secretly having a shield. I don't even use my shield. If anything, I'm just using it for the fire resistance. But I haven't fought anything that has fire, so it's whatever. <laughs> There's no real reason. I'm just dumb. All right, abandoned hunter camp. What if we can go in here at some point? Shroud survival flask. Okay. A long way from home. I've entered the thicket. Plenty of cover, but too much mud. I'm leaving footprints. I missed the solid rocky mountain paths and kicking pebbles down chasms to wait for the echo. Strange door hangs over the... Uh, odor hangs over the bog. Um, foul and fermented. Reminds me of the distilleries near Howling Pike. Decided to avoid Glenwood's End. Too much activity and I taste copper in the water. Bad omens. I'll drift away from here as soon as possible. Oh yeah, copper in the water. Blood. Great. Yeah, Glen's, uh, Glenwood's End is not great. Kind of got real fucked up. Italian, uh, the battle by the bridge. I know you must have been there. The ones that fled in terror in their eyes. Had terror in their eyes. The shroud. So with a trembling voice, the shroud blanketed everything. Will the armies of Vorgoth continue to battle? Please tell me, did you breathe it in? Are you still the in there, my little brother? Leading the flocks as commander. I survey the valley when the sun is highest in the sky. I detect no motion. Put my ear to the ground, but hear no marching of heavy boots. If you're in there, please give me a sign, Talion. I'll carry you out of my back, just like the old days. Your sister, uh, Athelan. Oh, I feel bad for her. Another warrior helmet. What does that do? Opportunity damage. Okay. Okay, maybe they do have set buffs. I don't know. Because I have two with that. Hmm, I'm not sure. Wait, okay, so I can't go in here. Um, Is that going to open up at some point? Am I going to find a person in here? That seems weird. I think this is the second one that I found that I can't open up. Hmm. Very odd. All right, I guess let's go this way. What the fuck is that? Is that a big-ass castle? Oh, my God. What the fuck is that? Lost in the Shroud. Shroud Root. Oh, there's a Shroud Root over here. Oh, Lost in the Shroud is her brother. I have to find her brother for her. I see. I'm assuming this is a thing that she made. To the Guard of the North. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it is her. Okay. Uh, to the guard of the north, Lord Vorgoth, you blighted, demented adversary. You're a mad, raving shadow of a leader. I want you to know, following your order makes me sick. A toll I paid in blood. No army will protect you. I will cross every chasm, scale every mountain, and brace against the bitter cold. I'll push myself to beyond the physical capacity of man to find you. And when I do, my aim will be true. I swear my brother's honor. Within the desert, maybe. Ooh, sick. Honor. So, yeah, this is the area that I saw earlier. Oh, yeah, that is fucked up down there. What the fuck? I could glide right in, but I feel like I'm going to die. I feel like the dude's going to be in there. It's going to be Vorgoth. I don't know. This doesn't seem good. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't seem good. Um, all right, let's eat all my shit. There we go. How much damage do these guys do? What level are you? You're level 15? Okay, you're not bad. Never mind that. I don't care. I'll kill everybody. <laughs> I'll kill everybody. Everybody's weak now. Okay, stop casting at the guy that's out of range. There we go. There we go. God, the wand upgrades are incredible. It's so incredibly good. All right, there's still no mages. Why are there no mages in the shroud? Copper arrows, okay. 
I want to see like dudes casting mushroom magic at me. I feel like that'd be really cool. Uh, is that Vorga? Oh, Fell Thunderbite. Okay, it's just the same guy. Why can't I hit that guy? Okay, the lock-on isn't actually working. That's kind of weird. Oh, that's a Fell Thunderbite right there. Oh god, I almost died. Um. Oh god, he's fast. Okay. Can you not do that, sir? I want you to die. I'm using all my fireballs on you. There we go. Alright, well he's dead. <laughs> I wonder if that was Vorgoth or if that was her brother. Uh, Fel Commander's bow. There we go. Why are you running? Don't run away from me. All right, there we go. Uh, I need you dead too. It's kind of annoying. Stop running from me. Stop running. There we go. Oh, wait, there's a tent here. There's something here. El Commander's bow. Oh, that thing looks cool. It's got all like tons of glowy shit on it. Yeah, tons of glowy shit on it. There we go, bunch of water. There we go, lockpick too. Um, what's back here? Oh, little sneaky pathways that are pointless for me. <laughs> Cause I don't really sneak. Um, yeah, I don't really do sneaky pathways in this game, do I? How do I get over there? That mushroom. Um, uh, I just want me to go down here. seems like death um well fuck yeah how do I get to that it's surrounded by bullshit <laughs> Yeah, it's absolutely surrounded by bullshit. And if I touch any of that red, it's going to kill me. So this one little feature I don't like. I don't like the red instantly kills you. Okay, please don't start gliding. Okay. Uh, here we go. Oh, Jesus. If this falls apart, I'll cry. All right, there we go. Wait, I already got a skill point? Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Well, we did that. I guess this was just a bridge. Um, yeah, because it used to be water. Um, hmm. All right. Well, we got that. I don't know now. <laughs> I, I don't know now. Do not go to this area. I repeat, do not come here. <laughs> so don't go to the desert. Good to know. Let's go back to her and talk about her brother, I guess. Because now we have a legendary bow. Um, for him, I don't know. From him? I don't know if it's his bow or Vorgoth's bow. It said Fell Commander, so I'm assuming it's not her brother's. Uh, Commanders of Northern Guard. Yeah, okay, so it is Vorgoths. Shroud magic damage. Does 17 damage. Okay. Increased crit damage on Leech. Oh, Mana Leech. Okay, uh, Shroud damage. Okay, so that's cool. 
I'll put that in there for somebody. Somebody could use that at some point. When I play with people. Um, you, upgrade my uh, wand. 38 damage. Look at that. Hell yeah. Good speed. Hell yeah. Now that fire damage is going to be off the chain. All right. Um, I guess I'll put some water into the chamomile. There we go. Put that shit away. Um, what? Why did those go in? I, oh, I hit the wrong button. There we go. There we go. All right. Um. Okay. That should mostly be everything. I need to make more areas. Um. All right. Um. Not areas. I need to make more chests. Yeah, not areas. All right, put these copper arrows away. What did I just do? What did I hit? I don't know what I just hit. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know what I just did. Uh, I right, put chain heal away. I don't need that. All right, I think we're good. There we go. Yeah, I think we're good with that. All right, so... Uh, what do I need to do? Oh, I need to level up. I need to look at my perks. Alright, so I have four perk points. I could spend both of those on Blink Attack and Emergency Blink. I feel like Emergency Blink would be very good for me. Uh, but I also want to keep going down the magic stuff here. A critical hit with a magical weapon. The attack will automatically hit a second enemy within 15 meters for 5 shock damage per intelligence. Per intelligence? My intelligence is 10. Fifty shock damage? That seems really good. Yeah, that seems really good. Um, especially for me, I don't have much AOE. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And, uh, Mass Destruction is four. Okay. So if I break a well, then I should be able to get Mass Destruction. God, I'm gonna do all of this stuff. I love being a mage. I love being a mage in this game. I want more magic, though. That's my only other thing. I want more magic spells. I need options. I need options. Alright, so... Hey, what about our brother? Hey, I killed the guy that... Oh, okay. I guess she doesn't care. <laughs> I got the bow. She doesn't give a fuck. She's just done with it. All right, so let me make some storage. Oh, I'm out of metal sheets. Oh, fuck. I need goo and I need metal sheets. Oh, no. <laughs> I haven't been making metal. Uh-oh. All right, let's put some of the metal in there. Um, where is the metal? Okay, there's metal scraps, there's metal scraps. And there's a bunch of metal scraps. Alright, let's go put these for place. Alright, there we go. Oh, I need charcoal too. Oh, fuck. Um, I'm just gonna take some of that charcoal. Uh, they're saber tooth creatures of some sort. <laughs> Now you're making me want to go there, but I know I'm going to get my ass kicked. I know I'm going to get my ass kicked. I, I don't want to go there, but I do want to go there at the same time. This is going to be bad for me. All right, so for goo, I need bug dust. Great. Great. 
Look away from the screen, by the way, if you're like, it, it, like sensitive to light. <laughs> Don't look at the screen, but with me doing this. Cool. <laughs> well, that worked. Um. All right, now I just need a bunch of goo. I'm gonna make like 25. And then shroud cores. I need to make some of those. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Um, let me put some of this shit away too. I guess I'll put all the stuff in here. There we go. And shroud cores, I think, go in here. I fo saw, found the place I saw above the shroud. Well, hopefully it's something cool. Uh, we have a bunch of bricks in there now. Yeah, a bunch of fire bricks in there. Damn. Okay, cool. Looks like a giant city. Ooh, maybe it's a city of the ancients. That could be cool. A flying city of the ancients? That's probably what it is. It's probably their home. Their ancient home. Um. Alright, so storage. Magical chest. Medium. There we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. Or, and I guess I'll put one here. Oh, those aren't against the wall. Okay, let's put those against the wall. Oh, all of these are off, actually. What the fuck? Oh. Um. All right. I guess we have to move these, then. There we go. There we go. Okay. And put those two down here. I have so many wood planks, too. I wonder what else wood planks are used for. I know they're used for making the chests, but um, there's got to be something else, too. I need nails. Oh, yeah, nails and metal sheets. Okay. All right, so we have a lot of storage left. Um, I'm going to have to start using this area. <laughs> I'm going to have to start using a lot of that area. Okay, so, I don't know what else I need. Wisps of light? I don't have glow dust. All right, how many do I have? I have four. I need to make four. Sorry, not have four. Wait, what? Oh, I need resin? Oh, fuck me. Okay, well, that's not happening. I don't want to go get resin. I don't care. I don't care enough. I think my least favorite thing in this game is resin farming. <laughs> I really don't like doing that. Uh, fine, I'll do it. I'll, I'll get some resin. Fuck. I need to make a bathtub, too. That'll improve, uh, improve my, uh, comfort. Alright, there we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot I need to make charcoal, too. Yeah, I gotta make a lot of charcoal. Uh, I guess we can chop this down. There we go. Alright, cool. I'm surprised you don't get experience from logs in this game. You get experience from mining clay and stuff, but not getting firewood and stuff, even though that's a major building material. I guess maybe because you do it a lot more, you need a lot more wood for things, so they want to limit how much you can get. I'm not certain. It does make sense to me, though. It does make a lot of sense to me. 
you see if there's resin in the trees or is it just random? I'm assuming just random. Okay, there we go. Two, uh, four resin now. There we go. I guess we'll get these uh, bees as well. These with yellow leaves have higher drop rate for resin. Really? How the fuck did you find that out? With yellow leaves? Where the fuck? Uh... Where would yellow leaves be at? Oh, hi, doggy. Further north. Oh, okay. How far north? Yeah, how far north? Is it like at the first tower? Like right up here? I'm assuming? I was like way, way farther north. Oh, my back. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, there are some trees. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll do these ones. We'll see how many I get. Hopefully a little bit. There we go. Yeah, how did you figure that out? <laughs> it's kind of wild. Yeah, there's some resin. Wow. All right. Jesus. I would have never figured that out. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. What the fuck? I'm like a genius. Every yellow tree you hit had resin. Wow. I would have never noticed that, though. Unless I was really looking for resin and I was up here. But normally when I need resin, I just get a little bit around my house and then I'm done. Wow, look at that, yeah. Oh, that one had two resin. There we go. Damn. We found aloe. What the hell? There's aloe in this game? What the fuck? There's so much random shit. This, might, this game might be the king of just, like, finding an item and just being confused by it. I don't know. I, I've done that so many times. Or I've heard about an item from somebody else and I'm just fucking confused. Why is there a beehive floating? Also, phoenixes. <laughs> what do you mean, phoenixes? Stop that. Why are you confusing me? Oh, this game is so fucking cool. <laughs> oh, I'm so into this game. This game is confusing to me. Oh, God. Yeah, the game is very confusing. It's just, it's such an odd fantasy world. That one had three resin. It had more resin than wood. Okay, well, there we go. I guess we have a lot of resin. And sage. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. I like this game. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I like this game. This game's funny as fuck. I like this game a lot. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I just keep finding weird shit. The game. Like, what the fuck is happening? The game. I think that's how I have to sell this game to people. If I want somebody to, like, play it with me. It's like, this game's so fucking weird that I, even I don't know what's going on. And I'm Bismarck. Normally, I kind of just accept a lot <laughs> when it comes to weird shit. Oh, whoa, these fireplaces actually look really good. On the clay, uh, fired bricks. Yeah, look at that one. That's pretty. Um... I need, I wanted like a bathroom thing. 
I need nails. Fuck. I mean, it'll increase my comfort by two. It'll give me 29 minutes. Fuck it, let's do it. I need to make nails anyways. Don't look at the screen if you're, like, uh, light sensitive. The flashing lights or whatever. All right, we good. <laughs> All right, we're good. We made a lot. Uh, where do I put these, though? Uh, I guess that's fine. We'll put it in there. Now let's make a bathtub that we can't use. What if I can make a crazy bathtub, like a really good one? <laughs> you found Stonehenge? Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're going to say, like, I found aliens. I found a UFO. I found Jimmy Neutron and Goddard. I don't know why they're here. All right. Uh, yeah, the flax did go pretty well, huh? Damn. Um, you say that. <laughs> We find the next, uh, the next installment of, like, Nicktoons Unite in this game. <laughs> We're gonna stumble upon Neopets The Darkest Fairy 2, buried in the code. God. Fucking hell. Alright, so how much chamomile do I even have now? Oh, yeah. I got a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I need to start putting some of the shit away. I don't need a hundred flax seedlings. I, I do not need a hundred. Um, yeah, I think I'm good on farming for a little bit. I have 45 chamomile seedlings. I wish I could just auto plant. I need to, like, be able to upgrade the farmer so she, like, plants for me. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, hey, if there's dirt like this, can you plant on it, please? Anywhere, I don't care. Just please fill it up with, like, plants. It takes so long to plant in this game. All right, we're almost done. Uh, there we go. One more. And I have 50 flax. <laughs> oh, God. What's a gigapet? <laughs> Is it going to be a giant wolf? The saber tooths hurt? <laughs> I'm assuming so. I'm assuming they're the upgraded version of the dogs. The dogs already fucking hurt for me. Because they have, like, no armor. So I can't wait to be one hit by a saber tooth. So at that point, I'm not going to have any more health either. I guess unless I really upgrade and uh, like tank, I might have to. I might have to upgrade into the tank stuff. Ginga pets are from my childhood. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Did I make it feel old? I apologize. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you feel old. Um, where else? There's just so much shit to do in this game. Like, holy shit. I have three quests. Reach the capital, obelisk research, fireplace for the farmer. I guess we'll go get her fireplace. I gotta go to the capital for it. Fucking hell. Why is your fire fireplace so crazy? Why would you give away your fireplace as well? That's what I want to fucking know. Um, there's a elixir well over there. Um, I'm going to remove this home down here and I'm going to take it with me. Yeah, I'm going to remove this one because I have that tower down in the, the meadows. So I don't really need this here. 
Uh, not reset skill points, extinguish flame. There we go. And let's head back up. Oh, God. I really want a robot to be in my camp. I want, like, a magic robot to be in my camp. That would be very fun. Or a magic robot companion. Like, help me. <laughs> I know that's dumb, but I feel like that'd be fun. Um, I'm also going to reset the... Uh, world. It's starting to load a little funky again. I mean, it's been loading a little funky, but I just haven't cared. I kind of cared then. I saw that weird-ass looking tree and I didn't want to look at it anymore. Alright, there we go. Oh, my rested buff went away. I mean, oh well, it's fine. Who cares? It's fine, I don't need it. I mean, I kind of do, but whatever. So was Gigapets like a toy? By the way, is that like a toy or something? What is a Gigapet? I'm interested now. I want to know what Gigapets are. Oh, that is a desert and there is snow. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, yeah, it looks like there is a lot of stuff over there. Uh, I think I'm fucked. I don't think I can go this way. I think I have to go back the other way. I'd like go around. Where the one quest led me. Oh, well, guys, by the way, did you know I was 26 years old when I found out I had a mole on the back of my neck? <laughs> Uh, no, I had not found out for, like, 26 years of my fucking life. Yeah, I had no idea I had a giant mole on the back of my neck. Not even giant. It's, like, on my hairline. But I was, like, feeling back there, and I thought I had a lump. Until somebody told me I had a mole. And I freaked the fuck out. So I'm just confused. They're little digital pet toys. You had to feed them and play with them, or they would die. Oh, like, Tamagotchis? Or were they like the, the dogs that like walked around and you'd like fake feed them? God, man. It's gonna be weird when there's robot dogs. Yes, Tamagotchi. Okay, I see. Man, Gigapet sounds like crazy. I feel like the Tamagotchi's gonna eat me if, if, if it's called a Gigapet. <laughs> I think, I feel like that, that thing's gonna fucking eat my soul. If I don't feed it. Like real animals, Tamagotchis were like creatures. Oh, I see. Ah, I see. Uh, do not fly like that across that rock. That was going to kill me. All right, so we just have to keep going this way. I'm not going to pop my uh, food right now. We're in a fairly like easy area. Wait, what about red trees? What do they give me? Wrong tool. Oh, I think any, like... Okay, I think any tree that's a different color from green, I think they give you resin. That one gave me two resin, or uh, two sets of resin. So I got four out of it. Uh, hi, piggy. Please die. Nothing's in here, just evil. Okay, great. Our school banned them, so kids had to change uh, times on Gigapets. They'd sleep while we were at school and took care of them when we got home. That's fairly interesting, actually. That is really cool. I remember my school banned Bakugan because it had the metal cards and people would throw the fucking metal cards at each other. <laughs> I forgot about that. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah, kids would take those metal cards and like ninja star at other people. 
<laughs> oh, so many kids got fucking hurt. They had, like welts on them, I'm pretty sure. It was always the thing of like kids stealing them though more than anything. Kids would get their little like a toy stolen and then their parents would get involved and the, the school did not like that shit. So they ended up just, just uh, banding everything. Like I remember I went to like a daycare thing when I was a kid and they banned like all handheld devices. Like you weren't allowed having a Game Boy or like a DS or anything. It fucking sucked. It really fucking sucked. I couldn't play my Pokemons. I wanted to play my fucking Pokemons. Well, because some asshole kid like, stole somebody's DS, I'm pretty sure. Um, Do I have to go across the shroud that way? I really don't want to do that. Yeah, you guys also had Pogs? Yeah. Yeah, didn't Pogs get banned, like, uh, immediately in a lot of places? Pogs were, like, crazy banned. And then I barely ever heard about them. <laughs> until, like, older people told me about them. Wow, this was a pretty big encampment, huh? I guess they were fu like holding a arm like army here for war, so. And eh, whatever. I guess we'll just leave. <laughs> we'll leave. Uh, all the all the dead soldiers and whatever the the mushroom soldiers. And we'll go find a cooking pot now. That's all I care about. All I give a fuck about in this world is a cooking pot. What if she'll be able to make some crazy, like, mushroom stews or something to increase my intelligence? I mean, like, a five intelligence buff that lasts for, like, an hour? I would take that in a second. Take that in a fucking second. You can? Okay, cool. Alright, so the location's above me. Oh. I want to get out of the shroud. I can't see shit down here. I hate the damn shroud. I don't think the desert area opened up some recipes I have no way of making. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Need an oven. Oh, okay. Interesting. Is this rubble? What is this? It is rubble. Why is there so much fucking rubble here? What is that? Like a weird plateau. Okay, never mind. Okay. Is this the city? This is the capital. So wait a second, there's like the dragon in here? I don't want to fight some dragon. I can make a mushroom omelet that gives four int, int for 40 minutes. That is really good. Awesome. Uh, The cooking pot's in there? Really? Go poke the dragon. Uh, I'm gonna fireball the fuck out of the dragon. I'm not gonna poke his ass. All right. I guess let's buff up. If you can be like Donkey. Uh, I'm good on that. <laughs> I don't wanna be like Donkey. No thank you there. Um. That is definitely a moat of evil mushroom that will instantly kill me. What the fuck? There's a bug on it. <laughs> Alright, how do I actually get in here, though? Oh, I have to go in through the pier. There we go. There you go, guys. We found out what a pier is. Some biz. Oh no, I, I'd rather not. I, I have friends that are monster fuckers. I am not the monster fucker. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's Sam. That's Sam and Morgan. They're the monster fuckers. Um. Oh, shit. Oh, I almost just fell into a fucking hole. <laughs> oh, this is kind of wild. I should have made a fast travel thing here, shouldn't I? Ow. Hey. What are you doing? Okay, that didn't do enough damage. I mean, actually it did do a lot of damage. Never mind. They're level 15 here. I can make vegetable soup with um, an almanac of plants and seedlings. Wait, what? Ew. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fireball. Help me. There we go. All right, so I need to get off Ice Bolt. Uh, time for Fireball. You can't make vegetable soup without an almanac of plants. Oh, without. Okay. Oh, so I can go up to this top of the city wall. Oh, that'll help me a little bit. This is fucking scary, though. Well, I guess there's the keep, too. Damn. It just burst. I think it was bugs. Hey, uh, what's up, Doc? So many fucking bugs. Get these out of here. Why is there crazy action music? What is that? It's because this, like, guy over here? This plant? Why did I bring stone here? Who's making crazy sounds at me? What is that? You want to know why Bugs Bunny was called Bugs Bunny? Sure, tell me. I'm, I'm ready for the pun. I'm ready for either the D's nuts joke or a pun. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. If it's a real fact, I'll be surprised, but I'm excited for a real fact, too. I just got a feeling it's going to be a D's nuts joke. Keep D's nuts out of your mouth. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. I like that. That's funny as fuck. That's a good twist on the D's nuts joke. Uh, this guy's fucking big. Who's this big lad? Why does he keep eating fireballs? Oh, I got another ghostly shield. Okay, well, cool. Yeah, <laughs> what a heckin' chonker, yeah. <laughs> I hate that. I mean, it's better. It's level 15. <laughs> what a heckin' chonker, bro. Uh, he didn't have a name of the guy who drew it. Uh, was called Bugs Hardway. The sign drawings Bugs is Bunny, meaning the bunny Bugs drew. And suck. Oh, okay. I mean, that's really cool. That's a cool fact. It's better than a D's nuts. <laughs> I, I, th I thank you for that. I appreciate you. Ah. It's a ladder. Oh, and a letter. Okay. Hmm. Uh, what? Uh, as the last reflection greeting me uh, each morn on the river surface seemed so far away, I was tiny then. Lower my body and stretch out my arms to feel the ever pleasant, ever pleasant flow. As people pass by me, I can barely reach the bottom. My tired mirror image now ri rises closer each day. The water swirls with menace. Perhaps we will soon fall into our cold embrace. Just sell your house and move, they said. Sell it to whom? All the others wish to flee as well. I, I don't know. Just leave? Just flee? Don't even worry about selling and save your life? I don't know. Get the fuck out of here, because you're going to die? I mean, like, damn. Those are my options for that. I don't know 
if there's anything good down there. There's a lot of, like, shit. There's a lot of stinky shit down there, and I don't want to go in there. All right, what do we got here? I'm assuming there's going to be some decent chests up here. Well, never mind. Uh, it's closing in on midnight. I'm going to go lay in bed and try finishing my book. Good night, people. Yeah, sleep well. Sleep well. I appreciate you showing up. I hope you had fun. The Imperial Gardens. Whoa. Okay, this is cool. I really wish I bought a brought stone. Fuck, I really should have. I should have mined some before I came into the building. Pike's Port. Yeah. Damn, I feel dumb. Why did I not bring anything? Five stone was literally all I needed. <laughs> or even just making the altar itself. That's all I had to do. I mean, oh well. Hopefully I don't have to come back here. Hopefully I can just kill the dragon and leave. I'm assuming he's going to be up above. Oh, a potion. A great mana potion. Okay. Uh, by royal decree, esteemed... Okay, esteemed investigator L Lachlan? I, I don't even know how to say that. I write you personally with dire tidings. Uh, organized ongoing disappearances in Revelwood. And now province called Glenwood's End has ceased all communication with our government. Glenwood's End has shown fealty to me. Their king is considered a vital part of my kingdom. Even with your many illustrious years of dedicated service, I hereby command you to seek out answers and report back with great haste. Are with your many illustrious years. Okay. So. Okay, that was just showing that he went and died. <laughs> he went and died. That sucks for him, I guess. Why is there a hourglass up here? There's no fog. Up oh, no. There's going to be fog here. Yeah, there's probably going to be some fog up here, isn't there? I don't know why there would be a restore time thing, then. Alright, what do we got? Holy fuck! <laughs> That's a lot of reading! Uh... Okay. King Gormander's latest addition to Pike Mead's reach, and in my opinion, is a disgrace and pathetic attempt of a man with timber teeth to reach his mother's levels of adoration. It's a narrative shallow, uh, more shallow than white winds waters. Last summer, our lord's attempt to rename the Imperial Gardens to Gormander's Gardens was foiled by civil undressed, uh, and said we've been we've been blessed with a statue of his likeness. Uh, such as gaze is stiff and paralyzed as our ruler's disposition, disposition to the brewing troubles in the north. The greatest thing about Gormander next to his treasury is his wooden overbite. Okay. Alright, Sachi's gaze is stiff and paralyzed. Alright. So, what? Gormander watches over us. Uh, King Gor Gormander, son of glorious Pike Me, grand patron of the Rebel Wood and Springlands, watches over all. His vigilant gaze unites us one. This calamity and ushers us into a new age of prosperity. Okay. It says his gaze is stiff. What does that mean? Oh, does the dragon paralyze you? Uh oh. I really hope not. I really, really hope the dragon doesn't paralyze you in this game. What's going on? Oh, there's even more mushrooms in the fucking keep. Oh my god. Well, that's not good. Gormander's Imperial Gardens. Wait, what? What the fuck is going on? There's a lot of shit here. Okay. Maybe I have to dig? Hey, 
Hey! Where are your arms? Okay. I guess. <laughs> I, I guess that's fine. I don't really need that, but cool. One-handed melee damage. Ben from one too many reckless swings. Okay, cool. Good to know. All right, so what are some other quests in this area? I'm assuming that is, yeah, reach the capital, Pike meets reach. Yeah, there we go. The kettle's over here. Um, there's a shroud root there. There's a shroud root there. There's so many shroud roots. Holy shit. Okay. Well, good to know. I'm going to have to get those at some point. Um, where's the actual... thing that I need, though? Where's the kettle? The kettle should be in a house somewhere. Or something. Oh, wait, what? What's dexterity good for? I think it's for good for range damage. Like if you're uh, an archer, I'm pretty sure. It needs reach, flame sanctum. Is this a flame sanctum here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure dexterity is only good for like if you're a ranger or something. Oh shit, there's stuff under the flame sanctum, ew. Well, that's not good. All right, here we go. Um, man, I really wish I would have brought stone. Fuck. All right, this sucks. All right, nothing is sacred. The arrow's inside Casper's rib. Uh, Marcus' spine is surely splintered. We carried him to safely. Fire raining down on us. We surrendered to Commander Cyrus at nightfall when the fell crept in. Unless we're blessed beyond all. Uh, well, the veiled in, while veiled in holy light, the fell won't come near. Perhaps her refuge is the result of Emily Frey's blessing. I pray for the southern caravan route is less perilous than ours. I must set down the pen. Casper cries. He needs soothing. Raul. Oh, okay. Okay, so we got the kettle. The kettle was in here. Well, um, I'm going to have to come back here at some point. If I can't get stone. Which is kind of a shame. Damn it. I'm gonna have to walk all the way back here. I think what I might do is off stream, I'll come back here. Oh, golden chest. Hey, what's that? Ornate wooden bow. Garbage. <laughs> I don't use bows. I keep getting legendary bows out of the ass, though. Shrouded. Okay. So there is a shroud root there. Oh my god. Yeah, this place got completely fucked. Yeah, everything is ruined. Shit, I want to get that shroud root, though. Ow. Yeah, I would love to get that shroud root. Is it over here? How many dudes are over here? Oh, it's a big boy. Oh, okay. Um. Great. <laughs> Fucking great. Can he get through here? He can get through. He can get through. Just stare at me. Don't come near me. Holy shit. Okay, that was almost bad. Wizard boots. Health regen. I don't want health regen. Stop that. Stop that. I guess I could get health regen when, um... If I respec, that would be good. Oh my god, ow. Die. Oh, thank god. He says it says increase range damage by 5% per attribute point. Actually, reading the description that pops up when you hover over the node on the range skill tree helps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, reading nodes does help. But I got you covered. It's fine. I remembered. I remembered for you. All right, there we go. Hey, another chest. 
Guard of the North Gloves. What the fuck? Whoa, ow. Sorry, I just smacked you right in the ears. Magic damage, range damage, melee damage. Minus one max. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maximum time of the shroud. So it cuts your sh uh, shroud time down. Cool, good to know. How comes your magic how come your magic damage is so insane? Sorry, my like brain is fucking up because I'm it's so late and I'm so tired. So my voice uh, not my voice, my words are bad. <laughs> I'm wording very badly. Um My magic damage is high because all of the shit that I've invested in right here. Um if you want your wands to do a lot of damage, um go down the want the battle mage tree. Um, you can get a, a Wand Master, which increases, uh, your chance to spawn a secondary projectile, 30%. And repeated wand damage increases by 20%. So that's good for your wand. That's my, why my wands do so much damage. God, yeah, I'm, like, struggling right now. I need to go to bed soon. Um, after I explain this more, I'll go to bed. Attacking with a magical weapon increases all damage by 10%. So that helps. Uh, quick charge is also good. Increase, decreases your casting time. Um, and then I have every single perk that I can in the, um, the elementals here. So I have 30% extra damage with each, with each elemental type. So that's why I deal so much damage with those. And then we have increased uh, crit damage as well. Or crit chance, at least. So yeah, there's a lot of damage stuff in these trees. The reason I heal so fast as well, um, is because I have water aura and I have waters of life. This shit basically insta heals me. Unless I'm taking massive chunks of damage, then I'm gonna not die. I can stand in lava at this point. How, so, how come you have so many skill points to splash around if you're only level 15? You get skill points for doing wells and you get skill points for doing uh, the shroud uh, shrooms. Like that big thing that I just killed, the red, like, glowy mushroom, that gave me one skill point. Um, and doing the wells gives you three. Leveling only gives you two. All right, so. Foot, sol foot soldiers must be marching towards the harbor, encroaching the gate, no doubt. I'm blessed to have made it to my hidden attic in time. I can't see it from here, but I hear them. Their lord, the guard of the north, is chanting something dark and tainted. Sky outside moves. No, it's the clouds. The misty veil with strips of colored blue light. What on earth? I'm peeking out now. I see it. The cobblestones rip up like foul flesh. He's move removing his gloves by the ancient in his hands. They look frozen and dead, like preserved rotted meat. Is he raising something from below? I can't see. I have to lean in further. Oh, he fell out of his attic. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. That is fairly funny. I like that he fell out. What's a well? Um, they're elixir wells. Uh, you'll go in one at, at some point. You'll have a quest that'll take you. The blacksmith will actually point you towards it, I'm pretty sure. I wonder if I can actually go up there and like see what's in that attic. I'm assuming not. I just really want to see what's up there. I want to find it. Let's see if he has any, like, items up there. Oh, wait. Here we go. Wait. Yeah, here we go. Uh, there's something over there. Oh, okay. Cool. I can parkour around. Interesting. Um, I need to put on the, yeah, there we go. Give me my torch. So if I go into an elixir well and chop down the shroom tree there, I get five skill points. Um, there could be bosses down there. Um, and stuff like that. So you have to be ready for a fight. You have to be prepped. And I think it only gives you three. I think chopping the shroom inside of those gives you three. 
I'm pretty sure. Alright, so the guy's attic. How do I get up to his attic? Everything's all fucked up up here. Oh, this door? This? Maybe this? Oh, no. Yeah, how do I get up to his attic? Fuck. I went up there. The fuck? Um. Hmm. Shroud wood? Why is there shroud wood in here? I want to see what's in this dude's attic. I want to get up there. Damn it. I can't reach it. <laughs> I'm like stuck. Uh. Well, never mind. I guess I can't get up there. Oh, well, it's fine. I think I hear something, though. I think I hear a chest. There's got to be something up there. I have to be able to get in. Hmm. Oh, wait, what about this? Here we go. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm dumb. Found an easier way. And never mind. It was just the open window. Okay. All right, well, that's fine. Hey, what's this? Um, there's another board, notice. Uh, good folk, this needs, this heeds warning. Uh, Skimmer's Cove crumbles and roars. King Gormander's Imperial Guard suspects an imper impending collapse. Refrain from vis visiting the cove or venturing forth at your own risk. Search and rescue operations cannot be performed until the war subsides. Uh, stay clear of the coast at night. Reports confirm strange vibrations in the water as well as moving lights. Uh, King Gormander wants to reassure you personally that sightings of aquatic beasts remain unfounded. That means reach as safe as can be. Okay, so there is an aquatic beast. Which is the weir- the worm or whatever. The weirm? Where's my axe? Okay, there we go. Alright, we're good. Um, can I get stone out of this? I just want some stone. I, I really need stone. There we go. We finally hit stone. Cool. Thank God. Okay, I have four. All right, there we go. We're good. We got it. Oh, God damn. Why are there so many of these bugs? Get out of here. Leave me in peace. Oh, I think when you break their little pods that they do stop spawning, because I just saw a glow leave it. If you leave the glow, I I'm pretty sure they don't stop. Resin? Okay. Yeah, look at that. They do stop. Okay, cool. Good to know. I didn't really know that, actually. Sight's so testing it there. Uh... Well, there's another mushroom. <laughs> They're so fucking evil looking. I hate them. The mushrooms are just absolutely fucking evil. Like, how could anybody see this underground and think this is a good idea? I know everybody got addicted to elixir, but goddamn. this dude doesn't try to hurt me. Yep, okay, never mind. Let's leave. Whoa, no, no, no. Fireballs for everybody. God damn. 
Whoa, I can't even see them. There's so many dudes, it's like locking out of random ones. Where these guys come from? Oh my god, they came from like a weird hole in the wall. Well, Shane Lightning, here we come. There we go. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Uh, how many dudes did I just kill? Like, fucking 15? That was insane. Well, that was a cool little trick, too. I'm glad they hid those dudes. I didn't think they'd ever do anything like that in this game. Actually, like, hide guys from me. Trick me. There we go. A blade? Alright, now let's break this. And then we can go and make a shrine. Or an altar, whatever it's called. A shepherd's staff, okay. I want to get a purple staff. I, I haven't seen a purple staff in the game yet. I haven't seen purple and I haven't seen legendary. Um. Alright, I need to get back up top. How do I get back up? I know I fought that one boss, but that can't be the only way up. Oh, here's a note. Okay. They broke through. The soldiers of the North Northern Guard. They ravaged it all. The bat the brittle walls were torn apart by the uh the gate was lowered. They locked us out and we cannot run. Rats in a cage. Their fists fists clash against iron. I lower my hands, fold my palms, and pray. Dear ancients, please anyone open the gates. You have a legendary root staff? Fuck me. I wish I had that. I just blow through that wall. Thanks. <laughs> ah, yes. Gates cannot hold me. You're playing a ranger? Oh, there you go. Yeah, that would be what happens, huh? It's always that kind of shit that happens in these games. You get everything that you don't need at all times. A scattered legacy and Skimmer's Cove. Okay, so we're going to have to do that stuff tomorrow, too. I kind of want to play more of this game tomorrow. I don't know. I, I, I love this game. <laughs> I can't stop playing it. Um, What is my staff at now? 34. Okay, so this would be 34 as well. Mine's still better, so that's not that good. Salvage that. Um, I guess we are sorted. All right, well, let's make the, the flame. How do I do that again? Flame altar, here we go. Uh, get rid of this mycelium. I don't need that. And there's the altar, cool. Cannot build here. Cannot build here. What the fuck? What do you mean I can't build here? Cannot build here. Tell me I can't build here? I can't make a cool castle area? Come on, man. Really? Where do you want me to put this then? I can't put a fucking save point here in the town? Come on, man. I want to just be able to come back in. Really? I can't do it? Cannot build here. Really? What the fuck? This would be the perfect place for this. Right in the middle of the fucking town. Oh, and of course I can't do it. All right, where do they want me to go? How far out of town do I have to be to place this fucking thing? All right, what about here? 
far. Not enough free space. Not enough, not enough free space. Not enough free space. Never enough fucking free space. Um, uh, is that ground over there? I hope I don't die. Can you build inside one of the houses? I don't think you can. So wait, I can't build inside the mushrooms? I thought you could in this game. Um. There we go. What about up here? All right, I can build here. <laughs> oh, what a fucking bad spot. Is the pikey bit where the shanty shacks are? I have no idea. I, I have absolutely no idea. I think this whole town is Pike's, uh, Pike's Mead. But I guess they just don't let you put your altar in the center of it. They don't want you to have a giant town <laughs> covered in mushrooms, I guess, as your base. Um, and I think I'm going to fight a dragon here at some point, so. I have to go in that keep and fuck some stuff up, so. We'll have to see. Let's go back to the base. Uh, built an altar right outside there. Yeah, I have no idea. All right, let's head back. Oh, God. This game is way too addictive. I I, I don't know. This this game is one of those games. It's like, um, uh, what is it? Death's Door. Death's Door I played for like 13 hours straight. This game I've already played for like, what, nine hours straight right now? God. There's just some games that do that to me, man. There's some games I just can't put down. I don't know what it is. I think I did like a 12-hour Subnautica stream, too. Uh, flax. Okay, I'm gonna put these away. Um, rubble I can break. I need that. Uh, I guess I'm gonna keep all these items. Especially these Guard of the North gloves. They seem good, but they fuck up your uh, shroud time. Oh wait, oh yeah, I have to talk to her. Well, we'll put her kettle down too. Now this game will ever replace Valheim for me, but I think it may have replaced Skyrim. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Yeah, for me, I haven't played Valheim since the big craze originally. Um, So it's been a good while. And I feel like they're similar games, but I don't think they're... I, I don't think they're similar enough to, like, warrant, like, one replacing the other. You know? They're definitely different vibes. I, I like how this game's map is, like, not randomly generated. That, that's very nice to me. I like, I like knowing where things are going to be. Um, because I remember in Valheim, when it first, uh had that big craze we had to try to fight the dragon there's some dragon or something a worm or worm or wyvern and we went to every mountain near us <laughs> and none of them had the altar we couldn't summon the boss yeah we couldn't summon the boss at all i stopped just before miss lance came out i'm trying to hold out for 1.0 uh but that, they're not in any rush yeah yeah i know they had a uh, massive like development uh Thing when they first had that big craze and then they had to like kind of back beetle on it because it was a little too intense for them i didn't know mist lands got released though is it still the giant trees with the giant skulls did they change that is that not what that is anymore i remember like giant trees and skulls and like crazy shit and people are like building bases all the way up in the trees like way up before that was even released there's like no enemies there at all I remember people doing crazy stuff, though. Valheim's really impressive with its building. This game's building is a little bit more simplistic, but it does work well. I like it. And everything just kind of looks nice. Oh, since before it came out. Yeah, that's true. I'll have to, like, Google it or something. I'll look at it. 
Maybe I'll play Valheim again when it comes out in 1.0. Kettle found. Uh, praise the ancients. You got my kettle. How's Raul? Ra Raul? Uh, the time ran out as mine stood still. So you really are the last. How cold. Let's light a fire in their honor. Creating a craft a fireplace with that kettle to warm us right up. Or will warm us right up. Alright. Um... Do I have to craft it to you? Fireplace. Here we go. Good luck. This doesn't look like it should be in my house. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I guess it's going to be there. That's fine. Uh, Grilled game. Oh. Oh my god. Look at that shit. Wow. Okay. So this is fine. I don't know if I want to eat any of these. Their their buffs are too short. Their bu their buffs are very very short. They're like two three four minutes. Um, that's fine and all, but I, I this isn't what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was just so I could put these in here and let them roast, and I wouldn't need to like sit in front of a fire and cook them. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not as good as I thought. That's a shame. It's whatever. It's fine. Um, so... I think we're gonna end here for now. I'm very tired. Oh, wait, no, fuck. We have to talk to this guy. There's so many... Okay, we're gonna talk to all the people before we end. What? Masonry tools. What are you a joke? Carpenter without masonry tools. That's it. That's the joke. A far supposer. I need proper tools, but the blacksmith won't lend me his. Go figure. I know where to get some masonry tools, though. This research site at Pillars of Creation ring a bell. Pillars of creation? What the fuck? That might be the Stonehenge. Wait, does the mage have shit? <gasps> the mage doesn't have anything. Fuck me. That's sad. Alright, what do you have to say? A strange letter. Some time ago, a curious thing happened. I received a note. Uh, take a look. Uh, from Reagan, courtesy of the Conways. I've never met a Reagan, but I know the Conways. Couriers from the east. They must have traveled through trade through trade outpost Blazing Rock to deliver the message. Can you investigate? Wait, what? Okay, so the whole world isn't fucked. So that's good to know. The entire world itself is not fucked. It's just like this country, I guess? This small, like, country? Or maybe eventually there will be, like, other fucked up countries? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, sadly he doesn't have anything. I wish he had more. I want to get another armor set so I don't look so ugly. <laughs> I don't want to look like a farmer anymore. I want to look like a magician or a wizard. You know? Uh, whatever. It's fine. Alright, so I think that'll be it for tonight. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for showing up, and thank you guys for, like, following and all that kind of stuff. I do appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I'm going to be playing more of this game. I think I'm going to play it until I beat all the content in it currently. And then when it gets more content, we'll come back. I'm really, really into this game. I like it quite a lot. Um, I can't believe how fun it is. It's just so entertaining. Um, I don't know. It scratches an itch that I didn't know I had, if that makes any sense. Like, the fact that I can actually be a wizard in a survival game just is amazing to me. Um, I was very disappointed in Grounded, because I had, like, the candy magic in it, but it was just, like, four staves, and th two of them are good. Or one of them was good. The fireball staff was good. Um, that was basically it. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll be playing this more.
I will see you guys uh, tomorrow, though. I don't know if we're playing Mass Effect or this or maybe something else. We might do 2D games tomorrow. I don't know. That might be interesting. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys then. Have a good night and goodbye.